All right, boys, this is most likely a YouTube video. Uh, I encourage you guys from the beginning to check out my description and pinned comment and go subscribe to every single person here on their Twitch and YouTube. Some of the best uh, gotcha content creators in the entire space. They're all right. I love them very much. And uh, yeah, please go support their channels. Okay, what we're doing here today, boys, uh, this is gotcha Cast episode number, I don't know, four or five. I went on hiatus for like three months just because I'll be real. I just forgot. I forgot about it. I forgot that I did this shit sometimes. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's pretty much pretty it. Sure the rest of us like forgot it. too, homie. Yeah, like uh, 1.5. I don't know if you guys played it at all, but like I yeah. did. I did nothing. I did yeah, I played, nothing. Yeah, I played the start. Shit was like unreal. There was almost nothing there. Like, yeah. I mean, the Fox event was really good. Had like a lot of character building. But like after that, the boxing event kind of sucked. I'm going to be honest. I did not like it. Yeah, no, it was I, I, always, I always preached that 1.5 sucked ass. And yeah, no, nobody ever listens to me. Like, no, you're just, you're just being dumb. But like, I feel like all, most creators I've talked to, like, uh, you know, had to have the same thoughts. The 1.5 just sucked ass, man. I mean, oh, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was the worst people... patch by far. For sure. No, yeah, for sure. I, I'm going to be honest, though. Dead. I'm not a big fan of 1.6, not because it's bad, because I suck ass and I can't do the content. Yeah. So, like, they just dropped the Golden Gears. And, um, bro, it's that's unreal. Like, I literally just got my first speed boots, like, yesterday. And I've been trying for two <laughs> months. Like, I just cannot beat the content. Like, there's nothing for me. You you got your first speed boots yesterday? Two yeah. months, Tectone. Two goddamn months I've been trying. Like, I just got my first pair. Okay, so, I, had, I'm, I'm I had a similar lost. experience with the Energy Regeneration Rope. Where okay, I did not that's five percent though, bro. Yeah, that's slightly different. I think the world <laughs> yeah, just hates that. True, <laughs> true. Yeah, speed boots is actually crazy. Do you actually? Because here's here's my problem. I'm I'm a pessimist when people say that shit in Hawkeye Star Rail. People say, "Oh, I didn't get this. I didn't get that." But like, how often are you grinding? Let me put it like this, Tectone. Yep. I have I have two accounts. One I play on stream, and one I do off stream with like no voice chat for video footage. So like, I'm basically playing the game again. Okay. Um, I have done every single mission in the game, except for three. That includes Companion Quest. The only content I haven't done is Sim Uni related. And on my second account, the misfortune continues. I shit you not, bro. I have pulled seven copies of March 7th and uh, uh, on one account. And on the other account, uh, I have no copies of Shui Yi, I think. Yeah. I, it's bad. I'm hey, grinding all the time. I'm not getting anything. Congrats, why just, don't you uh, just? Why don't you just instead of getting March Seven, get Ting Yun? She's a much that, you see, and you see, I thought of that too. But you see, Lady Lux does this cute thing where she actively shits in my mouth every 15 seconds. Sick. I don't um, know. I am I curious. Know. Did anybody here actually enjoy 1.5? Did was this was it a good patch for any of y'all? I love chasing ghosts around. Yeah, that shit was horrible, man. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it was bleeding <laughs> eyes. <laughs> It was. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. It was the worst HSR patch, and it was still like, even though the events were arguably the worst I've seen, they were still better than most gone like Genshin events. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, like, we're comparing to Genshin again. Yeah, I mean, shit. You're right. I mean, it's very. Wait, hold on. We stir in the Genshin yeah, yeah. pot. We can get up in there. No, and no, that I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. No, you're more than welcome. I'm about stirring that pot, baby. Hold off the artillery for at least another five minutes. I think. Yeah, I, I think it is important. A lot of people get upset when they say, "Why compare Honkai Star Road to Genshin? Why compare it to Genshin?" Well, it's because it's from the it's the, it's a different game from the same company. Uh, mm -hmm. I I don't see anything toxic about it whatsoever. And uh, to be honest, I'm underneath the firm opinion, and I would love to know if anybody uh, disagrees. Um, I, I think it's very important for Genshin Impact to get shit on nonstop, uh, because I feel like the players deserve a bit more than the company has been giving them, uh, because. I mean, the game's just been in a really dry spot besides story uh, for probably well over two years now. I'm actually curious. Is, is anybody still enjoying Genshin for gameplay-wise or minigame-wise or any of playing currently or no? It was always I, shit. I literally yeah. only get on for story. Like, it, it's so funny because everyone is like, oh, yeah, you should go do, like, the new Abyss. It's so hard. It's so fun. No, dude, I'm get out of there. I did the Frida <laughs> quest and I... Logged off, and I haven't touched that game since. Oh, I got damn. Navia logged off. You know, yeah, what's the what's better. the what's the dude's name that's supposed to be the only masculine guy, man? I, the, that motherfucker ain't came out yet. Uh, Val, is it Val? Varka. Val, Varka. Has, where, has, where, has he been announced or anything close to it yet? Uh, so a little bit of a break of the NDA. Uh, I actually voice him. And he should be oh, coming bro. out in about seven to eight months. Okay. <laughs> is he bald? Yeah, he is. He's bald. Yeah, he's bald. He's bald. That would Does be so legendary, man. Yeah. I just, I just hope that they do like an actual big, like player model for like 
I that's the one thing I don't like about these games is like I want a big fat like Scottish dude. That's like that'd be characters. really cool. Or like yeah. like just some like different things and stuff. Like I want Varka to be like a here we go, like a big juicy guy, but he won't. He's gonna be skinny or talk juicy. And, like no, I want him to be yeah, like, big and fat. I want him to be like strong <laughs> and like juicy in crazy. there, man. Well, I want him to be big, fat, and I want to have a kilt on as well. I think that'd be a really nice touch. Yeah, give him bagpipes as a weapon. <laughs> Why not, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to go down the line real quick. Uh, everybody's kind of warmed up, ready to go. Uh, in case you guys at YouTube are wondering, we got Box up in the top left, Braxophone in the top middle, Gotcha Smack in the top right, MTash in the far left, Mr. Pokey in the middle, Vulcan Games bottom left. We have Exco Solo bottom middle and uh, Rogue Killer in the bottom right. Uh, I need to clickbait this video with something, so I want to get you know, the the main talking point out of the way. I would like to hear all y'all's thoughts because uh, this is what I'm very curious about. I, I will be real. Um, I am very content in 1.6. Uh, I have oh, played the yeah. game the most this entire patch. I don't need new content at all yet. Uh, I'm still very much engaged. I'm still very much having fun. Uh, and I think that is generally the sentiment for most people. If you have a different one, feel free to uh, let me know. Also, Pokey, goddamn, bro. Your camera shit is just so <laughs> I can't that's all I'm looking at like I, I did didn't you win a bunch of money recently like have you not upgraded shit like what is going hey, on you got I'm a modest lifestyle yeah, yeah I'm, I'm building my PC I'm building my PC it's in the process holy bro just moments. order a star forge man it takes like two seconds no. Jesus Christ oh, no, no way dude oh, oh, it's I mean never get it rebuilt. no 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 okay <laughs> I, I want to say something I don't get shit whether star forge sells or not I don't care I don't get a cut of that buy I'm just saying the PCs are good uh, I yeah, have like yeah, yeah, three yeah. of them, and only two of them have broken. So they're very. <laughs> Wait, they're what? Broken. That's a good ratio. I, I, I mean, Tech I only have one TC, good. and it hasn't broken. So I mean, you know. Oh yeah, well, I mean, you high rolled, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, so pretty much, I just want to ask you guys generally, and we're going to start from the top and go to the bottom in order, uh, just so we can get everybody. And for, once again, take as much time as you want when you answer this there is no rush i try to keep yeah. these things around an hour and a half to two hours but if you want to go longer you're more than welcome to i'm just once again and thank you guys for being here i really do appreciate that i gave y'all no notice at all and I, I appreciate how many of y'all showed up it's actually insane um i just want to talk about genuinely uh how are you feeling about honkai star rail and what are your thoughts for Pentaconi and things that you want for Pentaconi? Uh, I genuinely want to start with what do you want from Pentaconi? What do you think is coming from Pentaconi? Just for the 2.0 patch. And uh, I wanted to start with you, Box, if, if, if you are ready to answer that. Um, let me think about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm ready, man. I'm thinking I'm ready. Uh, okay, how about this? How this? I'll go first while everybody thinks, and then we'll All right, yeah, go sure, over there. Sure, sure. All right. Uh, so Pentaconi is coming in about five weeks' time. Uh, we'll have Dr. Ratio uh, as a means to hold us over until then. I genuinely think Dr. Ratio is going to be one of the funnest characters ever used. Um, I, I'm a little bit upset that he is such a single-target whore because this is not a single-target game. Uh, but I am hoping with the introduction of 2.0 Pentaconi, I do hope we are going to get into the territory where Memory of Chaos will have a wave of enemies. And then we have one giant boss with no ads, just one boss because i feel like the game has been ruled by destruction characters for a very long time i know we're getting pure fiction uh for erudition characters in order to farm for that uh but i do think there needs to be a place to where i mean unfortunately this issue won't solve zila as well zila is just going to once again fall more to mediocrity because she needs resurgence procs but it would be nice to have a just a single target boss just one dude and then you beat the shit out of them i'm actually not sure if we have a single fight in the game where it's just one big dude. Because the deer summons trees, the, the big bitch summons flowers. Like, Is there any example that I'm forgetting? I mean, Kafka doesn't resummon, right? But uh, she starts with like two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she has two two uh, two swords at the beginning. So I guess Kafka's pretty close. That's fair. I don't think so. The, only, the first one that came to mind was Bronya. She has a silver main guard bullshit. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think that no. works either now. Uh, I, I think they could take a risk with uh, floor 11 and 12 <laughs> and maybe throw in, uh, do a three waves format with this with this single target boss format that you're talking yeah. about. I think that yeah. would be great if there was a boss on each uh, on each you know cycle of waves. Yeah. Um, it seems like even like even a certain elite enemies, they also summon stuff as well. So like every pretty much every single mob in the game that's not just an underlane also has that as well. So it's not even just bosses; it's pretty much everything. Yeah, the shapeshifter especially is a very egregious example. You know, God, I, I hate that thing. 
I think one thing that, like you were saying, one boss that like doesn't spawn ads. I think if you wanted to make Zilla good, you can have it spawn ads, but just have it be like really low HP. Yeah, yeah. Just have it be like not super beefy. Yeah. Um, a thing that I think they need to introduce in Pentagonia besides major single target bosses, uh, is I would very much like, um, for and let's just be real, turn based RPG is a genre that's very hard to innovate on. It's been on for mm -hmm. a very long time. It's very hard to do things with it. Uh. I personally um, would like group group abilities to where two characters can alt at the same time to see interplay. That's not going to happen. Uh, oh, I would like, like all for out that. attack. It, yeah. It, why it, you, Why do you say it's not going to happen? I don't think it's going to happen as early as two point I feel it's going to require oh. way too much. Uh, I, I think that's know, amazing. Wow. Now, do you mean idea. like so? When you say that, do you mean like two characters using it all at the same time for like bonus, or do you mean like a whole new animation? Uh like a whole new animation. Where yeah, I, imagine, I imagine they I could imagine. do that. Yeah. yeah, I imagine they could do that, but it has to be for like characters who have, you know, like P5, how they do it. They have like two characters who work together. I imagine they like Bronya and Sila or like Dong yeah. Hung and the Trailblazer from like, you know, that spear throw in the Kokolia fight. Yeah, absolutely. Like stuff like that. Yeah, like they have to use their interface yeah. software for it already. The ult that goes in Simulated Universe where you use the Simulated Universe Ultimate, they could just put that into the MOC, but that could be the, the ability you use with two characters. Yeah. Like it's already there. It just they have to get I, I to imagine, the creative. Yeah. I, I imagine being like I imagine it would probably look like, you know, in the in the corner it'd be like two dots and like, you know, if you have Sela, Bronya, like oh charge That's ultimate, I mean. charge ultimate, yeah. two yeah. dots, pop it, get that bonus damage. Yeah. What were you saying, Brax? Uh, I don't Yo, I, I was saying that uh, go for it. Yeah, you, you, so you brought up like uh, Persona. I think the Star team like actually met up with like Persona devs right. recently. Mm -hmm. They did, yeah. So, like, I don't think it's, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know if, if anything from, or that, that could be, like, Persona related is actually even off the table, right? Because I feel like that, the way you queue up ults in this game, they definitely could do something like that. Like, they it, literally not off the table. Yeah. Yeah, they reference. I hope it's just, like, a full-on collab. Like, you know, we got, like, five characters. Like, no, that would actually be sick, man. I well, think it's, it's possible, because, like... As they, long as it's not another... Aloy situation, yeah, it, I swear to God. It really depends, True. because obviously, uh, there's a little little known fact. Uh, when I first started playing Genshin, I, I talked about collaborations. And the first game, and the only game I brought up that would be a good sync uh, with Genshin would have been Persona 5. Um, I brought that up, and I'm really happy that we're talking, because it, it is very obvious how much inspiration HoYoVerse has gotten from that franchise. Like, it's insane. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but... I would love for them to do a P5 collab, but once again, like Solo said, they need to not do it in the way they did with Aloy. Aloy just kind of just like, she's in the game! And that was really one of the things that upset me the most about Genshin is that it was a very story-driven game, and they didn't even attempt to make it rational for why the f*** they're in the game whatsoever. I would love for Joker to come into the game, uh, but I would like it to make sense in lore why the f*** he's there. Uh, I yeah. think... I think, like, what's really weird about Aloy, like, I was talking to people about it, like, oh, she's she's bad. I'm like, I was like, yeah, of course she's bad. She was a character who anybody on PlayStation got for free, and she was never coming out. She was never going to have constellations. Like, the only people who use her are people who are doing it for content or because it's funny. But, like, she's in such this weird position where, like, even her kit, like, I, I have not played Genshin very long. I have Aloy. That was the reason I started playing. She's dog shit. She doesn't even, like, her kit is so weird. Like, it doesn't do anything. Oh, God. The problem with it, it doesn't Aloy do anything. is that like it's it, no synergy there. In her constellations, it says that they're coming. So if you click them, it says <laughs> constellations. Oh, it is. Yes, it does yeah, imply like, that okay. they will be coming boat, in the future. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll keep. I'll, I'll put it yeah. on my watch. The other thing I'll is, I, I feel like the character is received for free. They must be bad. Argument. Uh, is going to be quickly disproven once Doctor Ratio comes out because I feel oh, like Doctor he... Ratio is going to slap ass. It's going to be it's going to be hilarious. The problem yeah, uh -huh. with Aloy wasn't even that she was free. It's that like, so it, the Genshin meta is weird because you know the other is power creep, but there's also like you know characters work well with each other. Had yeah. they make had they made Aloy a character who was just always good, like even if they gave her a wacky niche, like you know oh she works really well in this one team. The problem would have been, okay, well, people are never going to get the opportunity to get it. So now, what do we do? Because now we really scared who's like Aloy. That was like, would have been the problem would have been. Now, yeah, they could have re-released it. 
um but they probably wouldn't because as you said they didn't integrate it properly so like what would have been the narrative purpose it's going to release it again like another free one mm. it's just weird like i'm also i'm in. also being told the collab for aloy got canceled midway from ps5 side so most likely we'll never see the completion of aloy uh which is a shame because maybe she could be redeemed if she got additional constellations to actually make her not shit and give a free c6 r5 but uh we'll see yeah. i don't know if that's true or not but uh that's what i'm being told from chat usually I, they're pretty that game got delayed right so so like it it was supposed to be launching right around that time and it got delayed to like february oh, right. like it was yeah, like also, it was like six months or something like that so yeah also it, both it, it makes times, sense yeah, yeah also both times that game got released it like the first time it came out it was like at the, around the same time as breath of the wild and the second time it was slightly after elden ring so it just got overshadowed entirely so there was well, also, I, that. so yeah. remember in the developer diary somebody brought up if they would do collaborations and they said they were more focused on expanding their world uh their Hoyoverse world they've created amongst honkai impact genshin impact and star Rail, and basically getting people more invested in it so they would uh feel no need to collaborate with people yeah yeah, and it makes it sense be cool, because though. people keep pulling on the same damn character over and over in every single game. Raiden Shogun here, Raiden Shogun there, Raiden Shogun here. So every time they bring one of those characters into one of their new games, people are all hyped about it again. So it seems like what they're doing is actually working. They're getting people invested in the characters they've created. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's really, and it's, it's a good marketing decision because then instead of... I would like know, collabs, though, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I'd, I'd love to see Joker just killing everything. But, like, I think it's... Yeah, God, he's got a good point because, like, you know... If you bring out Joker, you know, the five people who don't know who he is, they'll see him go, oh, I'm going to go play this anime game instead. But, you know, if they get him invested in, in Yola for three big reasons, uh, suddenly you have people who want to play that game instead. So it's kind of like that. Yeah. Because she's only there. Uh, there's a bunch of new characters being announced for Pentaconi in the form of uh, probably the my favorite one is Duke Inferno, who looks absolutely insane. Not sure if he's going to be playable or not. There's Sam. There's Sunday. Uh, but I would like to see some amount of innovation for the kit. I do feel like another character needs to have two ultimates like the uh, main character does. I think that would be good to be able to pick and choose mentality. Uh, but yeah, just some amount of innovating on the turn-based RPG. And surprisingly for me, I cannot think of a way to do that currently. It's very hard to innovate in the genre besides perhaps making a character that pops an ultimate and goes into a mega form like they do for Pokemon or some amount of, or, or something where they get added to the game where you can mega evolve one of your characters per battle that enhances their abilities in a certain way. They've done it for Pokemon. Maybe they can do it for um, Hawkeye Star Rail. Mega evolves were a little bit controversial, I believe, but more people enjoyed them. But that's pretty much everything I want to see in Pentagoni and also uh, I would like to see Himiko die. A hundred percent. I agree. Yeah, good idea. Again, for a second time. Where did they even yeah. come from? Can we make a, can oh. we make a petition for that? Hey, I'm all for the darkness. Oh, so Wait, why? I, no, I'm same. telling you, okay, and, I, and I've talked about this quite a bit on my stream. Uh, we're all familiar with Never Let You Go, right? We've all heard the song. Uh -huh. Surely you've all heard oh, Never yeah. Let You Go. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No. You're, you've never heard? No. What we're singing no, I've never heard it either. Uh, never Let You Go. <laughs> <laughs> You what the fuck, bro? Do you like for a chance? <laughs> <laughs> it's the song that plays. It's a song that plays when Himiko dies in Honkai Impact Third. Oh, I thought you were talking about a TikTok song. That's crazy, man. Uh, no, I, 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 I it's because I skip. I pretty much skip like cutscenes, and I, you know, I don't really pay, uh, pay attention to the lore. So I uh, give me a skip uh, button. Third, that's and give me a skip button in every game. That's please. insane. Uh, so it's a song that's very, uh, you know, famous with him going Honkai Impact back third, uh, her death was incredibly fucking, you know, it was gut wrenching for a lot of players and there's even uh, allusions to it in, uh, the Pentaconi space station. Uh, you can see where Himiko died, as well as the Genshin Impact Traveler uh, little kite that they used to fly around. Very cool. <laughs> um, but I really just want to be walking around with Pentaconi, you know, me, March, Welt, Himiko, and then everything seeming fine after we trump the bad guy. And, you know, the, the whatever the main bad guy is, he's laying there cold on the floor. We think that we've defeated him kind of like Kakolia. And then you hear the beginning piano rift for... Uh, never let you go. And then all of a sudden, a fucking spike comes out of the dude's body and just fucking impales her. Because, <laughs> I, be, because and only because, I want to see what happens to Welt if he starts to realize this whole grand journey that he's taken to Honkai Star Rail. The, the, the actions that have happened in Honkai and Back Third are like canon events. Where, like, if Himiko dies in Honkai Impact 3rd, that means she's dying in Honkai Star Rail. Because I think it would give players a lot to look forward to or not look forward to. And I'll be real, I need Luocha to just be a fucking villain. 
Like, just a bad, bad, bad fucking dude. But. They, like, they ain't even playing it straight with Luocha Villanoid. That man is, like, neutral at best right now. It's yeah, crazy. we'll see. We'll and see. Maybe, I, 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 hope, maybe, I hope he's evil. He's blonde. He's already halfway there. I'll be all right. And maybe Final Fantasy VII has some influence on what they're doing with Himiko. You know, with Aerith, without spoiling anybody who hasn't played Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, yeah. But, they, you know, <laughs> okay. they, they remade yeah. it, and now they're going down a path where Aerith doesn't have the same ending as she did in the previous one, but... There's speculation that it could still occur the same way. Maybe that can happen with Himiko. Maybe. Yo, so, so Tech yeah. hear me out. Yes. What if instead of Himiko dying, right? Well, because Welt is not from that universe, Welt dies saving Himiko hell because no. he's the only person hell that no. could actually change that fate hell. because he's not actually a part of the universe. Hell they ain't no. going to kill my daddy, bro. I'm and sorry. Let me, let me tell you he's why. He's too strong. The thing is, he can't live through the story because he's too strong. Okay. Like, he, oh, he can stop God, everything from happening. Okay. Like but he can't move a silo on, on the Lofu. No, he can. He just doesn't want. He doesn't know, want like to. You, there's a, literally an option. Like, yeah, hey, Will, can you Rose move it for us? And Tim, you just goes, nah, no, don't do it. No, we're like right. for me. Okay, Welt is one of the most interesting characters in the entirety of Honkai Star. I think if Welt dies, that would obliterate the narrative uh, multiple times over. I'll be real. What the fuck has Himiko even done besides sit there on a train and have huge hits? <laughs> that's uh, but that's the thing. He, she, 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 he attacked she, the robot fight against the machine. Like, she, yeah, yeah, she, she attacked the it. robot one time, um, and then the rest of the time she just stands there and she looks pretty. Punched the shit out of uh, Kakolia yeah, too. That damn Why do you want to kill her so early? <laughs> like, she it's, hasn't. Even uh, it's been, dude. It's been like eight months. Yeah, but still, early. she hasn't done anything. She, her character hasn't even developed yet. He wants to kill yeah, him already, she, bro. She's yeah. after Prime anyway, right? Because well, it's not, it's not going to develop. Also, she's a uh, standard barrier. Also helps Bronia make like the decision on what to do with like the IPC and stuff. Like, is Bronia? Is she? Is she royalties? Like they, Bronya? everyone's like so obsessed with her. Like, is Bronya royalty? Because she, yeah, has like Bronya the same is a, um... as like Genty, and he's like a knight from that like place. Like, I feel like Himiko is actually like a queen. Or Bronya something like that. is a supreme guardian, uh, and supreme guardians are basically like people chosen by the Aeon of Preservation. That's what she is. I don't think she's, she's basically like the Pope, but instead of being uh, Catholic oriented, she just has big ass titties. That's basically what she is. Yeah, is Himiko from Pinikoni though? That's the establishment, right? Yeah, is, a new planet. this is the ultimate time for them to reveal like things about her past, her lore, and everything. Like if she's from here, I that's because Tech was asking what we expect. I expect to see and hear about Himiko's past in Penny County, the place she's from. So she's not from Penny County. Okay, so she's not. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, damn. Well, so what I imagine. That, yeah. Yeah. I imagine they'll give us the opportunity to learn more about her because I like, kind of like what they did with Welt. Like he wasn't there on the first mission, but he, they, you know, he took up a torch when Dong Daniel didn't come. Um, I imagine we'll probably get to know more about her there. It, I mean, it makes sense if they're going to follow the pattern. This isn't like, uh, it's not like Genshin. Like their quests are centered around the characters that are in the game, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. there are some NPC quests, but like we've seen, like I think even, does Genshin have a, com a companion quest or is he just like the star of one? I don't remember, uh, but like either way, we learned a lot about Yen. Had a story quest, and it was completely overshadowed by Jingliu. Yeah, I kind of yeah, feel did. like they he are did. gonna do that for like Walt and Himiko. Like they have to, yeah. because they they are so interested in like flushing out the lore of of the characters in the universe, as opposed to like this NPC's story on <laughs> Penacony. Yeah, uh, the last thing I'd like to see in Penacony for 2.0 would be the dating simulator that they had in the game that they scrapped. Uh, Wait, they had man. it. They yeah, had man. it in the game. Yes, please. Really? Yeah, they had it in the game, and they scrapped it before the game went live. What? Can you please not. Why? Can you please not. <laughs> why not? Why, dude? Because, because yeah, why not? Like, this is the first time. Yep. I've actually been like, okay, Hoyoverse is actually, in my opinion, making a good game for yep. me. Yep. There's Let lots. Recommend it to people. There's like all sorts of like combat things and it's evolving and they're taking the same content and flipping nuts on it on its head and every event like i i don't know like each patch they've they've added more end game content than all of genshin impact combined like Correct. four years of it every single patch they do better than genshin has ever done true and so i'm like i'm really enjoying it and if they start going down the casual side of things and they're like okay well now it's too hard they will ruin the game for me once again. And then, because mm. because here's the thing, I rant about Genshin all the time, but I don't rant about HSR. I'm I'm hyped about it. I enjoy it. I recommend it. And if if they ruin this for me, then 
<laughs> but hear me out, dude. Listen, I, I, don't, I, don't, lose, I don't, don't want to lose my baby. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy You'll get 300 J. Uh, one, one second, one second. Uh, so people were saying in mass that you and I were going to quit the game within two patches because we were going to be overly negative, shit on the game, and then leave. Oh, yeah. We're I know. both still here very content because when the game actually puts out good content, you're not going to fucking bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I will. Uh, I'm very, I'm very pessimistic. What can I say? I, 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 I like to, uh, I like to fight people. Yeah, and I, I need to talk to you about a take that you had. Also, uh, uh, Rogue. <laughs> I know sure. exactly where this is going. Yeah, I got to talk to you later, Rogue. Uh, yo. What's up, bro? <laughs> Just want to say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go from top. Go silent, man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna my go from top to bottom. Uh, and, Silence uh, of the lambs over there, bro. <laughs> Yeah, my, uh, my background is like loud sometimes, so I just have my mic muted. Nah, man, you're box. chilling, bro. All uh, right, yo, box. What do you want to see yep. from Pentacony? Oh shit. Uh, so I, I think going back to like the point at first, bro. You talking about like the story and how you want like Himiko to die. Well, I don't. I don't want Himiko to die. I want her to like uh, devil, uh, devil up first. But like, I want more dark stuff because like you know when when Ting Yun got her fucking neck snap, bro. Like that. That oh, that was awesome, bro. Like it was funny as shit too, and you know everyone was talking about it. So like we need more <laughs> stuff like that, like dark shit to get the story, like not not some baby shit like Genshin Impact. Uh, so you know just like a better story because I do want to be invested in the lore, but it's it's just it's, it's pretty hard to read through like a I don't know like a visual novel or I don't know that's what I'm calling it right now. So I need like more interesting cutscenes like that to happen. Like um, fuck it, let's snap Don Hung's neck out because his his story quest is like I mean his arc is already done, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, he, he is done. He's done. Yeah, I say uh, we kill. Not, yeah. I say we kill January third as well. Fuck it, why not? Right. Uh, uh, for real, she's still alive. I'm just saying, she's still alive. I swear. Tengyo, no, she is. Tengyo, I believe it. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll talk. talk I know. I know. Tectone is probably going to point it out. I'll talk about it when it's my turn. Yeah, yeah. I think she's still alive. Yeah, as well. I think people who think Tengyo is dead are fucking stupid. Same thing with uh, if, uh, people who think Senor is dead in Genshin Impact. Uh, they're not dead. They're coming back. If Tengyo is really dead. Um, that has a huge ass problem with it, with the whole, you know, she's a doppelganger of a character we never met, who was the plot twist, oh, here's the reveal of Fantilia. If she is really dead, then that means there would have been no narrative reason for the actual, for there to be a real Tingyu, and she just could have been a puppet the whole time. Because we, since we never met the real one, there would have been no reason for it. I believe she's still out there, and also... Literally the first line of dialogue with Ting Yun when you get to that planet, um, she mentions that quote unquote, I was the last person to dock. So she literally just got there before you did, which is why she was in the silo. She's if I had to guess, Fantilia literally got to that area to take the abundance tree. That's why she went there. Um, if I had to guess, that Ting Yun was an implant literally in that moment less than an hour before you got there and the real Ting Yun's probably just out somewhere doing her job no yeah uh, they they are a hundred percent luoch has confirmed that uh, he met the real Ting Yun on another planet uh was there other things you wanted from Pentacony box oh yeah um i want uh pvp so thank you i think yes mm -hmm. dude oh thank yo, you you actually agree with me like that no i agree as well oh, i agree yeah, yeah, yeah. volka is that the biggest host for the hunger star pp of course he wants pp i, I have like no you. idea how it would work yeah. though but i'm all for it like, league I, of legends draft i just no, want I'm, i just need my audience to just so Fox, me. when you say pvp what in specific do you mean like what uh, what do you want if you were to give me specific for how you would want it to be implemented because i feel like a very important thing to do is when we ask for things is to clarify exactly how we would want it to be done uh so what did you have in mind uh, i think they should have like a pretty similar strategy like pride in how you can like uh you know like you could take uh specific uh eladions or whatever to like balance out the scores and stuff like that so they could do that or they could make it like a, a pay to win mess which would also be fun i just want to hop on stream and like have content ready to like play for like you know like infinite content you know just more end game essentially so like ranking systems fuck we could have like guilds too man like pvp would like you just like log in and you just like destroy a free-to-play player with like uh i don't know with seal it just goes like five times in a row you just like wipe the whole team like that yeah, i think it's just my ass be it. yeah Casuals uh, yeah. are pulling their uh, fucking hair out right now listening to you. Say, I, yeah. it, just, <laughs> it sounds a lot like another game that I used to play a lot. Wait, what's <laughs> that we talked about earlier? <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> There's a lot of people that were saying, like, oh, dude, like, Kitchen needs like PvP. Kitchen needs. Dude, I got fucking torn apart by the entire internet for making a video about how it could work and actually be free to play friendly. Well, because, people don't okay, know why. I would like to hear how, how do you players. think Genshin could have PvP and work and be free to play friendly? I would love to hear your. your so I think, I, I think the way you do it is instead of like gen just like letting everyone use their account 
they just create like not not like the character trials that suck ass but like yep. like they have so, like a team that's <laughs> first off they fire the fucking the trial team right they get a new trial team that knows how to build characters they have them get basically like a roster of characters for you to pick from that are all like trial characters and you compete with those and they have a rotation and they change every cycle okay and then would you just put them in an arena and have them duke it out it's uh, i was thinking time trials for abyss so do you mean like look at that so do you mean that kind of how like uh, it's a i'm a analogy a game nobody's fucking played there was a, a game I used to play. It was called Skullgirls. It was a mobile gotcha game. And, like, they had, like, this system of PvP where, like, to level the playing field. Like, they just had, like, pre-designated characters. Like, they were already built and everything. Yeah. You just yeah. mean, like, that basically... That way it's not, like, you know, yeah, whales like just sending people, beat everyone. <laughs> yeah, sending people to just, like, knock each other's teeth out with, like, pre-built teams. So there's no, like... It's just a skill thing, right? I don't I don't believe yeah. Skullgirls was a gotcha game. No, uh, there's a mobile version, and I the only reason I remember it is because the only time I've ever gotten lucky in my fucking life in a gacha game was on the Skullgirls mobile, and you know, I got a character called Deathwish Umbrella who basically just turned the game to just skill because her ability was just removing other abilities. So if you were better, you won. If you were worse, you got your ass beat, and I loved her. She was my favorite character. So, Brax, you're saying that you would want a leaderboard type. Oh, content. absolutely, a fucking leaderboard. I would, I would love a leaderboard. I think a leaderboard... Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, people are afraid of a leaderboard because they don't want to look bad in front of other people. But I feel like you just do... like okay, I fucking hate Overwatch for this. I hate private profiles. But like, just do that. Just make it so you can turn it off. You don't want people to see your ranking. That's very true. And, and then it's that like, the you know, you don't have to worry about it. I've ever heard Say, of let me be humiliated <laughs> publicly, please. I, I do that myself every day. Well, I don't see the difference. Oh, my God. Have it off by default. And then if people want to compete, they just flip it on. And then they go compete. Yeah. Um, Epic action? Seven has like a a draft mode, so it's like you can choose between five different units. Well, so so each it's like each person gets a turn. So uh, I get a turn and I can choose from three units, and then they get a turn and they get to choose from three units. And so I see what they pick, they see what I pick, and then you try to like kind of counter pick and you make a full team. So it'll give you like you know a tanky unit, a healer, and and you kind of make it. And it's pretty cool because it's all balanced and they, they build the units. The only issue that I have, and, and the reason I don't even play it, is it's like, why, why the fuck am I building all my characters if if I'm using these other ones? Like, there's it, it feels just like, why am I putting in any effort into my own units if they have all this mm -hmm. other stuff? And, like, if the game mode is just fun and, and, you know, there's some rewards, that's really cool. But it's also, it also sometimes, then it just feels like a mini game. Like, part of me wants to test out, like, is my account better than yours? Or, like, can I beat you with my units kind of thing? Hmm. Um, but then at the end of the day, you also have to think about this, is are the characters in Honkai Star Rail deep enough to have PvP that's actually exciting? No. Like, like, think about what I, you've I got imagine right now. whoever's faster just kind of wins in most scenarios. That's what yeah, I like. Bronya, that's that's Bronya every gotcha game, though. E7 has that issue. Summoner's War oh, has that sure. issue. Speed wins. Whoever goes first wins. Uh, besides, so, so uh, the only thing, though, besides when Code made the tank meta for Epic 7. Sorry for cutting you off, Impesh. Oh, it's okay. Yep. Um, see, the thing is, though, is like if we start getting other stuff, so it's like if you use a non attack skill, now my unit pops off and kills your highest DPS unit, then, you know, I think we need some stuff there. Or like if you use a non attack skill like a Bronya, now I get a 500 HP shield on everybody. Stuff like that, like more interactive stuff. Um, but I just don't see that happening because then they'd also have to, like, those characters would have to make sense in PvE as well. And, like, what boss is not doing an attack skill ever? M10, you know what what are you mean? making good points? Go ahead, Brax. Oh, I was going to say, what do you think about, like, Gambit style? What do you mean by that? Not like, not oh, like, uh, yeah, so not like you, like, raid that, but, like, you know, they have a side of the field, you have a side of the field, there's a boss in the middle. Mm -hmm. Whoever does more damage to the boss, you have to think about, like, who to attack, whether it's the other side or it's, like, the boss. Mm -hmm. I think that'd yeah, be so a lot Gambit, of fun. Do you but know at that point? Oh, I'm sorry, go for it. So Gambit is a, a Destiny game mode where it's like one team versus the other team and you're shooting all the like the enemies and you're getting points for doing that. And so it's it's like PvE killing everything, but you can also invade the other team and like kill them to like reduce their points. And so it's kind of a, a mixture of, of the of the two. So it'd be PvP, but like you'd be fighting enemies and like prioritizing getting as many points as possible, I guess. The problem with that is that Destiny fucking sucks. <laughs> good, true, true. Good point. I want to. I want to chime in bad, here because so right now, fun. right now, uh, PvP is the easiest, probably, category in gaming to scrutinize. 
And when you scrutinize PVP, you, you, uh, you know, by definition, you go into this negative mindset. You're constantly picking out all the negative things to make this idea seem like a horrible idea. But in order to make a good idea, it is necessary to scrutinize it. And I think MTAS is making viable, uh, you know, points to make PVP a better. He's pointing out all the flaws. But that doesn't mean you ditch the idea, relinquish it, and throw it in the trash. You constantly improve upon that. And once you do all the scrutiny, then you have a PVP mode that could possibly work. But to say, like, ah, that's not going to work without it even you even trying it at first is just, like, the worst way to kill an idea. That's that's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have yeah. a question. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. uh, what does scrutinize mean? Scrutinize means to, like, it's look at something on blast. and really, like, like micro -management. Pick it apart. Pick yeah. it apart. What's wrong with it? Oh, okay, okay. And okay. once you, you find out all the things that are wrong with it, well, now you can actually build an idea that's more f uh, solid. It's like a, yeah, it's you like look when up, your look up come scrutinize on Urban Dictionary. It's a picture of the Twitter comment section. That's the best way to describe <laughs> yeah. it. It's like it's like when your parents come into your room box and they're like, "Oh, look at you, always playing the video games. What's wrong with your hair? You are wearing those earrings again? Huh? What are you <laughs> so, yo, I make oh, money from it now, huh? Hold on, hold on. Yo, at least I could grow my fucking hair out. Oh, uh, dude, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, yeah. You don't talk to him like that, asshole, dude. I, I wasn't. I was. I think you look beautiful, man. I think. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right tech tone you could fend off the bald allegations take a penny put it on top of your head and like zoom in on the camera you true. got hair there your chat has to shut the fuck up oh no i have hair i do have hair there on my you head. Go. i just there you i'm go. just shaved uh this, now i will say this because i don't i don't want to leave well. people sorry go ahead Vulcan, what are you saying i was just said we with the pvp thing because this is something i've thought about a lot because i i said this from before star l started that i just want pvp because it's endless end game to keep farming yeah, and have a reason yeah. like i don't even like like I farm, but not too hard anymore. Like they introduced MOC 12. I've still only got Clara, Blade and QQ as my DPS, but I can still walk in and three star it. So like the, the need to farm isn't there, whereas PVP gives endless end game. And I think there are ways you can balance it. I think what MTash said about having pick and ban systems uh, balances it out because you don't have straight meta teams you can build. It was the same, and you probably played it in Summoner's War uh, when they introduced real-time arena, where yep. normal arena was always just speed meta. You use your Tiana Zeros, you win. Yep. But then they introduce... Uh, real-time arena with pick and ban you can't do speed cleave anymore because you get one part of your team picked out and you don't have the pieces you need to do that and with the speed thing because it's always an issue speed is always an issue in these types of games yep. um I, i've always had this thought of why doesn't a game try doing okay fastest goes first but then at the start of battle after the fastest character goes the other player's fastest character gets a turn outside of speed rankings because so like then you have disruption. It's like, but then it just goes back to speed order. But then you have one turn of disruption in there at the start of the battle. So it completely disincentivizes that complete speed cleave type idea. So I, basically, I feel like there is things you can do. So basically, like, like so first, like, so you got a character 144 on one seat, one team, like the other's got like 80. So it doesn't matter. Like this guy's going to go first and the other team's going to go first. And like at that point, you have like the ability, okay, well, I'm slow as shit. You know, uh, so I'm a speed debuff and maybe level the playing field kind of situation. That's yeah, so, so so like my thought is like, okay, fastest character among all characters in 180 speed. That character goes first regardless. Then the other player has like a 150, 140, 130, 120 speed. Their 150 is the fastest. Even if the other player's second fastest is 160, the, uh, the, the player two who hasn't had a turn yet, their fastest unit goes as a disruption to them. I think yeah, that, that Gotcha PvP... That, that actually gives people a chance. Gotcha go. PvP is a fucking joke. It should not be balanced. And whoever spent the most money should win. And I just feel like that's how it is. You know, is this I, the Genshin tech tone I'm talking to right now? No, Apparently, I'm just saying, yeah. like, I mean, let's be real. Are we really trying to balance a game mode where whoever spends a million dollars doesn't win? I mean, just like, come on, man. Well, if the guy spent a like, million dollars, let him I win. think I think it should be two versions. Like, one is just like, here's a balanced version. The other is we're throwing you to the fucking dogs, and if you didn't spend money, you're dead. Yeah, they do. Have, also, which, seven deadly sins kind of have that exactly too. They have geared and ungeared PvP. Yeah, yeah, which that is interesting. exactly. That is actually exactly what the Skullgirls mobile game did. Like, on one side, um, there was two versions of, of PvP. One version was, you can just use whoever the fuck you pull. The other version, here is just balance. It's all skill. You go in here, you're going to get fucking destroyed. It's going to happen. Um, but, you know, if you come over first. here, if you spend more money, 
uh, these children won't stand a chance. It was that kind of situation. But then the problem yeah. becomes you have a divide in the players. So then you have to. What's you know, you what, what is it? What is only? Why, why is it an issue losing to people who spent more money if you can have fun in the game mode? I agree. Uh, I want more. I agree. I'd say I'd say the the issue isn't, isn't necessarily fun. losing to people with more money. It's being fucking destroyed by people with more money. Because like it's one thing. It's like oh well, this guy spent thousands of dollars, but you know me with my peasant cash in my uh, fucking food stamps. At least I was able to take out one of them. So go ahead yeah, and test. Somebody raising their hand. But then, like, yeah, the other guy... One second, so like, The other guy test? is just like, oh, okay, well, I'm dead. So hold like, there's no fun so hold dying. Up. So hold up. Yeah, Pitch, what are you trying to say? The other... You know, I just thought of this, too, is, like, they had that kind of Pokemon event. What was it called? Aethernet? Aether Wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aether Wars. I mean, something like that could kind of work, where it's like you're, you've got the units, and you can put on x amount of buffs but it, it essentially is balanced like i i can imagine it would be a lot of fun if they if they allowed pvp in that yep. you could have you could have made tons of different teams of that and you know kind of counterpicked with that like they, yep. they probably already have the tools to do it but yeah i don't uh, know box what were you trying to say oh oh shit i, I was just mimicking mtash to be honest but i do have oh, something okay, cool. to say <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> Um, I think that they can make PvP balance, but uh, they have to add like more skills, man, because you can't really outthink like your opponent. Uh, I don't know why. The, like, I always no. thought this was really stupid from from Starro, like being a turn based game and not having like that many options to, you know, guard. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like turn skip. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, bro. So I think I think that they need more skills. I know it's like pretty much impossible. Like uh. Genshin, it's been like three years now, and they only have like an, an ult and an auto attack and like an E. So, as soon as you mention that, though, that that's kind of genius because it, it makes me think about League of Legends when you have that one hyper yes. carry who's just super fucking fed, but they still end up losing the game because it's so com League of Legends is such a multifaceted and complex game that even if you have that hyper carry that's fed, which I guess you could correlate to a well, right? That the hyper carry would be the well that's fed. They still lost the game because the game is so complex. Does that make right, sense? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think I see what you mean there. Yeah. I okay. So I would like to say this. I also, Buck, do you have anything to say? Or are you just being cute with your hand? No. 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 Yeah. I actually have something okay. to say. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. No. 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 Uh, okay. To be like, I, I think in my opinion, to the easiest way to to actually make a PvP happen, I don't think Hongai Star ever had the intention to make player versus player like straight up at forty four because we don't even have like toughness bar on our own units. Mm -hmm. so that's gonna be like a complete new thing to have to balance and how are we gonna like balance our weaknesses and all that kind of stuff right so i think if pvp were to ever happen it's either going to be like a single solo boss and then just see who deals the most amount of points so it's like a leaderboard right then mm -hmm. you see who does the most points. even hp then just see who Such goes good solo or, guys. Or like the current pride win pvp format um you just have it in memory of chaos with bands and picks and then see who gets the lower cycles i think that is the most realistic form of pvp Without having like a player versus player. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. no, yeah, I, I, yeah, 100%, like... I I I one million percent agree with you. Um, I think leaderboards the way to go for that. Uh, I am this might be surprising. I am under the opinion that I would I would not like PVP in the game. Uh, I don't think that we need it at all. Um, I would really like for at least not soon. Uh, I don't think they're ready. Uh, I think they should really just focus on making this game PVEs and story and characters very like the 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 lore very like very deep. And getting people invested in the story because that is where the majority of the money is. Uh, and also, the big thing is is that I think the PvP would absolutely suck fucking dick because there's just not enough characters yet. Uh, there's very little games where I mean, how many do we have? Like less than thirty characters. Uh, it would just be the meta would be found instantly. Everybody would be running the same shit, and uh, that issue can probably be circumvented because. Uh, we have been getting two new characters every patch from the beginning of the game. And I believe we will also be getting two new characters every patch for the entirety of Pentacony as well, which I believe was already revealed uh, via leaks 223, you know, five stars and four stars. Um, I do think the game could be setting up for PvP in the future. Uh, but I mean, let's let's be real. I mean, what, what turn-based RPG has pvp against other players with unit combat with a pool of less than 30 characters I, I don't really think that there's that many at least not any successful uh to my knowledge uh you know summoner's war has 480 500 characters epic seven same deal a fucking ridiculous amount i just don't think the depth would be there yet i don't think the game's ready for pvp yet and i think it'd be lackluster but i do think leaderboard is the only way to go for it in my opinion the lack of characters is a good point and something I didn't consider. That's that's true. But I will say no other fucking game out there that I know of in this space is releasing characters the way Hawkeye Star Rail is either. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, yeah, two new five stars and a four star. I, I am worried about that uh, long term because <laughs> I feel like that is going to dilute the story and who we want to see in the game very, very heavily. Now, I do like what they're doing for certain characters where you like meet Ching Chia and she's like, oh, this character gambles. And there she goes, gone. She's a goblin. Yeah, exactly. Love her. Um, I already know. Well, I don't know this, but I'm speculating. I don't think we're gonna see. For example, my favorite character is Kafka. Okay, we we all probably know that I got bare ass naked on stream. Oh, so really? Forth. Yeah, I didn't know that. And uh, crazy, dude. I don't think we're gonna be seeing any of her in Pentacony, and that to me is going to drive me fucking nuts. Uh, Ooh, that fucking blows. Right? And I, I haven't haven't seen any spoilers. Maybe we see her. Maybe we don't. But. Uh, I am genuinely worried about making that many characters and diluting the story and uh, I guess diluting the main dynamic of the cast. Uh, I also think that Don Hung is done. Yeah, go ahead, test. I think a great example of that is, and maybe you don't agree, Yeah. the Sumeru story was fucking awful because it was just like, D is here and now Candace is here. Like, I literally feel like 80% of the story was how... <laughs> How can we get these five star characters into the story, and and how can we make them show up? And now they've got a meeting, and now they like I just feel like it was fan service after fan service after fan service, and um I, I think it makes the story worse. And then Dia is this like essentially badass like mercenary chick. She can go in with her claymore and kill a bunch of people, and she's and like, she oh, sucks. I'm gonna do my makeup, and like I hope the traveler likes me. And it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, wait, did that happen? Yeah, yeah like she, she's like checking yeah. her makeup and she's like, oh my, like, she, it, it, it was like bizarre. It was bizarre. Wait. It's like, dude, this chick like goes and murders people in bandit camps. And then why does she even like the traveler? Like, it's, it's so fan service that it ruins the game. In my day of that fucking that's what they red, want, like red wearing cat girl thing. Yeah. That's like yeah. really fucking bad. Like, I don't even play Genshin. I know she's dog shit, dude. It's like her reputation precedes the game. It's crazy. Because you all play Genshin. Yeah. I have never. Yes. I've played in, like all of Mondstadt. I forgot I played it. Like when Tectone asked me, he was like, "Hey, have you played Genshin?" I was like, "Yeah, I played it for like two hours." No, I played all of Mondstadt. It was just so forgettable. I forgot. What do you yeah, want to say? You want to say smack? I just want to say uh, the story for Pina Coney. Uh, I, I do agree with Tech too, saying that the focus of it should be story. I, I maybe I'm the only one about this, but I feel like they are milking the shit out of everything but the story. You know what I mean? Like they they. I, I keep losing interest of the story because it just takes so long for it to update in between. Mm -hmm. So with regards to what I'm expecting in Pinaconi is I need them to like reel me back in with that storyline uh, on, on that first patch. I don't need them to like give me eight hours of story every patch. But for the first release of Pinaconi, I think it's important that they deliver us a wow factor of storyline the way they did when the, uh, the villains came in for Genshin Impact. Because Genshin Impact got some dry ass moments of story, which is why I didn't return. But those highs are good fucking highs in the Genshin Impact story. And that's something I want to see from Honkai Star Rail in the opening of Pina Coney. Like, I want to see something about Sampo and Sparkle, the followers of AHA, revealing more of their, their, their plots and <laughs> shit. Like, they have, they have these little things that they can t capitalize on. But, like, holy shit, bro. I swear, that story just, like, it's like one hour every goddamn eight weeks. I, I have been looking into a lot of, like, story stuff my videos recently. And, like, I, I, I used to hate Sampo. Um, and like going into Pina Kali, I am fucking praying we get something regarding the mass fools and like the, the God of chaos regarding sparkle. Yeah. Because yeah, Sampo is so interesting. Like I didn't realize it, but the more I look into this clown, like the more things about him just doesn't make sense. Like there's evidence of him being on the low food. Like it's a hundred percent confirmed. You can find like a gag bomb that he just fucking dropped there. And it was like, it was like, Oh, it's a, it's a nuke, but then it goes off and it's not. Like they're really interesting. So like I hope I I'm with I'm with you 100. percent I hope that they give us more story stuff because they have so many like good plot points, but they don't fucking do anything with them. Well, it's like I said, it's like they milk it. But what attracts me is his goofy demeanor. And if they were to make him do some really dark shit, it would really I think it would reel a lot of people back in. Mm, like kill Humika. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not Sampo, yeah. Jesus Christ. No, I, I, do. I think we had this discussion yeah. at the start on, on like the first yeah. podcast. We were like, I think it was, I think it was even you take down. I can't remember. Not, not, not quoting it, but we were talking about how there was no way we were only going to have the world that we have at launch 
by the time we get to 2.0 or a year into the game. And like none of us thought that was going to be it, but they have really slowed down the delivery. Like I thought we were going to get like another world sometime mm. yeah. before now. Yeah. If it's one thing I can nitpick, it's the story. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ted. Yeah, uh, I, I, when we first started the game, I agree. I did want uh, new worlds. Uh, but that was underneath the impression that we wouldn't get new game modes until yeah. we got those new worlds. Thankfully, that's not the case. Story and worlds pretty much only exist for lore enjoyers. Uh, so I don't really think it matters how often we get new planets as long as the game is being innovated upon. I think Golden Gears was fucking fantastic. Uh, and I think Memory of Chaos 12 is great. Uh, I, so, I've, I, go ahead. Sorry, uh, I was gonna say. Uh, I feel like I've heard so many people say like Golden Gears is too hard, and I'm like, thank fucking Christ, yep. dude. Like, I'm I'm so glad they keep adding more game modes and shit. I don't mind if if they progress like if they add new zones slowly, right? Because I'm not playing this game to farm characters. I'm playing this game because I enjoy beating the content. Like I enjoy playing the, the content, playing the characters. I don't need more Ascension materials. What I want is like more game modes and they're doing that every single patch and I fucking love it. Like I love that I can go into Golden Gears and get fucking Molly Womp because I picked the wrong blessing at some point. I think that's sick. <laughs> yeah, I just cut you love real that. quick, real quick. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed. I, I just posted this video like a couple of hours, uh, not a self-promotion, but uh, essentially do you guys know that you could actually guarantee um getting both run may blessings every single time like every single time oh please share with the class man yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, so, i've so been TLDR, I have... yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so TLDR, uh, this was discovered in like the cn community on Billy Billy. so like essentially they've discovered you know the, the purple notes the abnormalities yeah you, you um, get like random occurrences. occurrences every single time yeah right? um so each time these occurrences only happen once and then once you do them again they'll never happen again so what they discovered is after you go through all 17 occurrences you are guaranteed to get run May at the last couple of notes if you choose the 3 plus 1 or the double, like 100% of the time. And yeah. everybody what? in my community has really tested it out and it's like guaranteed. So it's like, it's huge. Yeah, and, the yeah, I, are doing really and you're awesome telling me if you want to figure oh, that out, all you got to do is go to channel.com and yes, watch that sir. video. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Actually, I figured out with friend. Ron May wow. if you are... Uh, uh, if you like interact content, with the Ron May occurrence as Ron May, you actually don't have to pick. It lets you just take both yeah, options. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah, I actually encountered it for the mode. first time. I encountered it for the like first it? time like a week ago, and I got both options. Like, oh, that's crazy. Like, let me let me talk about this. People already figured it out. Hmm. Uh, yo, Box, is that everything you wanted from Petaconi? Uh, I did make a list at first. Hold on, let me see. Okay. Um, free five star. That's more anniversary wise, though. Is it, is it true we talk about like the anniversary? You can or... talk about whatever the fuck you want, man. Oh shit, bro, dude. Uh, do you guys look at leaks by the way, or do you guys dream? Sorry, my bad. Um, I only dream, yeah. I you mean never. you mean like the oh, vegetable? Yeah, dude, I love There's leaks, no like the vegetable. So I Great. look at leaks, uh, for upcoming characters. I don't look at leaks for anything else. I okay. when I when I see like when I saw some Petaconi spoilers, that shit pissed me off. Uh, and I also heard some spo story spoilers that should also piss me off. Uh, no, not I not anything, anything reason for Petaconi, story. but for the past, I heard story spoilers, uh, which I really don't enjoy. It makes me really fucking angry. But uh, yeah, for upcoming characters, I look at those. That's about it. Okay. All right. Because uh, I don't uh, look at uh, leaks at all. And uh, I, I like to like speculate, right? So with, with how generous Star has been being right now, um, I think it's not impossible to get like a free five-star selector pack. And I'm, I'm really hoping that we get that just so, you know... We have, like, a signal that this is not going to be, like, the same thing as Genshin Impact again. And so we can shit on them again. Cause no, we... Shitting on Genshin. We yeah, somebody will recently, 1 million percent um, be getting a 5-star selector for the anniversary. 1 million somebody million. recently, oh, yeah. like, explained to me just how bad... Like, I, I always thought, you know, because... I, I, I always hear shit about Genshin, and, like, I was like, oh, they're overreacting. Somebody recently, like, explained it in a very digestible way just how fucking bad their anniversary was. They said, let me put it like this. What we got from the first anniversary was less than the maintenance patch rewards. And I said, oh my god. Yeah, all right, yeah. that checks out. And, like, as soon as, like, I still don't think, like, the going on, like, other apps was justified in, like, removing them. But, like, I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, hopefully Star Rail actually does something nice for us. Uh, Box, what did you want to, what did you, why did you want to ask about leaks? Was it just the five-star selector or anything else? Oh, yeah, just, uh, like, the five-star uh, selectors, man. Because uh, people are always trying to... <laughs> To come to my chat and, and, and talk about leaks too, so they're like I, they're kind of hinting at it. So I'm not sure if it's like uh like actually coming around, but I I thought it was going to come in like the first place, man. But other than that, I don't really I really don't have too many expectations out of Star. I just want like more end game to be honest, bro. That's all I want, more end game and uh because the game is doing uh, good right now. So I, I so have faith. I have faith. you so want even more right now? 
Yes, right now. Okay, Bro, I've been playing well, okay. Well, per, put that into words. What is it that you want? What do they need to do? PvP. That's not. <laughs> he went back to the same thing. It's literally, it's literally. Oh, one one over that next time. Got a one let me, mind. let me tell you it's why you don't want that. Okay, mm -hmm. let me tell you why you don't want that. Okay, as content creators, players, yeah. I don't care. I'm not here to advocate for that. You don't want PvP because that is not going to give you any time to stall. Okay, stalling is the best part of any content creator. The moment that there's not anything to do, that means that your audience will be open to watching something else, and that is how you will thrive, bro. I am telling you, you want dead patches. 1.5 was some of the best content I ever did because there was nothing happening in Honkai Star Rail, so I did fucking classic WoW hardcore for 45 days straight, and that shit was fucking awesome, and nobody bitched. I think the best content creators are the ones who thrive when there's nothing going on. That's why I don't want people PvP. I want dead patches really bad, but that's that's for Twitch. Me. Nah, but see, yeah, that, that is that a is good point. Twitch. It's for Twitch, but I, I I agree with tech. Remember, I talked to you about this, Bulk, and I was saying I'm okay with dead patches simply because I can't. I don't want to fucking only play Hawkeye Star Rail True. for the rest of my life. I love the fact that I have something to do in that game, and now I can go play something else. A backlog of motherfucking games out there that are actually good, but if you keep getting more content in this one game. When the hell am I ever gonna play any other games, bro? You know what I mean? And like even and then even if not, like, you know, if I have like, you know, basic responsibilities and I don't necessarily want to play a game, I enjoy not having to do yeah. that shit. I bro. mean, it, this is all a subjective d debate here, but what I'm saying, Box, I hear you want more in game, but like do you not have cravings to play other games or you know, do other shit? Yeah, yeah let me <laughs> no, let me recommend right. you some some good ones, bro. I got you. Trust me. Uh-huh. Uh I think I you just want to get a yacht. That's all I care about. So. <laughs> hey, that's, hey, that's what I'm saying, man. Pump the content. Fuck it. Uh, M Tash, by the way, I did want to ask. You don't have to answer mm -hmm. this. You, you yep. a big investment guy? Yeah, why? How much you got invested right now? You don't got to say. 1.9 million. I have one, bro. Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. Look at you. Right. Right. It, 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 on the peasants. Yeah. We it are. All right. Be, I see you. It used to be 2.3 million, though. That's the issue. Oh, hey, that's okay. It's is that raw hard, investment though. or debt? Pardon me? <laughs> like, if you lended to get that, or is that raw cash investment? That's just my cash investment. That's called. No, let me, let me, let me try that. That's Genshin money, bro. That's Genshin. Well, that, <laughs> and that's the issue is, is yep. I made so much money during Genshin that as the market was dropping. So, so like the theory is invest as soon as you can, because long-term you're going to win. But the issue was, well, everything dropped 50%. It can't drop anymore. And then it drops another 20%. And it's like, well, yeah, rip 300 grand. Yeah. Well, to keep but, investing is be, having the money to always buy the I just kept buying, kept buying, kept buying. So like some of the stuff that I have is down 25%, 30% even, yeah, but some of the stuff that I bought at the bottom is up like a hundred percent. So, yeah. so it's like, there's some stuff that's up really good, but I'm still down. So it's it's a tough gig. If you have the money to dollar cost average, your investments will always come back stronger. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna I'm gonna not close my eyes and wait 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not financially. Yeah, that's just that's just his there. opinion, guys. Anyways, we we <laughs> should uh, if you ever want, we should really talk uh, finances sometimes. Uh, really fun. I mean, oh, that's I'm my funnest cool. thing. Is I, I, I love it. Quit. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I'm actually gonna make a finance <laughs> channel. I'm like the, I already have the camera. Like I'm gonna do. Oh shit. Like, I can't tell you what to invest in, but I just want to talk about like, even just like the money side of YouTube is like, what is the most money I've ever made from one video? Or like what, like all these different things or like, Hey, I lost, you know, $300,000, but I didn't sell what happened 10 years later. Like, yeah. like topics that, that like people can learn from, but I'm not a professional Absolutely. is just like to track it and show it and be like, I was patient and it paid off. Like, you know, maybe don't panic sell and lose your shirt. You know, kind yeah, of things. I've been, oh, I've been waiting for that channel. You made that video like six months ago. I know. Where is that, I know. <laughs> I know. Hey, I just found out I have ADHD and I'm starting medication. And hey, like, how you doing, brother? I'm yeah. hoping that it allows me to do some of these ideas that I have, you know, that are just floating around. But yeah. we'll see. A couple of ADHD. That, that shit. Here, brother is actually life-changing like i was i was on adhd meds in like high school and i stopped right before college and now i don't remember anything i did in college and i'm like fuck dude i feel like i learned nothing i like I, it was <laughs> so easy with I the drinking in the parties no no <laughs> trust yeah, me yeah. <laughs> it's it's fucking crazy like how much a difference it makes like you know no i don't want to get too much into it like when you take it like it's it's more easier for me like i i, I don't want to go too far into my personal life Be like fucking christ i don't take my medication i am not there I right. did not remember shit. All right, well, Box, we've been on your endgame yeah. thing, or Pentagon thing for about 30 minutes now. You got anything else or no? <laughs> no, no we'll, I'll, I'll let the next person go, man. I'll let, uh, I appreciate yeah, that, bro. Good. All right, yo, Brax, uh, yeah. what do you want to see in Pentagon? 
Dude, I love the new characters they put into the game. I, I love Shui and I love Ron May. Obviously, Ron May is very fucking, like, like she's insane, right? So I'm going to like her. But I like the focus on break effect because that has been, like, a basically useless stat for so long. And I like that they're changing up, like, like what's important. Wait, you said, because you I'm said break effect? Yeah. Wait, God, back. I, how do you say that word? What? Break effect? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, <hold on. laughs> you say that fucking shit so weird, bro. You say dude, break I, effect. I do. Oh yeah, dude, my fucking this is my southern ass accent, probably. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't really give a shit about the story. I do think like mass full stuff would be kind of cool. Fuck Sampo. I, Wait, I think you that, don't um, give a shit about just the, story? the new characters. I honestly don't give a shit about the HSR story now. Oh, I mean, I'll play you. it. Oh, I'll sit there. Yeah, I'll enjoy same. it. Right? Fuck the story. Like, I just want like Mario Kart Twenty. Yes, sir, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Go, go for it. Go for it. I, so like yeah i don't know it's like it's it's fine i i don't dislike the story it's like i played through the story i enjoyed it it's so whatever i just don't really care as much about that because i'm too focused on like slamming my head against a wall trying to wait make give this me give me one second usable. my audio has blown up give me one second let me fix it real quick uh -oh. give me one second 30 i've been over here lagging for a while do i more Check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Is my shit working again? Dude, yeah, 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 definitely. I knew. Oh, yeah. That would be yeah. so yeah. fucking okay. funny if I got sponsored by like a goddamn what the King Yoon body pillow. God. Um, how do I fix this? <sighs> it's like a joke yeah. with my audience of people Tech, think I actually care. Your audio sounds care. good, brother. Huh? Okay, I fixed it. Okay, great. Uh, okay. Sorry, if we're all ready, uh, the last thing you said was, I don't enjoy the story. All story enjoyers should kill themselves. Continue, Brax. That's, yeah, that's about what I said. Oh, so. yeah, okay. I'll, I'll see myself out there. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't know. It's it's fine. Like, I, I enjoy the story. I'm just not, like, a huge, like, I'm going to do the story every patch, and that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm more looking forward to, like, having fun playing the game in different ways. That, that's what I like about it. And so I like when there's, there's characters that are fucking based around break effect and a character that can break toughness on any with any weakness. I think that's fucking sick. I, I love that. And so I hope they have more characters that are that have like really unique gimmicks like that. So we're not just like build DPS, you know, crit, speed, damage percent, and then like you know it's all that. I'm also excited for Pure Fiction, but that's not Pentacony. That's just like in a week or so. Yeah. I know like some people AOE. can understand. Is that the AOE mode? Yeah. 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 Okay. Attach? yeah. I'm gonna get rolled on that. All right. Cool. I feel like some people can't understand that. Like you don't even care about the story at all. And it's like I've played Epic Seven for a couple of years. I've never watch one cutscene. I have no fucking idea who any of the characters are or what they do or who's who's powerful or who's not. I just fight the bosses, do the raids, play PvP, and like I just do not care. If I could skip all Hoyover stuff and just play the content, I, I mean, I, w I would do that each patch, but I, pr I probably wouldn't play the game the same way I do now. Mm. Like, I would go in, do my weekly stuff, and then and then be done with it. But mm. I, I'm one of those people that, like, content for me is, like, challenge is is, yeah. is me me trying to beat that thing and then once i've beaten it i'm satisfied i'm good and i can move on but based, uh based. Yeah. so I mean, the story as well is that they like at the start at the launch of the game i think everyone was pretty entrenched in the story because like it, it, it was like it was like a good flow it's like when you watch a show and then they're like one episode per week like I, I can't do that anymore. I need to. I need the whole series to be there. So like the slow release of story makes me lose interest. That's what yeah, I was talking about. Yeah, I have a lot earlier. to say about story. I'll save that for like my turn to talk, but I'll yeah. put a pin in that for now. There's like a lot of problems with it, but so, actually, I like it not on a first playthrough, but like more of a retrospective thing. I'll, I'll save it for later. So I think I I totally understand when people say that they don't give a fuck about the story, they could skip it. Uh, I'm on the opposite side of the fence where I think it's incredibly important to the video game because I feel the majority of banner sales, as we can tell from previous characters, isn't coming directly from meta. It's also by how much the people like those characters. So I feel like for Unless the Kafka. Yeah, I think Kafka still did pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, she's, she she's good. You know, her and her merry band of power pellet poachers, she's all right. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it is a story-based game. Exactly. Yeah, like I, I, 
I think making sure that the story is innovating for everybody is, is very good for the company, uh, as well as myself. I still very much enjoy the story. I really enjoyed Ruan Mays. I still really enjoyed pretty much every single patch so far. I mean, the the, the whole whole event one, I didn't really give a fuck about. Uh, I still want to do the Argenti story. I heard that was very good, but uh, I, I would like a full focus on the story because I understand that that is kind of how Genshin Impact differentiates itself from other or from other games with why they're so financially uh, profitable is because they get the character... They, they, make, they make people invest in the world, the characters, that's how they make their money, and then from there, sure, PvP. But uh, I, I don't think the story should be an afterthought by any means. Uh, I think it's very important to make sure that it's... Uh, I guess cohesive. You should probably play Argenti's like companion quest before like the next story update because it feels like it would be chronological to do so. Yeah, it, like it, it lines up pretty good with the. I mean, it's not like it's just by virtue of they're in the parlor car right now kind of situation, but like I feel like you should do that for the next update. It won't immersion shit, you know. Yeah, uh, Brax, did you want to discuss anything else for Pentacony? No, I just I just want unique characters. That's all I care about. Okay, and <laughs> what? Give, give me an example of a unique character that you'd like. What would you so, want the character to do? So, like, imagine a character that like scales off of effect hit rate or something, right? Like, what if we okay. had like a nihility character or like a or even even just like a fucking a destruction character that debuffs or something, and you build them effect hit rate to get them to like actually uh, to like actually use their effect, and then like based on the amount of effect hit rate they hit, they get like different buffs or something or have different effects i just think like gimmicks like that that based that are based around the character's build are like super cool so uh, you just you uh, just look at leaks or what no i, I don't care about wait brax do you just like look at leaks or what <laughs> wait what, what do you mean <laughs> oh so you got you got no idea what you're talking about it's just a coincidence it's an easy question man no yeah, way. Totally <laughs> no wait is there a character that does that no oh there's not yeah that's i don't know man somewhere. i mean who knows yeah, man no definitely I mean, not it's fine interesting <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hold on. Leaks right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love. I do. I do agree with him to that though, because like there's a certain character I, I've been dogging on him for the entire time. Misha, the dude is he's gonna be dead day one. This man is an ice destruction unit in a meta with Jing Liu. Like it's over for him, bro. Like, oh yeah, he's. I, fucked. I don't know what they're gonna do. He's 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 fucked. Me Yo, personally, bro, I'm looking at leaks right now, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Look at him go, man. <laughs> look at this guy, bro. Yep, look at oh, him go. Shit. There's no fucking way, right? Like, oh <laughs> my god, Brax, we're fucking with you, homie. No, don't don't fall for it. He's got gaslit, dude. It's crazy. There's no fucking way. Uh, so for me, whether a character scales with defense or HP or effect, I don't really care. I, I would like to somehow think of a way to actually make a character truly feel different. Um, but it's just such a hard thing to think of. Like it is incredibly difficult. Like yeah, there's Doctor Ratio. He actually did a pretty good job at it, though. Like you know, you got to play. Yeah, I think his, the like, follow up attack thing is cool. Yeah, his follow up one is really unique. Then you have like the fucking destruction path, which is just like I'm gonna use skill points, so I'm not. Like that's pretty much the yep. whole thing. I think it's also cool how when you use Doctor Ratio, it's like you're seeing the world through his eyes and you see the ratios on top of their head. But uh, I I do think that's gonna be the biggest issue. And I I also think that's something that I think a lot of content creators should start talking about is their ideas for what a cool innovative character would be. Uh, for Honkai Star Rail. I mean, I think that shit's interesting as fuck uh, for how a, a, a character can work and how they can innovate the uh, the way a character's plays. Uh, but yeah, if you're all done, Brax, uh, yo, Godsmack, what do you want to see for Pentacone? Um, Before I even go on that, I think it's pretty damn easy to get innovative with characters in Honkai Star Rail. Like, there's so many <laughs> things. I'll give, uh, like, a peer blown example yeah, is you could have a character come into the roster that pretty much allows everybody on your team to do one character's ultimate. Like, this is just one example. That's but like, sick. That there's, is there's, sick as fuck. Yeah. I love that. Okay. I, I just, I feel like the their multifaceted complex system just opens up a, 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 all kind of things you can get creative with for a turn-based game such as this. Like, it, but basically it boils down to one person enabling the team to do different shit. Uh, but going back to what I was talking about, uh, I want more variety of battle music. I'm tired of listening to the same dude, ass yes, battle music dude. in the memory yes, of chaos. Dude. I just play it on sound off now. That shit, get, shit makes my ears yeah, bleed. God, the biggest, uh, the biggest was, was the Fentilio game. Yeah. Goddamn. Yeah. Um, I also want to see the new, I'm excited, uh, hopefully, to get a new element for the Trailblazer. Do you guys have an idea mm. what they might, oh, you know, if it could be a wind no. element for it, maybe? That, yeah, like, uh, like uh, know. Abundance uh, Imaginary would be pretty cool, yeah. Abundance and imag imaginary would be cool. I was thinking maybe yeah. when, because there was this theory, and I, I don't, I'm not kidding, literally a theory, where they're like going to give him the element that March 7th or Dan hung, the, the, the original three have. Do y'all know? Have, 
Oh, and then uh, change March? Yeah, and it changed March. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I actually have a theory of what it could be because the Trailblazer is always associated with a stellar line. Isn't Panacali like the land of dreams? It's probably because if so, like I'm pretty sure it's what it says when like Herd is saying it's probably either going to be harmony or abundance. Yeah. If I had to guess, I'm but pretty it's sure. Probably, it's probably harmony because abundance was the lofu. So I, I imagine it's going to be harmony. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think completely forgot lofu. about the other part. Um, of course, there's a new. He's going to be a new uh, path. I've completely forgot about that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's yeah. just going to be imaginary harmony, and I'm going to just okay. go and say it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I would like to come back to this and see what happens. I thought it was going to be wind harmony, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know the element, oh, but I, I'm I'm pretty certain it's going to be harmony. I hope then it's like imaginary but i also am gonna be so fucking mad if they're a wind hunt <laughs> i'm gonna be so fucking yeah. mad what's bad about that? Nah, so, so the reason is they, so they wouldn't do that because they already gave players don hung for free yeah exactly. so it's i think not right yeah i say my i mean my wind dps right Surely. now is fucking wah -wah, so like what's bad, what's so bad about that you know? yeah just get the black swan we'll be all good oh, wait no. he's gonna have a new weapon too right <laughs> that's a new, a new path like uh since the the Oh, what you call it? The fire one had like a lance, right? And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know what the weapon would be. Yours, that like, monster part. hunter, guys. I mean, they'll because probably the... they'll probably have a harp. To be yeah, honest, because it's the land of music. The weapon that he uses, the fi the flaming lance, that's the supreme guardian weapon. Like you know, Cocolios was frozen because the wish for the eternal freeze, but the Trailblazers was on fire gonna... because the wish to dispel it. So I don't know what a weapon. I don't know what the weapon would be. I have no fucking clue. Could be a trash Getting back can. to what I was saying, I, I would like more. It wouldn't be a trash can. can. That's true. Qual Quality. Quality of life in regard to what, and also real quick because I like your idea a lot. Gotcha, Smack. The uh, the ability to take somebody else's alt to suit your mm -hmm. need. I think that's really yeah, cool. Um, there's the also a really character. cool character concept in a game called Summoner's War where you have two characters called the Chakram Dancers. Uh, okay. And when one attacks, the other one immediately attacks. And they have like a pair unit that's really fun to use. And I think uh, guaranteed synergy units are a lot of fun that I think would be, you know, great to see. But uh, yeah, like, uh, character synergy is 100%. I, I, I think characters Khan. are how you make the combat better. The ingenuity of the characters, like Brax mentioned, is how you improve the combat. Because it just goes inside of their elemental infused complex system to just improve it. Uh, but quality of life is what I would want to see. Like, stop giving fucking four star artifacts out when we get a one time oh collectible chest. God, like, yes. bro, what, what the fuck am I gonna do with a four star artifact, exactly. bro? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it makes no sense. And you can scale it for the newer players; they can continue getting their four stars. But for the bro, for us, what the hell am I gonna do with a four star artifact, man? So you I, know? I don't think they could have them scale. And the reason why I don't think they could have them scale is because then the players wouldn't be incentivized to collect all the chests until they get the higher AR. Ah, uh, which I point. think, yeah, I think that would uh, sour collecting for a lot of new players, yeah. and they would feel like they wasted uh, resources by collecting them early. I think That's just, just point. fucking, just give them five stars. You know, mm -hmm. fuck it. Because I mean, like, I'll be by the time you get the Pentagon, just give them a fucking five star. I totally agree with that shit. It's fucking pointless. Yeah, the yeah. relic system in this game is like, uh, like I, I have very few complaints, but the relic system in this game is dog shit. I hate it so much. You know, two months for one speed boots, and I got the worst rolls known to mankind. It's crazy. It like, is. I actually, like it. Uh, I, any? I have twenty ER ropes, and not a single one of them has speed on it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's and that's just the name of the game, baby. Well, that's no just because that's just because that you're bad. I, Oh, yeah, 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 I did. I did. Like the rating system. They are improving on that. I'm sorry, did I just hear something? Devil's Advocate? What was that, Pokey? Was that, <laughs> no, I, I, I actually like the rating system because, like, if it's hard to get something, then you'll you'll actually like, appreciate it. True. Like, if, True. if it's like super super easy, that everybody will be just wearing the same shit. So you're just chasing yeah. that dopamine, man. Uh, that's yeah, like, I just put it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a gamble. Yeah, it's a gamble. Exactly, exactly. I find it so interesting how, like, I'll be building a character, like, I get, I just got a new character, and they're like. Yeah, we'll just get 8,000 HP and like 146 speed. It's like, okay, sure. And I do it. And then I'm trying to build the next character. And they're like, yeah, we'll just, now you need 146 speed and this effect. It's like, where the fuck are you guys getting these pieces? Like, <laughs> oh, literally. Get that have you been watching books, have you? <laughs> Ask Mr. Like, Pokey free to play plus over there. I get them. Yeah, they're just like yeah, better, guys. people. Just far better. Just far better. Really. People always yeah. tell me like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's the relic system. It promotes that day in the sun. You know, when you get all the stars aligned, God smile upon you, and bam, perfect peace. Yeah, I've never Jesus had that happen in my sure. life. Dude, for my um, run, I think I God has it, abandoned me. I've never I've seen had, it. 
I had no pieces for it. And I'm like, okay, this has break effective speed. This has break effective speed. This like everything rolled like 17 plus percent break effect. It was like my godliest upgrade Holy session shit. I've ever had. And I didn't, I don't even have a break effect light cone. Like I just haven't had the RNG on the light cones. So I'm, or, I'm not quite at 180, but I'm like 170 something break effect with like no, no addition through uh light cones or anything like that now is that insane. and that's also now, is that before or after you enter battle huh that, that's the break with the buff that's with the buff okay okay i was about to say because like, i'm pretty sure you're already there then homie if it's not in battle so here's yeah, my just, just little show here's my take about relics first of all relics are bad in every single gacha game that ever exists uh it's by Thank design you. to artificially extend the amount of gameplay that a game has yeah uh by keeping players invested and in actually having something they can progress towards I don't know how people, okay, just hear me out, and feel free to rip me to shreds for this one. I don't get how people ask for PvP because they want more game modes and they want more things to do and then say, oh, I also just want perfect artifacts already. Like, that would <laughs> that would yeah. reduce the amount of things that you can do. Like, if you get artifacts that quick, well, then the game's fucking dead, right? So like, But it's, it's the opposite people saying the thing. So like I think pe I think people that enjoy PvP are most likely going to be the people that enjoy the relic system. Like I I enjoy RNG gear because it's something to do and something to grind towards and i think that's why the people who like relics are normally going to be the people like pvp because they want something to grind for so like well, at the, the moment in the game i have relics to grind for which i enjoy because the yeah. rng is that dopamine it's what i do instead of summoning like it's it gives me that every time i get a drop oh is it going to be speed on the boots like what are the subs that's going to be yep. but then yep. I'm doing that because I enjoy that, but I have nothing to use that in because the PVE modes don't offer enough challenge that PVP would offer me. I that is literally yeah, there's, the there's one, element. one problem with like the relic system though, like grinding it. Like it's not really something you can grind because trailblaze power. Like you can only do it. What is it like 30 per run? So you can only do it like seven. Yeah. Seven, eight times a day. So like, even if you wanted to grind, you can't, you have to wait. And like, that's my issue. Like, well, that's I, I get that they have to genre. do it to increase, like, play. Yeah, I know. I, I know it's like a genre, I think. But, like, I was like, you know, maybe, like, make it to where we can run it, but, like, the drop rate is stupid low. That way we can at least still try and get it. You know, it's just not effective, but, like, I don't know. I it's, think it's, the it's, moment that you allow people to grind for relics infinitely is value. the moment you kill the game. Yeah, I know. And that's what I was thinking. Like, it's kind of like a necessary evil situation. You, you have but... to give people a reason to log in every day. And uh, with how often gotcha games update, they need something for players to do in the midst of uh, dead patches. And I feel like relic grinding is that. And I think that would also... Cute cat, by the way, Brax. Uh, I also think that... Um, my brain turned off. What the fuck are you saying, Smack? It's okay. We're talking uh, about just, relics. Uh, we're talking about grinding, bro. Yeah, yeah well, apart from... There was like a couple you're, of things that just couldn't chime in. But um, I, I want... The motherfuckers need to fix this simulate universe in Peter County, bro. I swear, they don't... If they don't oh my God, yes. Peter County... I am going to fucking. Wait, what are we talking about? It's so, yeah, dude, it's, it's so fucking bad. The fact yeah, that to yeah. farm simulated, I had to do the whole simulated universe oh, to get relics and or like the, the tassel and orbs. It's so fucking bro. bad. Like, take what that system the dude, fuck nice out of Simuni and put it somewhere else. <laughs> just make, just make those, those tokens world. you get like a, a clear ticket. Absolutely. You know, oh wow. It's like you just hit that button wow. And then Good it's idea. Just Good yeah, idea. Just gonna remove it, to be honest. Fuck that. Like, like, <laughs> my my relics are incredible. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't. If you play the game, you know, like me personally, my my relics are crazy. Nah, to be honest, lying, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'll be real. I don't know how people are, but you know what it is. You know what it is. Y'all fuckers are entitled. That's what it is. You want oh, these yeah, per. You want these perfect right. fucking stats. Right. One sixty speed. Three hundred percent crit damage. Bitch, I clear the content with my shit. That's all I care about. I don't need anything more than that. Right I don't up. care. Okay. Okay. Counter argument. I don't clear content. My stats are also. Bad. That's just because you're bad. Titles. You're right. I am bad. <laughs> I people mean, people say luck fault. is a skill, but the only people who say that are lucky. I swear. <laughs> yeah, bro. I clear the content because I'm good. You don't because you're bad. I'm dog <laughs> shit. Actually, yeah. stop being mild. Tell me the truth, Texas. Yeah. So sometimes it just be like that, you know. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like just take the fucking relic and tassels out of the out of the community. Hundred percent, God smack. Is there anything else? You're 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 spitting fire to me right now. I, I was just going to say, M. Task, brother, you, I'm passing it off to him if he wants to chime in on whatever he wants to say. Uh, <laughs> um, I think with, like, the unique characters, I would like, uh, I think it'd be cool to have someone that makes AoE counterattacks. So, like, it makes everyone have a counterattack. Oh, and then, nice. And then they feed in. 
I would oh, like someone. Really good. Yeah. I'd like someone who allow. So what they do is either it's with their ultimate or the skill makes all the other follow up attack units do their follow up attack. Holy shit. I'd that, dude, that could you imagine though? like having just a whole fucking team of follow up attacks and like just one thing triggers and just like it's just like a firing squad on the enemy. It so crazy. Especially there's units like Himiko who like you have to break them to, yeah, to do that's, it. That's my god, and, Himiko is so bad because of that. Like if it was right? like you know, especially with Zhui Yi, she's like, Oh you hit and Almost you did it, right? Sabe. God I think and then Himiko yeah, I think they become a lot stronger because it's like you're forcing them to do the follow-up attack, which maybe even lets them do their follow-up attack because, you know, they're just, they're breaking more, yada, yada, yada. So, so, I mean, they have, so I'm just, what you're like, saying essentially is a, is a auto follow-up yeah. attack enabler. Yeah, like it, it, it caused them to do it again. It just, it just like, it, it like forces them to do that. Whatever their follow-up attack is, do it. Yeah, maybe with them, Kurdar cool. and Himiko could finally get some fucking useful ones. Goddamn. Dude. It'd still be bad. I love that. They would, yeah, True. probably. <laughs> They would either, yeah, they would have, because there would be, like, no room for, like, offensive support on that team either. Because, like, yeah. there's already get three. Like, you're going to get one shot in, like, high-level sim unit. You're going to need, like, Fushuan or Fuafu, otherwise you're just going to die. So, That's yeah, what I love about the there. idea, though. It opens up, yet again, another play style. Uh, that where you can put three goddamn DPS on the field. I'm all for the new play styles, man. What about a game mode where you get five units at once? Yeah. That'd be really funny. Oh, Luckily, by the they way. Can't, they can't reach across the entire battlefield. It's kind of like Pokemon Triple Battles. We we you know are getting about? we're all getting to the point in the podcast where we're getting to about an hour and a half. And once again, if you have to leave, you are more than welcome to. Don't worry about it. I appreciate y'all's time. Uh, but if you want to stay, go for it. Uh, I'm letting you know we will be doing some hot topics later. If you'd like to discuss those, you can. If the topics make you uncomfortable, you're more than welcome to leave. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to be talking about some pretty heavy shit, uh, especially some of the shit that uh, I've been involved with that I just want to know y'all's opinions on. Uh, oh, but yeah, uh, some crazy. But once again, I don't ask anybody to wait on that because once again, I'm a brand risk. That doesn't mean that you have to be. Uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm a I th company liability tech town. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think that follow-up with that character is uh, really fucking dope. Is there any other thing that you want for Penny County, I'm Dash? Um, I would love to see... Uh, I don't know... I don't know if it would be like, uh, you know, like a hundred floors type thing or, or what it would be, but I think it'd be cool to to have like a, some sort of challenge mode that is even further and deeper than um, like, like the golden gears. Like, I feel like it's hard, yeah, but it's also hard because you don't have all the passive skill tree bonuses. I'd like to see something that is that hard and it's just, it's that fucking hard. Like it's, yeah. it's it, like, unless you've played for like a year and farmed up like you could beat it free to play if you've got good relics and you've you've got characters but it's like don't expect to beat this in the first month of playing don't expect to beat it in the first couple of months of playing so even a veteran free to play player who's been playing for a year and a bit it's like this is super 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 hard and for a whale they can't just walk in and beat it in one day oh tectone is running right now <laughs> yeah, holy yeah. shit it's such a good idea it's such i've crazy. never seen that man move so fast in my life um, What's in Epic wrong. 7 and Summoner's War with Tower of Ascension? I don't know what it's called in Epic 7, but it resets monthly. You get some sick rewards. So, like, it's something to really... Ooh. like Because yeah, back in those fun. games, it was so incentivized to actually build your teams to get through it. Because, I mean, you get, like, a, in Summoner's War, it was always, like, a legendary scroll. So, guaranteed four or five star from that summon. Oh, wow. It, like, incentivized rewards that make you want to do that and give you reason. That would be sick. <laughs> and then and then another thing would be i would love bosses that have such specific mechanics that it gives you a reason to uh build more units so example is you cannot do damage if you have a debuff on something like that so it's like the the boss will not take damage if you're debuffed and so you have yeah, to you have spells. to bring a cleanser or else you can't kill them and some people tilt by that because then it's like well then you're required to use certain units but i feel like there's enough units in the game that it could work mm. so it's like you cannot do damage to the boss um if they're shielded which means you have to bring some sort of cleanse like pala or else you cannot do damage no matter what the shield, Wait, the shield is like oh yeah, you she means strip one debuff. debuff cleanse my bad so well, that's I, the I think, core of the, of the genre, strategy. I love, yeah. I love that. I think it's great. I, I'd love something like that. Just some sort of bosses where it's like you need to bring in some really specific teams or get super creative kind of thing. Like a boss that only can take damage from follow-up attack, which you probably need more ways to, to initiate that. But just wacky things like that, uh, I think, would go a long way. I think that is a very good idea. Mm -hmm. It incentivizes underused units to become prevalent again, too, which I think is great. And then, and then, in order to, to like do that, 
they also need to have very good rewards. So it's like, well, now that I'm building this Sampo that I didn't plan on building, it better be worth it kind of thing. So maybe yep. it drops like uh, it drops like a artifact selector. So it's like I can choose the orb and the substats and then, you know, however it rolls, it rolls kind of thing. But you can do it once a month. Like, I don't know what it would be, but it would have to make sense and, and be valuable. But yeah, just more endgame content and then more cool characters. I'm very happy with the game. And like, I have faith that whatever they're going to do is going to be good. I, I have, True. other than 1.5, where it's a little slow, um, every every update or simulated universe edition or things like that, I'm like, that's good. This is good. I'm having fun. So Absolutely. I'm just going to let it roll you know, and hope for the best. Even in the event of 1.5, which was objectively dry, at least it gave a lot of jades. So that even if you didn't particularly care about mm -hmm. what was going on, you still had something to look forward to. So that was good. Point, yeah. Like, literally, update morning, I got, like, 50 different DMs of people just being like, holy jades! It was just, like, a screenshot of, like, the thing. So, yeah, I mean... They, I mean, they're doing good. I have faith whatever they do, they'll actually... I can't say that about very many companies. I have faith that whatever they do, they'll actually do a good job yeah, at it. it. It is nice how much faith I have in the HSR uh, dev team. Also, mm -hmm. Brax, you're scaring my chat. Uh, Pokey, out of curiosity, how sexy do you think you are? I literally <laughs> left the comment... <laughs> I, this dude posted a picture of himself like flexing oh, and like I, I left a comment like I was fucking with yeah. him I said would it be in poor taste to call you yeah. and I said in quotes daddy and like, he fucking liked the comment yeah. uh, like you you oh, sitting shit. there Lord. you sitting there blowing kisses to the camera flexing from what, nah what, dude what? Just, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to entertain my chat that's <laughs> oh just, okay yeah, somebody oh, somebody okay. told yeah. me that Dr. Ratio was sculpted after you is that true Pokey? no 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 that's, that's no it's not true is it a, fake news just a, that's unfortunate just a humble yeah. humble Humble Singaporean. <laughs> oh, by the way, Pokey, when are you coming to the States? Um, I quit my job uh, this year, March, and then- Let's go! And then you yeah, didn't- yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you still doing Are you still doing your bank job or no? Yeah, I'm still doing it, but until, until March, so two more months, yeah. Oh, okay, oh, so you are, you are, okay. Okay, I miss her. Yeah, yeah, like I'm already on the verge of like quitting, yeah. Yeah, so then things are going pretty good? It is. It is. It really is. Okay, you, you understand, you, the, brother. You understand the path that you're going to need to go down uh, to continue to sustain, right? Uh, we can take in the DS. Yes, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if uh, <laughs> if you want to talk about how to do this shit long term, let me know. I've been doing this shit for like yeah, five, yeah, six yeah, years. Yeah, I know sure. exactly what to do. Yeah. We can talk anytime about that shit. Uh, and your videos have been fucking awesome. Uh, oh, real quick, let's talk about some drama that happened recently. The uh, oh, the God. biggest drama I've seen in months. I'm not sure if you guys uh, saw this shit. I think it is. Mr. Pokey and Gotcha Smack. That huge I, drama. I, what the had fuck happened with that? We're at each other for a week. And I come back to Hellfire. What happened? <laughs> hey, Pokey, when I see you, it's going down, bro. All right? <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Hey, I'm on Team Smack, bro. I'm on team I team encourage team. violence. Fight. <laughs> so uh, who, who, who is better, Pokey? Ron May or Bron? Yeah. Yo, Gova go, go studied if I made a video about it, by the way. Bronya and Remy can check Oh, did he? Bronya's better. Yeah, yeah he way. made it. Impressive he just posted it yesterday. Dude, I, think, I have not I seen that Bronya. guy in months. Yeah, I think Bronya's better than mm. Mal. He's, oh my god, yo, Gova is like killing it, man. Like, absolutely killing it. No. Really? Yeah. I have not, I have not yeah. seen him. He's really fucking. Fuck yeah. His, 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 really like, his, his guys did like 200,000 views. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. Bro, he's giving Brax a photo for his money. No, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, bro, if I don't keep uploading, am I going to be relevant in like a month? Like, holy shit. Nah, brother, you make really fucking good content. You'll be all right. You do Global that, certified. Man. Yeah, man, look at him. Did you know that I made a secret channel where I do a different voice and all I do is shit talk myself and tech tone and I just what? make hate videos and I make like five grand a month off of it? You talking about your your clips channel, man? That shit be popping off. No, no I have a secret channel, and Tectone has reacted to one of the videos. And oh, what? Awesome, it man. is me. No well, Tectone, you got fucking baited. Wait, wait I actually did know. Which you one? Your ass, dude. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Like, dude, are you kidding? Okay. Unbelievable. I fully like, believed you. I believe it too. Like I have full faith in you. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, your clip cool. channel. Does and now that you said that, somebody in your chat, jump. somebody in his fucking chat is gonna do that shit, bro. I swear. What the f dude? Holy shit. Uh, okay. Uh, Damn, you had me. Uh, fuck, that fucked me up. I, okay. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry. Anyways. Uh, uh, pokey, pokey, pokey. Um, uh, what, yeah, what yeah. did you want for um from uh Pentacone? Right. Uh, I'm I'm so surprised that no one has mentioned this. Gins. What? I, I oh, mean, true. Gins. 
Oh, yeah, nice. when they oh, skin. Skin. March 7th. Oh, yeah, I don't know what he said. I thought we were going to get it as a skin. Yeah, dude, but I don't get it either. for some reason. Like, let us uh. get a Kafka without her jacket, you know, uh, Jingliu uh, without her blindfold, uh, Doctor Ratio bathtub edit style, you know, give yeah, us the word. Summer dude. Kafka, guys. Like, the, 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 oh yeah. my god. If, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we wouldn't summer drop Kafka. another $20 for Summer Kafka. So, are you aware of the Honkai Impact third skin controversy, Pokey? Oh, no. I don't play Oh, it's Honkai. gotta be juicy. What's happening So, here? on Honkai Impact 3rd, they attempted to release bunny skins for oh, their characters. Oh, and yeah. so, uh, a, a member skin. of the community attempted to assassinate the CEO. I heard about this! Because people were saying it was the Genshin community for a while, but it wasn't. It was 3rd. I remember this yeah. shit. My brother was telling me about it. So, Hoyoverse is very scared of doing skins because they want to avoid, I guess, another <laughs> attempt at DeWay's life. Uh, so they've always been very uh, cautious with that. Uh, in case you didn't know, it's Wait, very why? interesting to look into. It's very interesting. Wait, that, that's Wait, why, why they... though? I'm surprised yeah. that, like, that ranks so high on somebody's priority list that he would, like, take somebody's life over something so fucking stupid. I don't... Yeah, I don't well, get it. People out there, man. Why, why, why would he want to... I guess the, the boobs were too big or something. The, I don't know. Uh, the fuck? So is, is that what, what I know about this? Stuck ass? Mm. I mean, part well, of, I mean, yeah, Genshin I mean, also sucks ass. It's not just the skins, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, the skins are incredibly bad in this game. I, I don't think there's been a single good skin yeah. yet uh, in the well, game. Like, yeah, objectively well, I love, better. Uh, yo, guys, do you main Amber skin 1 or Amber skin 2? They're basically the same thing. True. But well, besides Deluxe, I think Deluxe skin was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I think that... it was a 6 too, but it was a 5-star. Yeah. Um, yeah I think it's not... Not the details on fight, the but... CN thing, um, yeah. the, the assassination attempt, uh, it was on Fuhua specifically that people were pissed about it. And if you know about Fuhua, she's like, uh, I don't want to call her Zhongli because I think people are going to get mad at me and, and make Twitter threads. Who cares? But, like, Marcus, she kind of is, exposure. right? Like, uh, so in, Brax, in terms Brax, of, like, people, much... people got angry at me because I said pedophiles were bad. Okay. Yeah, they'll yeah, get they angry, they'll get angry at anything. Yeah, it was fucking crazy, dude. Um, Are you talking so, about that one channel is, where? Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah. Is this the heavy topic for later? No, that's yeah, the, we'll, that we'll is the heavy for topic for later, Bogus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, Brax. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, like, it's it's the equivalent of it was a pretty extreme scenario. Um, because r the only character that Genshin has ever like buffed, uh, was Zhongli, and the reason they did that was because it was like a, it, I I think it was more of like a like a national thing. Like, I, I think they were, like, very, like, you know, this character is representative of China. So this character needs to be, like, like we can't let this character be bad. And so I think that was the same thing. Like, they feel Fuhua is, like, similar. <laughs> Wait, like, so that character is very important to them. They, they think Fuhua is representative of China or Zhongli? That's, I, I think Fuhua is the Impact third character that is, is that for them. I didn't know that. That's okay. what I've heard from someone uh, that's in that community. So I could be wrong, but... That that so was just that, really it was like disrespecting the country for me. That's the, that's how they the felt. It was. Yeah, I'll be I'll be oh, back okay, in a second. Okay. I got I gotta go take care of something. Maybe maybe I'm ignorant of culture. I I don't. Me personally, I don't see how it's a big deal. Personally, I think it's just a very it's a fucking video game character. It doesn't matter what they put on it. But uh, that's just right. me. Mm. I yeah. I don't know. It's it's a cultural thing. I, I don't. So, I don't so we're just know. never gonna get skins it. because of. I think we will uh, get skins, but they might they're be, just be. Yeah, they're just gonna be bad, bro. <laughs> like, oh, bad skins. Like, wait, do you, oh. okay, Mr. Punk. Do you actually think the March skin looks good? Yeah, Rick, it's so much oh, better than the so... original one. Really? I, I think yeah. it just looks about the same. Like they don't. I thought really it was cute. It. I, I agree. Was... Yeah. I just think like even the even like the what were they kind of like motorbike. Skins that they were they posted. Oh like, my god! Yeah. Art. Oh my god! Yes. Oh that my god! Sick. Those were so sick. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 That's really really good. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah, have... uh, the Stell looked incredible in that outfit. Uh, insane. And Jing Liu. Holy fuck! She looked insane. Uh, I don't think they'll do that. But if they have skins or they don't, I just I just don't give a fuck. Personally, I mean, it's not going to change uh... anything for the game. I mean, now I will admit. I think skins would be cool if they added in every two months. There's a skin that you can do, like, for example, if they add leaderboards, if you grind to a certain number, you oh. get a skin. I think that would be cool. But am I going to be excited about spending $19.99 on a slight change in cosmetic? No, not particularly. I need I need an accolade behind how I earned that skin, not how I just bought it. My main incentive for skins is what they do with League of Legends. If it changes the animations of the yes. attacks and shit, I will buy them motherfuckers up, like, all day. Bro, it exactly. makes me feel yeah. like the characters new, even if they're not. Like they, true. I mean, that's why I like it. Oh my god, that's good, man. 
Dude. Like, Israel's skin is so sick and Lee. Go ahead. Dude, Dude I based off of an entire wrestling gimmick off that skin, Pokey. Uh, oh, spirit guard, yeah, Spirit Guarded Deer. Yeah. Oh, I, used to yeah, come I out. know it's like my favorite skill of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to Wait, come oh out of this god, character. Deer, yeah. Live as fuck. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wait, I, uh, Tecton, are you talking about the, the beads you were wearing? Is that the 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 fucking uh yeah, those were a smaller version, but uh yeah, I oh, used okay, to do professional okay. wrestling oh, as a character okay. named Bojack and I would come out in a row, oh. but this was when I was on steroids. Uh, I would come fuck? out like in like a little like robe that he had with the beads. Bro, I fucking love Spirit Guard Deer so much. My buddy uh, Javois, he gifted that to me. I remember that to this day. Yeah, that skin is incredible. One that comes to mind for me is Pulse Fire Ezreal, where yeah, it I was, was just talking about. It was yeah, pay it was to win. The first ever like legendary yeah. skin or something. Right? Yeah, I still remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I saved that one week of my my pocket money to buy that skin. Yeah, I mean, you just really think about week. how cool that shit is. He constantly slowly transforms into fucking Mega Man, bro. Like that's so shit is cool. High. Yeah, <laughs> and when when the skin first came out, it was pay to win. In because it wouldn't display the animations properly, so it would look like you dodged it, but you would yeah, still get hit. The cannon is like, oh shit, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah, that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, it was insane. It was so awesome. Yeah. Like I loved it. And people, people were bitching like crazy. Yeah, oh. I, I didn't know you played League Smack. That's insane. Heavy, brother. I played that shit for ten years, man. I love it. God, Do you man. still play TFT? Yep, every day. Hey, you play TFT every course. day? With my boy, man. Fuck yeah, dude. We're running the Disco Dazzlers and the goddamn... Bro, we need to play. We need to play. Dude, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Dude, I play TFT non-fucking stop. That game That's is... That's my shit. Dude, if they were out of TFT mode, they're not going to. If they're out of TFT mode to Honkai Star, that makes me so fucking happy. I love that game yes. so much. Are you oh, hyper... Yeah. Do you like hyper roll or regular better? I actually, I'll be honest, because we like regular takes too fucking long. I love hyper roll. Um, yep. We get in there, get 10 minutes in match here and there and get rolled it, run it back up. Oh fuck my yeah! My favorite dude. thing to do in the mornings, man. Yeah. <laughs> Last question. Sorry, sorry, guys. What what rank are you in hyper roll? How much how much do you play? I think I'm at three thousand points right now. We are at the same rank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah, we gotta run that shit up. My boy, me and my boy play all the time, man. He loves it. Fuck yeah, yeah. He's me a and, fucking any abuser. Yeah, me and all my buddies, we go to the gym, and while we're doing cardio, we all play TFT on our phones, bro. It's so fucking awesome. It's so much oh, fun. Oh, that's awesome, man. I yeah. can't do the phone thing, man. That shit is weird, dude. Okay, if you can't for for mobile gaming, guys, uh, the not sponsored. Uh, the Galaxy Flip Fold's really good because it's huge. Because it starts oh, wow. off small, open it up when you want to fucking lock the fuck in. Uh, it's it's great. I recommend that phone. Also, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Ultra uh, is really good if you want to stream mobily. Uh, that's the best streaming phone. It doesn't ever hit the processor's insane. Uh, I've never even considered getting a phone purely for mobile gaming. That's actually genius. Yeah. Hey, Tech Tone, yeah. you are What's the up? first person. I literally just saw a video talking about like that flip phone. And like, I was just thinking last night, I've never seen somebody unironically have that. And it's now so people good. are pulling it's, it out. It's it's so fucking good. Like whenever. Like, I just I just worry like I'm going to pull it out one day and like half the display is just not going to be working. So oh, I just never, <laughs> never no, it's, it's always good. They're really dependable and uh, it's really good for porn. Uh, anything oh, else you want to talk about? Now that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, that's something else, I can get behind. Anything literally. else you want to talk yeah. about for Predator? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. <coughs> I would like to see maybe not in Panacony. I don't know, but hmm. I, I would like to see like more MOC floors. Like since, since they already added twelve, why not like fourteen, I'm, sixteen? Yeah, but I hope that it's not just like yeah, 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 increased HP like bullshit. Floors. I hate that so much. Yeah, I but agree. I I, I think like it's just oh, HP it's the better. same guy, but he has more HP and he takes longer to kill. I don't like that, man. It's so boring. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think I think Bullet Sponge is a really cringe way to develop a game. Uh, but yeah, just do like do like a like I think even just like MOCs where it's just like you lose one skill point per turn, and it's like okay, well now you better bring Hanya in. Like like just if if you made it instead of like getting a buff, it's like you could do like a debuff as well. Yeah 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 exactly exactly. So oh, I was yeah. about like because right now every single time in MOC we get like a buff, right? So what is like next time? They could introduce a debuff so like it'll penalize certain units so for example right now for example like jing liu she's a like, ridiculously strong right or like in bivaluna she's so what if next time they just like, didn't notice specific units like um mm. enemy just have like additional 60 percent ice resistance then you you will be forced to like use other units just, <sighs> just to like improve the diversity a little bit um, or what i would do is i would just simply not do it that's what I would do personally. So <laughs> like, if I can't yeah, use like my Jingli, I'm like, all right, well, shit, all man. Right. I guess I'll, I'll get him next myself. time. <laughs> <laughs> you are I'll, I'll, I'll get, get the run back. Of here, right? Yeah. Oh, you are hard carried by Jinglu, bro, and Fushuan, bro. Me oh, too. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I know. Why the fuck you think oh. I pulled him? <laughs> like, uh, I know. The real question though is Jingliu better than DHIL? Yes, hundred percent. At E zero, yes. I think Ill is better at E six. 
Yeah, all right, cool. Glad we glad we cleared this up because I still got some people in my chat telling me I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, by e the way, E0, yeah, Jingliu for sure. Yeah, A0, I'm pretty sure Jingliu, she doesn't do as much in one turn, but she does more in one cycle, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. I mean, she also doesn't in consume all of your skill points. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. She pops that shit like fucking Pringles, yeah. bro. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm yeah, but, uh, I, I, th There is one problem, though, and that is there are actually some, like, high-ranking enemies that have, like, ridiculous ice resistance. Like, if you're... If you're an MOC and you're going up against Kakolia clone or, yeah, just it's just Kakolia clone. You're going up against her, it's over, boys. Like she got like 65% base resistance. It's crazy. Yo, and did you get Fushuan? Yep. Fuck yeah. Okay, I remember. I remember, still remember the stream where you ended when I said, "Oh, oh yeah, Fushuan." That was a, <laughs> that was a moment. Um, I mean, someone someone gifted like twenty dollars in Jade, and I was like, "You know what? Fuck it." The thing yeah. is is free to play so i made like a second account free to play and i started playing through it i got through like a month and i was like this is more content but it's not entertaining yep me fighting normal enemies to get enough experience to level care that shit's not entertaining yep and like i'm at the point now where like i think i've it's been like three and a half years four years of not spending any money on the game the fuck was that? but now yeah. it's probably impacting my content negatively because i can't build the character and i don't have the energy to have all the relics to to use them on day one where it's just like i'm not in the creator server so the only competition i have is actually being able to build the units on day one because like Let's just be frank. Before I can even test the character, this fucking guy in the corner has two hundred fifty thousand views yep. because he's already played the character and tested it. And it's like, well, yeah, okay. So you're like, it, you're still not in the creator server? No. And Although you, hmm. I did I did have a meeting with them to like get into the um, ZZZ beta. Like they yeah. they like whitelist me in there, but then I roasted the game. So it's like I'm probably I'm probably <laughs> fucked long term. <laughs> I'm anyway. actually, yeah, dude, everyone base, roasted. Base, 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 base. I'm a bit out of the hey. loop. What is this everyone creator server? Zemos. Yeah, we'll we'll circle back to the ZZZ because I do want to talk about that. If you, if you, whoever has time, uh, creator oh. server is approved. Prontkin creators can go into a beta server. They have access to all the characters. They can test them uh, and make videos on them, and they're allowed to at least frame one of the new patch dropping. So if Man, you're not I, in it, I you wish. essentially can't. You you really can't make I, it as a guide maker unless you have access to that server. Just being completely. Clear. I wish they would like one thing. I was actually thinking about. I wish they would like give me the ability like have like a, a camera that like can zoom around because like getting B roll footage is a fucking struggle sometimes, bro. Oh, like, and, yeah, and then you could zoom right in on Welt's thick ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the yeah, primary got... reason I want <laughs> it. Yes, I play one handed anyway. What's the problem? Yeah. Uh, anyway, it, carry on. Anyways, uh, Vulcan, um, is there, what did you want to see in Pentaconi? I think we've pretty much covered most things. The, the, like I said, I, I've always been that PvP guy, but at the same time, I've accepted that uh, Hoya games are what they are. They're more <laughs> casual story-based games, and I just, you know, play them for that now. But I would still love to see PvP of some sort uh, or leaderboards. But the other thing I really want that hasn't been mentioned yet is I want another wildfire moment in the Kakolia fight. That track yes! was so yep. fucking good. And yep. I just like, I want that feeling again. I Like they, they do good production the whole way through, but that was just so good. Like when I played my alt account and ran through to the Kakolia fight, like it is so prime. Like in when you do the, um, the Echoes of War, it's not the same because in it's the not. story they time it so that the vocals come in as soon as she does the first alt it's just it it was so well produced and it was like my favorite thing in the entire game i still have that track on my gym playlist every day it's so good i want Ew. another feeling like that Am I also i will say like the biggest blue ball ever was like fintilia not having like a vocal one like i, I was doing it live and, like, I did not know Fentilia was, like, the final boss. Like, I was in the second stage. I was like, wait, is this the final boss? And my chat was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess we're doing this now. So. Yeah. Um. Am I am I crazy? You didn't like the Don Hung Ill theme song? No, I didn't say it. Didn't... Song? Oh, it no, is. it was it was good, yeah. but like it didn't have it wasn't like Metal Gear Rising good. That's the problem. Yeah, like it didn't have the same hit. Like it was good. Like you mean the part in the sea and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be real. Oh, the, the was the good, but it was was, I'm talking football, about yeah. the actual boss fight theme. Like I did, it, like it was good, but I didn't like. Eh. I'm gonna also, be... the Red Sea song. I actually forgot. Fucking Moses. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, I actually forgot that existed until like I went back to get footage of it. Yeah, and I was like, oh wait a minute, that song was there. Yeah, me personally, um, I preferred that one over the, the, the fucking wildfire, to be honest. Fantilia? Nah. But that's just because, that's because nah, I have a track nah, nah. record of really liking Chinese music. 
and I respect the culture a lot. So <laughs> that's why I love it. I'm Where's sure you yeah, 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 like hey, hey, the Tech Tone, I'm gonna link you a video. You might want to take like you know take a gander. I think these uh, Genshin players might have something else to say about that. Yeah, because uh, you know I, I mean, got. The only thing better than that song was Yun Jin's idol singing in Genshin. I love that shit so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so hey, I have an idea though. Yeah. They, they have the pre-existing. They have the pre-existing source in the game already. I think they should just enable a track changer for battles that with the Ooh, tracks that already yeah. exist in the game. Oh, absolutely. Because the battle, the battle ones. That would be great. I feel, I feel like they could do that. Yeah. No, one moment. That's a I, great I idea. Think, like, honestly guys... though, like the music in this game is fucking amazing. Like I recently realized, you know, Kafka. Her theme is actually like has got traditional classical music mixed into it. Um, I, in my most recent video, I even like pointed it out. Like at one point, like there's I think I forget what it's called. If you ever take a music appreciation class, you'll know the track. They need but, like, to throw that classical theme into her goddamn old. Yeah, they threw like so when she like says, "Aren't you the one who invited me?" She like does a little swipe and shows a bounty. That thing that plays there is actually a classical piece. I, forget, I think it's like the Four Seasons or something. And it makes sense in her character because literally the very first thing we see of her is her like mirroring, like mimicking a violin. Yeah. I was like, I really like the way they go about music in this game. Yeah, it's good. It's really, really good. Yeah, move on past me. Kids just woke up, so I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Solo. I'm ready, bro. What do you want to see in Pentacone? Uh, So everybody here said they didn't like story. And I'm going to be honest. Uh, the first time I played it, dog shit. I hated it. But... When I went back, you know, this time without chat, every time I mentioned Ting Yoon going aware, uh, I, I got to appreciate a lot more about it. I really hope that in because I fucking love Sparkle. Like it's like I've seen her design. Uh, I, I have a pretty good idea how she acts based on like the character description. You know, the drip market season. I really hope that in Pina Cully we get to know more about the what is it called the masked fool, the mass fools I think yeah uh -huh, followers. I really really fucking hope we learn more about them because they are so interesting. Like Sampo alone is probably the best written character in the game. Uh, and then in addition to that, uh, I hope the final boss is like Kakolia levels of good writing. I I've literally just got done playing through it and like I have found evidence. Like, I literally have a video I'm working on now. It's like, I, I'm pretty sure, and I, this is like crackhead, you know, MatPat on drugs game theory moment. I'm pretty sure that the IPC is the reason why the Stellaron landed on Jurilo 6 because of their association with the God of Preservation. I, I and like, it, it's things like that. Like, when I realize, uh, when I realize stuff like that, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I, I like, you know, I like feeling like I'm smarter than I am. So I like looking into stuff like that. So I hope I hope we actually get like good story because I fucking hated a lot of the stuff on the low food. Like DHIL's reveal was like Blade comes in like, oh, I'm gonna kill you, but not actually. We're gonna help you fight this child. Yeah, that was stupid. And then like I think Ting Yoon and if Ting Yoon is just dead, like if she never comes back as like a five star harmony or whatever, that's gonna be wasted potential. Like, I, agree. I, I really hope they do something about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think Honkai Star, and I'm sure you'd agree, Solo, just uh, needs to let their moments breathe because sometimes they just happen at, for lack of a better term, breakneck speed, and uh, you're just like, oh, okay, all right, well, I guess he's I guess he's in Bibber to Lune now. Oh, Dude, Kakolia's okay. death like happened so fast, like a lot of people didn't even know what happened. Like for for those who don't know, when wait, she died, really? I've never heard anybody say that. People apparently don't know that she died trying to shove the Stellaron into her tits. Like, she was trying to hide it like a $2 bill. It was crazy. Like, no, people didn't realize that the reason she died in that moment was the same thing that was happening to the Trailblazer at the start of the game. And people just like, oh, she just exploded. I'm like, no, dude. It was, it was the Pac-Man power pellet she was trying to hide away that killed her. Like, people don't realize this stuff for some reason, and I don't get it. I didn't realize it. Yeah, I, oh, me personally, okay. I thought, like I said, you got self-report over here. Yeah, but Vulcan, you don't pay attention to shit, though, bro. Yeah, that's it. Bro, I thought <laughs> we killed Kokolia during the boss. Like, man, like, bro, yeah, she didn't, she, didn't, she didn't die from that fight. Uh, it was the... I, was, I was too busy rocking out to fucking wildfire in that, in that sense. I was so. too busy yeah. appreciating it. Like, and, yeah. and to be fair, I didn't either. Like, it was literally, I just got done playing. Like I, like I said, somebody in my chat got on my ass because I was using cutscene footage that other people got. And I was like, dude, it's cutscene. I don't... You know, whatever, fine. Hmm. So, you know, powered by uh, being petty, I proceeded to play through the entire game again, recording literally every single dialogue interaction because fuck them. And it was through playing that I learned a lot of things about it. Like earlier, I mentioned the ICP, the Aeon of Preservation. They, they are notorious. They're basically like, they do not associate with anybody unless 
the person they're associating with basically worships them like a god. And the Aeon of Preservation was the one on Bellabog because that's what the Stellarons are. They're left behind by Aeons. Mm. Which means it, what likely happened was 700 years before the Eternal Freeze, the ICP's association with... It was the ICP's association with Jirilo-6 through trading that caused the Stellaron to land there and caused the problem. And it's realizations like that, you know, I, I like busting out the whiteboard and just like drawing these conclusions. And I want more moments like that. But more than anything... I just hope the boss has like a good theme song, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah. I want another thing to add to my playlist so I can get tired of it after listening to it for 50 times. Yeah, I think you know? Sunday yeah, yeah. will for sure be the main boss of Pentacone, or I could be completely off by that. But the, the dude already the dude already looks like he was inspired by, what is it called, uh, biblically accurate angels. It's not a very far reach, I will say. Who's sorry? Yeah. Um, uh, there's that new guy in the trailer who oh. looks who looks like a fucking Funko Pop because of the art style they choose, and you've yeah. got like, the angel wings behind him. He's probably going to be the final boss, I'd imagine. Yeah, what's crazy is I, I think I think Duke Inferno is going to be a homie. That's the craziest thing. If they, I swear, cool, dude, man. Duke yeah. Inferno is not going to be a fire destruction, and like that's the way he's probably going to be like iridescent. If this guy's not a fire, I'm gonna blow a gasket, dude. Because like that, that Bronya be being a wind type still fucks me up. Yeah, is like, there a random question? Is there any other archetype? That you think they should add. Like, for example, we have air edition for AoE, hunt for single target. We have preservation for shields. We have abundance for heals. Is there any... Holy fuck, Rex, you're so fucking freaky. Uh, is, there, is there any new path you think that they need for a specific type of game style that we don't have? Um, designated debuffer. Because let me put it like this. Nihility. Nihility right, Nihility right now is like in a weird spot where it's both like debuffers and like dots. It's weird. It's like just Pella and Silver Wolf. Yeah, and then like everybody else is like dot damage. You know, Sam you got Sampo and Kafka, you know, like you know, I know you love your Kafka uh mm -hmm. tech tone. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. until the release of um God, you can have two mommies on the same team. I just realized that. That's huge. I know, right? Three actually, because yeah, I'm running with crazy. Roland May. Oh my god. I need to get a dots team. Fuck. Uh, anyway, yep. the point is like dot like it's it's weird because like, you know, Pela uh, what I heard, Pela was supposed to be a sub DPS. She's dog shit. Like, dude, wait, I'm you don't like Palo? What do you mean Palo's dog shit? Palo's OP. No, 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 not dog shit as support as oh. a DPS. I am okay. not using the skill with Palo, bro. I'm using her normal attack with okay. Luca's light cone because I missed off. I'm, I missed out before, before the tutorial starts. Like, just nihility. It feels so weird. I feel like you'd just be better if they just like split it off. Like, okay, these are debuffers and these are dots. Because like dots is a whole play style in of itself, isn't it? Yeah, no, I can I can understand that. Okay, so like Desert and Deep Ever, I think that's cool. Japanese. Yeah, that's cool. Also, fixing erudition because Jing Yuan mains. Like, I, I know they'll probably kill me on Reddit, but they have no power off platform. Uh, wait, okay, Jing wait, Yuan is really bad. He he just is. Uh, like, it's I, it's almost a joke. Like, wait, wait, wait. wait like, okay, I just want to say Jing Yuan, when he's well invested, he's, he, he actually performs quite well. Okay, he's so what's going on here, Pokey? Why are you such a Jing Yuan advocate now? Because before you were literally like no. mid Yuan. What happened? His oh, problem okay, isn't oh, that he's shit. bad. His problem is that his mechanic cannot be made better. That's the problem with him. Because, mm. like, just by virtue of the way the Lightning God works, there's very little. Like I, may, like, I don't know enough about some of these characters. I don't have Jing Yuan. I don't want to have Jing Yuan. And not just because he has a penis, just because I don't want him. Mm. Uh, to be fair, like, Bro keeps receiving the most indirect buffs. Like, he's been true. Crazy. getting better with true. each new fucking character. Yeah, I know, like, Topaz is going to be, like, is going to be, like, real good. Um, You know, having Silver Wolf, Topaz, uh, Wolf Wo, and, like, Dr. Ratio on a team is going to be, like, just cracked. But that's a okay. solid five star team, and I'm poor, so I can't afford that. Wait, so um, Pokey, how how is Jing Yuan good? Yeah, yeah. So like, the reason why Jing Yuan at launch he was really bad is because that he he was lacking a lot of pieces that makes him great right now. Four so, keys follow up make him really good. Um, Huan Huan with the energy regeneration and the cleanse. Huan Huan, I've never more, heard somebody say it like um, that. Sorry, not ho more, but like less susceptible to like, core control. Yeah. And like, as time goes on your DPS gears will just eventually get better and better. Mm. But at the start of the game, most players don't have enough damage to clear the mobs with their skill and ultimate, which means when Lightning Lord hits, it's just going to bounce all over the place with the mobs. So the damage is just really not that great. But eventually, if your Jingyu is well built enough, and to the point where your skill and ultimate kills all the mobs to leave only the boss, and your Lightning Lord only hits the boss, the damage is like really, really high. Um, so my benchmark for this for Jingyu, right, is that a lot of his flaws, they don't exist as long as you can deal with it 
um, with enough damage, right? Mm. So for example, if he's gonna get crowd controlled, nothing's gonna crowd control. You just kill the thing that's gonna crowd control. You. Or like, um, his his lightning lord is very slow and it only goes once per cycle. It doesn't matter because that one single lightning lord will do like a billion damage because your damage is strong enough. So my my example for this was, um, in one point four version for the true swarm, the true swarm boss with the quantum imaginary and I'm not sure. Is it eyes weakness? This this, this quantum. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Right. The true thing boss, Jing Yuan in 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 Xian, they actually managed to do a zero cycle using Jing Yuan while off element, and not a lot of DPS can do that. So his damage potential is is really really there. But the thing is to actually get to this damage potential, um, you you do need pretty high levels of investment. And yeah, was the problem. Knowledge. The problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, he just <laughs> have a lot of. He's, he's not easy to use, but once you, you get a hang of it, it's like he's really, really good in terms of like damage. So, like, so what you're know, saying would, is, the, if you get 800% crit like, damage as Jing Yuan and 100% <laughs> crit rate, he's really good. Yeah, I will say, I, I got a question for you though, Pokey. <laughs> yeah. is, is all of the investment of getting him, you know, our general, is all the investment to pleasing the lords of r slash Jing Yuan mains really worth it if you can put it in somebody else? What would you say? And that's but, not but, like a... That's a genuine question. Do you think yeah, if I yeah. were to invest in, I don't know, Jing Liu or any, you know, any destruction character off the curb, uh, would you think it'd be worth it for for okay, what uh, you okay, I'm not sure about you. I'm not sure about you guys, but it's what the hard one. Ninety percent of my DPS gears, <laughs> they are the same. They are almost every single DPS units, they are using four piece quantum because four piece quantum is just absolutely correct, especially yeah. with the defense down and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So um even if you are gonna be investing in Jing Yuan, the same DPS gears with the attack and crit, you can just like simply show them somebody else. I, I oh, don't so give I can a have them as a side hoe? Yeah, that's huge. No, that's no, huge. like the, the gears you invest in Jingyuan, it's not like they're gonna go, go to waste <laughs> if you invest in the gears, right? You're still, right? You can still change gears around for free. The, yeah. So technically, the only lost cost for Jingyuan is the, his traces, essentially. So, uh. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for his teammates, like Ting Yun, Asta, and like your Huan Huan, okay, Huo Huo, or, or like your Fusion, right? I call it Huo Huo, I'll be honest. Yeah, 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 okay. The Chinese pronunciation is Huo Huo, but like, I just like to meme and say Huan Huan because like my chat is crazy. Okay, but- Well, she cries the all the time, support... so I thought you would be inaccurate. Yeah, yeah, the, the same supports that you would give Ting Yun, you can easily give them somebody else. Like Ting Yun is just super, super universal. Huo Huo or Fusion, they're all super, super universal. And now Asta is kind of got replaced by Run Mei, but Run Mei is still super, super with Ting Yun. And you can use Run Mei with like pretty much like almost every single team. Yo, shout out to Gacha Smack. Run Mei is really <laughs> yeah, I but... think Ron May works Watch best in like a yeah, gold so, like, DPS team though. And, and like, I think there isn't really a lot of like, DPS. Yeah, there is a lot of lost cost. The only lost cost is like the, the traces for Ting Yuan. And if you are free to play or you're low spender and you just want to like hyper invest and make this one unit great, it's okay because you are going to be using him for a very long time, in my opinion. Sure. What are we saying, Tesh? Like, as long as it's not as bad as Japard's E6, I, I think there's probably some value there. What are we saying, Tesh? Can I, can I ask you guys a question? Yeah, what's yeah. up? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. You know in Genshin Impact, they've got like the artifact thing where you put three in and then you get one out? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't play it, but continue. I know that one. Well, in this game, it's 10 to get one. Yeah, that's insane. Is, is it, it worth it or is it dog shit? Like, should I just use it. should I just use my gold artifacts for experience? I always use them for oh, experience. Oh, you said is it worth it? Salvage. Dude, I never impact. Salvage cause, like, the best it, it pieces cost... on my account came from the, doing that. Go ahead, Pokey. I just had to get that out. My best piece on my so account came from doing one. that. That was insane. Yeah. That old. Yeah. You didn't even use the selector. And yeah. you got rides with like crit rate, crit damage, speed. That was bullshit. I'm a believer of it. I'm telling you. Like, I got like 12 pieces from that shit. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, that's I'm what I do as well. I do it heavily. It's different from Genshin Impact because you get to choose the set and the piece. Whereas yep. Genshin is just you just get the, the set. True. I yeah, guess statistically, I, I, it's like really, really bad because like even if you get a, a good piece, you still need to gamble on the subs. Yeah, and I, the odds yeah. of getting both the right main stat and the subs that on RNG is like super, super low. So like, and not to mention Relic experience is like a, it's a very rare thing. You, you spend a shit ton of stamina trying to get Relic experience. So sometimes even if players want to, upgrade them and if you players keep dismantling salvaging the gold gears they wouldn't even have enough relic experience to even upgrade them and yeah. i'm sure most players don't even do sim the universe like did you guys know that if you do sim the universe you get like free relic experience like, yeah i've been, do, I've been doing it i still do it every day yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel so, like... so most casual probably won't even do that and like they will never have enough <coughs> experience to upgrade anything so I, I i'm not a believer in, in salvage i don't really uh, i'm like in this weird middle ground i don't really use it you know maybe if i did i'd actually have speed boot sooner but i don't really use it for like uh getting the best i use it for like okay well i have this character and i'm too i just exhausted all of my powder getting their traces so what i'll do is i'll get some standard gears so i can start using them now get a feel for them kind of situation but i usually don't go for perfect that way yeah, yeah it's too much lost 
So what yeah. I do, M Tash, is I, I roll for headpieces and gloves with whatever the fuck I get, you know? And then I have to use the targeted one for either a rope, an energy recharge rope, or speed boots. That's pretty much the only things that I ever do. Uh, but yeah, getting getting a good head and uh, gloves are super good for the uh, the re-roller. Yo, Rogue, you good over there, G? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm just listening, bro. I'm cooking up in my head right now. All right, yo. All right, Rogue, let, let's hey, get it, baby. Here, let's get it. What just, what do you want to see in Pennant, Cody, Rogue? Let me introduce myself real quick, because I feel like I haven't been talking like this whole podcast. So. It ain't feel. I've been yeah, talking man. too much, bro. You've been bro. playing the role of the chat. That's what you've been Not doing. For real, for real. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I'm real killer. I put you guys in all my videos, my EXEs, and yeah. Banger uh, content. Oh, that's yep. you who makes that shit. Yep, really yes, good. Oh hell yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Yo, you uh, sound you sound way more masculine than I was expecting. What the fuck? What did you think? God I was damn. Sound like that. <laughs> what, what the fuck's that mean, bro? What the hell? Wait, like we got drama. God damn. Put my brother to shame. Fucking man, man bro. I thought shit. you were gonna be a pussy. Do? What the? <laughs> <laughs> hey man. I'll remember That's that one. But, uh, yeah. God yeah. damn. I feel like you guys. I'm jealous. I feel like you really guys am. covered most of the things that I want to see in the game. Yeah. Um, the one that I really, really want to see is the Trailblazer getting a new path. Like, that's been one that I've been thinking about for a while. When we got preservation, that was like <clears throat> a big part of our uh, our early to mid game content. Uh, <clears throat> but we, we, when it came to late game, I don't think we needed, we, we didn't really need her anymore. So. Uh, we got we got more five stars. I feel like if they if they give her another path, we would use her a lot more. Uh, if they make her better, because I feel like follow feel like the stream like a DPS variation of the uh, of the main character. They're just pretty. They're they're really shit. Uh, yeah, I think what's really true. funny about it though is like even if you even if you don't like the Trailblazer, yeah. you still have to build them because the game is gonna make you play as them when it comes down to that moment next time. So there's going to be a mm -hmm. lot of people like come 2.0, like 2.1, 2.2, who are just like, they're going to be locked out of like the new mission unless they give them like a trial trailblazer because they didn't yeah. build it. That's 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 what Genshin Impact does though. That shit's going to be funny as hell. Yeah, I, I want to see is, uh, wait, go ahead. Yeah, I think we're, I think the 2.0 story quest is going to blow a lot of people's minds away because what just has to happen, we we are going to get a new element for the MC for sure. How yeah. that's going to happen is going to be sick. Uh, we're probably going to fight another fucking god uh, and we're probably going to die and come back anew. But like, I think 100% the, uh, th there's no way it's not imaginary harmony. There's just no fucking way. Uh, <laughs> because we still don't have a, a, a guaranteed free imaginary character. Besides Dr. Ratio, I'm underneath the firm belief that that was not intended and that was a actual genuine reaction to us winning the game awards plus i'll be real i've seen leaks uh so i know that's gonna you happen 100 percent. yeah i love vegetables wait what's up that's all right what's up you, you kong's free yeah but she's terrible but no she's imaginary wait funny. i forgot you you she was a character, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, hey no guys that. trust me if you get her to e6 she's actually not that bad is, is she is she permanent free yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she's I got her. Yeah, I got her, and I played. I started playing two months ago, and I picked her up. Yeah, she's permanently. Free. I mean, I guess that's fair. Let me rephrase that. I know it's imaginary harmony because I've looked at leaks. All right, there we go. So it's gonna be oh, fucking dope. Oh wait, so it is harmony. It's fucking dope. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be lit. What I say, boys? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Oh, by the way, that was a joke, guys. It was a joke in Minecraft. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, in so Minecraft? Okay, <laughs> yeah. What else did you? I saw a vision in Roblox. I missed What else did you want, Rogue? I think I don't know if. Anybody wants it? I feel like it's a minor detail, but pets. I feel like pets that follow you around will be cool. Oh my god! Like, but we yeah. can eat the cats in this new update, though. We can just eat them. Pretty cool yeah. idea, man. Hey, man. Chinese, pretty, pretty cool good. idea, brother. <laughs> oh, dude, that. Do y'all want that teapot shit? Go ahead, Bolt. I was just thinking, you know, that th this was something I, uh, I brought up ages ago when we had the Pokemon event. It was like leave that in there permanently, and if they had a system where. If you defeat those enemies in the world, you have a chance to get them as like a pet type thing. Oh, and then they yeah. had like shiny versions like Pokemon and stuff. Like I would grind every mob in the game every day to do that because that is like something I enjoy. But that would be absolutely sick if they did that in like any pet format or kept the combat thing. That'd be sick. I've been yeah, asking that Numbi, from Polyverse for four Numbi's years. Located. That exact idea I've been asking <laughs> for four fucking years. <laughs> Yeah, there's something about collectibles that gives you a good little dopamine, man. Just knowing you can shuffle through all your little pets you've accumulated. I love it. Yep. Yeah, yeah I really like I really like Numbi, but it's such a shame I have to spend 180 summons to get Topaz, which is why I don't have them. Yeah. Like I, I saw footage and they're like running around, which is really adorable. But I would also like to point out 
do I really want to point this out? Yes, I do. Uh, the after you know post ass nerf Topaz, the fucking the Man, Trotter has a bigger Topaz ass than her now. It's crazy. Mm. <clears throat> Anything else? Oh, by the way, uh, real quick before you continue, Rogue, uh, how mm -hmm. would we feel about a character that triggers QTEs for their ability? So like time stop. Yeah, so like you use the ability, quick a, quick, a quick time event occurs, you have to hit certain oh, inputs, whether however many oh, you hit, fire. up to a certain degree, uh, you know, that's how much damage you, you do. You play a level in guitar. It's innovative, man. It's great. It depends on, it depends on what, type of, what type of thing you would get from the, the TPE. Yeah, so it's like, for True. example, in a game called Super Mario RPG, Mario goes to do a super move. If you press A on time 10 times in a row, it does crazy damage. Oh, that would be sick. Dude, imagine if, like, fucking Silver Wolf had an ult where, like, you actually had to, like, play the rhythm game, and depending on how good you did, depending on how much damage mm. you did, that'd be mm. crazy. How would autoplay then? Autoplay then would just be exactly that. Like, you would get, like, an average result from autoplay. But if you manualed it, then you would get the, you could get the best one. Is how that would I work. I like it. Got my brain. They do it in Paper here, Mario bro. as well. It's it's kind of fun little mini games, like yeah, to to make the combat like a little bit. I don't know, spicy, but yeah. I think I, you. I think that could be used to amplify abilities. Like, uh, it could be an evolution to the combat. You, uh, we even, have the QTE to amplify an ability. So I don't know. You do Jing Liu's skill, and she does the raining swords. But then you use the QTE and you time it correctly, and now she does like a I don't know a, bit of, a, a more potent version of that skill. Yeah, there's a there's a character in Deltarune called uh, Susie. I'm sure we all fucking know what Deltarune is. I'm not gonna pretend like you don't. Uh, she has an attack called Rude Buster, and it it actually looks kind. Of, it's pixel, but it looks it's like kind of like a little swipe that just goes through the air um and if you time it right like if you j it's not in game but if you just press the button right when mm. it hits it does more damage i can see like that working with jingling i have it's a like vibe a that almost nobody here knows what delta moon is <laughs> really the game made by toby fox literally undertale, undertale yeah it's uh undertale. it's the undertale it's the worst version of undertale is what it is yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah it's got better music though i'll, I'll, just, I'll just say it yeah yeah but anyway there's a character in the game called Susie. she just has an attack that's called Rude Buster, and it's literally just like a line that travels across the screen. But if you if you press the button right, it does like double damage. So yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you wanted uh, from Pentacone, Rogue? Uh, I think. Uh, hold on. I had this written down. I gotta find it. Oh yeah. So you know how we're traveling through space and we're going to different planets. Don't you think we have uh, NPCs that are like different alien races? Like I feel like we've only seen like mm. humans and like. Fox Mechoids or, or robots. I feel like if we if we have different races of of human beings on the planets, that would be. Well, you don't like cat girls. Cool. I mean, cat girls are different. Or fox girls, but like. Yeah, I, I get it. They, yeah, I was actually they, thinking about that. Like, I was thinking it was weird the other day, like how every bot, like literally everybody, is just known as humans. Like I, I know it's like a right, it's like a, it's just an easy writing thing, but like everybody being yeah. known as humans is kind of weird to me. Yeah. No, I mean, I think that's a great point. Uh, Let me get the uh, the blue aliens from Mass Effect, please. Yeah, I think uh, once we go to like a water world, we'll probably see some like uh, fish humans and shit. Yeah, I think that's a fucking great idea. Uh, well, then all in all, I think that's everybody's idea uh, for Pentagoni. Uh The next thing I want to talk about is uh, one more particular. By the way, once again, if you need to leave, you can leave at any time. Uh, I just, you know, why have you guys here? I like picking up these hey man, uh, just topics. Vibing. Yeah, um, I am wondering... Uh, Zenless Zone Zero was met with a very mixed reception. Mm. It is a very controversial game. Um, and one more way for Smack to put his headset back on. Yo, Smack, I do want to say, if you do need to go, you're more than welcome to. Just wanted to put that out there. Anybody can leave if they ever need to. Just We're going to move to the next topic because Pentacone has been addressed. Okay. Okay, cool. So Zenless Zone Zero was met with a very mixed reception. Um, actually, alarmingly so. Uh, I have seen so much love it, seen so much hate it. It's ridiculous. Majority of the hate comes from the lack of overworld and the TV uh, exploration minigames. I am curious. if Are any of you guys looking forward to or not looking forward to Zenless Zone Zero? Uh, I was... And why? I was so looking forward to it, and this might be a controversial take. I was really fucking excited for it because I looked at the combat... You know, I saw the furry characters, like, yep, this is going to be amazing, you know? Uh, then, like, the TV. I saw the TV thing. Like, I, I didn't get access because, as I said, company liability, right? But then mm -hmm. I, I was watching a lot of people play it, peek my fingers between the curtains, and somebody said at one point, 70% uh, of the gameplay, like, early game, is basically the TV stuff. 
And I was like, literally every single time I saw this game up until now, I was like, okay, this combat looks amazing. I'd like that. And then they said, yeah, mostly TVs. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I went from like actively looking forward to the day of release to just like, I, I don't even care anymore. And like, it's not even a, it's not even just me. Like, I, like I said, I talk to my audience all the time, my discord server and like, uh, well, there's a guy named Pringles. Fucking love that guy, but fuck him. He's way luckier than me. Yeah. He even said to me, he's like the same thing. Yeah. I mean, I used to like the game and then I saw the TVs and another streamer. I, I did a race with them. Angry Alcat, same thing. And like, even then, like, you know, you pull the characters in the gotcha, you can't even use them in the overworld. That's a big one for me. Yeah. Like, you know, why am I spending all this money if I can't use them? So what about you, Brax? I know you've been covering almost every single Hoyoverse game so far from Genshin and back to Honkai Star Rail. Uh, are you looking forward to Zenless Zone Zero at all or no, Brax? I was really looking forward to it. Uh, I think I have not been more disappointed after playing a band than, yeah. than that one. Uh, they nerfed Nicole, man. Oh, I don't give a fuck about that, honestly. Yeah. Like, I, um, <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. I was playing for the combat. I was like, that sounds yeah, good. It was fun. I played, um, I, I played for a little bit and it was really good until I got to the TV section, which is like basically the entire story. Um, and you have to play through that. And when you get to the end game, it's actually fun and challenging and it's like a roguelite and, and it's cool. But dude, I only have so much room for fucking roguelites. I got simulated universe. I got this now. I played a shit ton of Hades. Like, I, I'm I'm getting kind of tired of roguelite, uh, and man, I just I think that game is going to be way more niche than we initially thought. I think every creator was behind it, and now we're all kind of like, I don't know, man. I, I'll play it on the side. No, yeah, I, I think it's going to be like in order of like stream popularity. I think it's going to be like Genshin, Star Rail, and then like Zenless Zone Zero and Impact Third. I think it's probably what's going to end up looking like. I I will say. Um, for Honkai Star Rolls beta and for Genshin Impact's beta, I really did not give a fuck about them at all. I do think Zenless Zone Zero will be a lot more appealing to people once the progress in it is more permanent because I find it incredibly difficult to play a gacha game knowing that none of my progress matters. But for me personally, I, I do feel like there still is a chance. I don't know how successful it's going to be, but I agree. The TV thing fucking sucks. Like, really bad. And I don't know how they fixed that, but Smack, what do you think about Zenless Zone Zero? Have you played it? Uh, I know you've been wanting to hear my take on that. Yeah. Uh, I've been quiet about it because I wanted to get through the game. I'm going to just give you my unfiltered thoughts. It might take a while. Take uh, your time. I had a different experience from everybody else because I went into it after already hearing every single one of y'all's critiques. Mm. So I like went into it with even more patience because I already knew the shit that I was supposed to like be like, oh my God about um, so the TV system, I was prepared for it to be dull. And when I first played it, I thought it was actually really cool and innovative. And I was like, okay, this is actually pretty cool. But then what ended up happening is the TV system ended up being literally the majority way of dynamic of, of, you know, tr tr getting through the game. And so I thought to myself, like, oh, this is what people are complaining about. Um, and I can see why now it's just too much. It's not that it's bad. It's that it's literally way too much. If it was something that was maybe, uh, maybe 10% of what they actually did, I think I would enjoy it a lot more. Yeah. But I don't think it was necessarily a bad thing mm. until I started realizing that's how you progress through the game, period. So that was one thing that was awful. You would look like you want to chime something in. No, 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 no. Absolutely. I am just very... Oh, actually, there that's is, the way you're I just have to wanna... read people all the time. Mm -mm. I say there is something I want to mention real quick. Gotcha, Smack. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I won't take too much of your time. I will yeah, say there's probably going to be somebody in like the comments, like in the Twitch, and you're saying, oh, it's a beta... Uh, this opinion is not valid. I think this is probably the best time to point out issues because this is the most likely when it's going to get fixed. I just yeah. like to point that out. No, like, it's absolutely. not even. It's not even like hate. Like we all have faith that they'll probably do something better. But like I mean, it's if we don't point it out, then it's never going to be addressed. So yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Right, carry uh, the, the other... changes will never happen. It they will, will not get fixed. <laughs> yeah. The beta feedback does not matter. It is so baked in. It is a primary feature of the game, and there is no fucking way that they will redo it. I'm telling you right I now, like the time fan. and dev time that went in there, they will not rework the game. And if they do, it will have to be delayed years because yep. all progression, quest lines, everything is coded in there. It is a colossal thing. They would might as yeah. well make a new fucking game. Yep. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, but, you know, I, I, my happen. New Year's resolution is to be more optimistic. So it's I'm just not. I'm just telling you right now, optimism yep. is not here. This is business. It will not happen. Yeah. It, it, and it me and Antes, we've happen. been in this game for a fucking long time. And people oh, are like, no, I have. No, believe me. I have no faith, but I like to pretend. Yeah, but Genshin, people are like, oh, yeah, they'll change it when it goes live. No, no they didn't. Honkai Star 
oh yeah, they'll change yeah. this thing. People don't like. No, they fucking won't. They won't. Uh, what and were you saying, Pokey? So yeah, I have a silver lining, which is Go. the story TV. Right? Yeah, it, it's pretty bland. <laughs> yeah. um, but something to consider is that the Zenla Zone Zero, um, they only added the simulated universe version, which was the um, the the Hollow Zero thingy, right? They haven't added a MOC version of it yet. Which is like um the actual actual end game. So in my opinion, when that mode eventually gets added in, maybe instead of like doing the similar universe, players just straight up fight the boss one v one like immediately. Like that is their end game. Because there's this one little note which is like left empty. So that might be a way to you know just just a silver lining. Because I, I feel there's... the story is really boring, but. Pretty much Hongai style story. When I played Hongai style, it was also pretty boring. It was just like going through the mobs, the the content. You skip all through the story, and then, and then the the fight itself was very very boring. But the actual end game Hongai story was similar to universe and, and MOC. So if Zenla Zone Zero also had um pretty engaging end game, like their their version of Memory of Chaos, I think that would be pretty decent. But yeah. Yeah. How many people are gonna reach that end game if like the first lap though isn't very entertaining though that's no it, it doesn't it doesn't even exist yeah. like the memory of chaos yeah. thing, it doesn't even exist in the beta they, they only had the same universe version so. what solo just said is what i was just getting ready to get at you have to realize that they've already established genshin impact honkai star rail and now we're in a day and age right now where there's no longer like nothing to play there's a lot to play out there so it's competing mm -hmm. with time from other games Absolutely. and when you yeah. can't get through the earlier fate like people love to do this as the copium product they say oh when we get to end game well a lot of motherfuckers might not even make it to end game because that is a hack and slasher and what is a hack and slasher without any challenge or technicalities it's just it's a, a fucking game. hack and stick yeah exactly so the problem is they have to fix that shit from from the beginning but like mtas said there's already been resources and budget accumulated in what they've already delivered you so i don't see how the fuck they're gonna actually change up that dynamic in the time they have go ahead mtas did you hear about like the video I made about how I kind of roasted the game, and then the other guy made a video about me and said I'm wrong. Did you hear uh, about no, that? No, I haven't. Oh, videos on oh me my god! Wait, 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 I, I saw, oh I saw god. the whole thing. But go well, ahead, Imtash. Well, well, well yeah. the thing is, is like I argued. I was, I was like, the, you know, the combat's boring. I wasn't a big fan, yada yada. And he's yeah. like, he's like, yeah, well, you didn't even get to level 15 to get the element system. And I'm like, yeah. what? I don't care. What are you talking about. And so it's like, it's like, what, what do you mean? So apparently there's like a elemental application system, but you don't get it until like level 15 or something like that. And it's like, bro, I, I don't even want to fucking keep playing the game I, to unlock like a core system. And I understand maybe I gave up early, but I was like three hours in, three and a half hours in. And I was like, and I know I dicked around and talked to chat, but I was like, that I, matters. I, I, though. Like, I, I fucking upset. agree. I was so upset. And then, and then I heard about that and I was like, okay, well maybe that would change my opinion, but if I have to play that long to like unlock a core mechanic of the game, like yeah. I, I feel like they just they've messed up a little bit. Diablo I, had the exact opposite problem. Going through Diablo was great, but getting to the end game was horrible. Whereas mm -hmm. this has the exact opposite. It's going through the game is horrible. And maybe the end game is great, but going through that game fucking matters, man. And I I fucking hate the argument like oh it gets it gets good later like because it doesn't matter how far you get in the game like and even if you beat it like people are always gonna be like oh you didn't do yada 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 so your opinion's invalid I, I shit you not I, I have a buddy Isaiah you know love him he's he's a twat sometimes but that's all right uh I was playing a dra some Dragon Ball Z game on Steam uh Dragon Ball Z Kakarot I did not like that game's combat like at all like it, one on one it was amazing like. But then, like, it would throw you against, like, three enemies at the same time, and it sucked ass. And I was, like, halfway through the Cell Saga, the game ends at the Boo Arc, and he was like, yeah, you didn't beat the game, so you can't hate it. And, it, and so I proceeded to go back and beat the game out of spite. I sent him a screenshot of the incredible that this game sucked ass. Like, I, I hate that argument. Like, if I play something for argument. 10, 15 hours, I can have an opinion on it. Like, it's, it's not a matter of seeing the end credits. I think the defeating thing is the fact that the game, as all their games, has a good fucking foundation. Uh, but that's the problem. And that foundation leads people to believe it's going to get better. But they already broke their trust with Genshin Impact's in-game. Honkai Star Rail is the silver lining here because they have done a good job with Honkai Star Rail in-game. But people are already invested in so many things with time avenues that investing in that game is a big if after all the and, bad and like in even chat's then, allowed to say whatever like they want alone, okay if chat like wants to say somebody's yapping they can say whatever the fuck they want there's already so okay. much invested in like yeah i think chat's being Another funny as fuck game. they can have their opinion whatever they want is just this relax. actually worth it or wilds is right around the corner or uh the fuck grand blue fantasy is around the corner there's the other, Project, other games to play. Like, probably not gonna be good. Blue, the weather waves you name it 
Uh, but that's my thoughts. Tech. I mean, there's a lot I could talk about it, but here's here's what I will say. I'll boil this down. Y'all know what I did to try and get into that beta. I was really, really fiending to get into that beta, and I finally got in. But I haven't touched the game past the three the three day mark. And like, well, they that closed is it. Something... They closed a few days ago. Well, so, yeah, but sorry. even and I didn't even know that. But like, a beta should be something that you should be trying to play until they close it. And it was the exact opposite experience for me. I just, I just stopped and said, yeah, man, I, 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 I had I, enough. <laughs> like and it's not and again it's it's not even just you it's just like i literally have a server designated in my channel for zenless on zero and my discord literally the only thing anybody's posting that shit for the last like month is literally just like the sleeping emoji like zzz that's it that's all it is it just pages of it well pages that being said i mean the gotcha community specifically the hoyoverse community is a bunch of whiny little bitches so True. they probably will do that for anything i mean i've never met a more ungrateful fucking pissy little bitch boy community in my entire life uh speaking of so i mean it seems to say that the zen zone zero uh thing uh is pretty much you know it seems the combat's fun the tv sucks the story's mid uh which pretty it, much what's everyone's us. opinion on the combat in that i'm curious i haven't played it's it really it looks fucking enough. amazing me personally um, i think it's very fun but easily abusable go brax brax i think uh I think people are over hyping the the like complexity of it. Okay. I actually don't think it's that mm. complex. I think parrying is very easy in that game. Oh, it I, is. I, do you know like, like any idea what the I'm window switching of a parry million is? times? So yeah. I don't think the complexity is good at all. I'm just saying that I think it's fun. I too agree. Yeah. When people say, "Oh, it's very complex," no, it's fucking not, uh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> first of all, so, okay. sorry. Uh, so, chat's being really funny. Um, it's a mobile game. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a fucking mobile game. Like, it's not going to be complex. Hawkeye Star Wars is not complex. Genshin Impact is not complex. I don't want to sit there and hear some other fucker talk about how smart he is because he uses Zhang Ling for another fucking team comp. It's like, oh, dude, no way! It's supposed to be simple, but it's supposed to be, like, fun. R regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, Emtash, what are you going to say? Yeah, I just... I feel like... Um the dodging windows are, like, pretty gracious and everything, but mm. I don't know how many times I was just, like essentially button mashing and then i'd like switch to a character and then switch to another character in the back and i was thinking to myself i'm button mashing and i'm switching all these characters but like even if i slowed myself down and like consciously made the decision of the left character or the right character would it even change the fight and it's just like i don't know if there was that many combinations that it would like definitely if i sucked everyone up with nicole and then you know continue my combo it maybe it's more efficient but I, I just I think that the the difference between <laughs> average player and the best best player is like I don't know if it's even worth the effort kind of thing. I'm actually yeah. I am curious. See, so you guys. So how many of you here have actually played it? Because I have a lot of questions about the combat. I've played a lot of it. Yeah. Okay, a lot of cool. It. Yeah. I am very curious. So in the trailer, you know, the wolf guy he comes in, he starts fighting the boss, and like when he does the parry, he gets blown back like a pretty great deal. Does that ever a problem where, like, you're fighting a boss and you parry and, like, yeah, you survived the attack, but now you're, like, fucking eons away from the enemy and you can't hit him? And that's nah. an issue in the game? Nah. Thank no. Thank fucking God. The gap. No, it actually yeah. felt pretty good. Okay, um, thank God. But also, another question. Like, it, like you know, Genshin, Genshin game, you know, Hoyoverse games, it's always about teams. Like, you know, Genshin, who can you swap to get the elemental reaction? Star Rail, who has the best synergy? I, I've played Honkai Impact 3rd for, like, an hour before Genshin came out, so it's probably not the same game, but whatever. Mm. Is there even any room for, like, different team comp? Like, what do the characters do that, like, makes them work well with each other? Is there anything? Yeah, there's some characters like, that buff, like, the enemy. So, actually, you know what? Rogue Killer, you tell us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, have, have you played it all Rogue or no? I didn't get accepted to the beta. No. Hey, shit! Oh, never mind that, Brax. You're up, big dog. <laughs> uh, no. I don't know. I know there's a there's a lot of synergies. Like there's a lot of character. So something some people were complaining about was like people don't read, and that's why they don't think it's complex. Me neither. It's overrated. Oh, I, bro, but, like who the fuck said that? Who said that? <laughs> Do you know Ten Ten? <laughs> oh my god okay all right yep hey to okay. be fair take he, he has a point though and, and i'm I, gonna I play that double back yeah please please go for, go, for, go for it we has a point because there are mechanics inside of that description that if you don't read of course a surface level you're gonna say yeah this ain't complex but if that yeah. mechanic says oh you have to press left up down right in order for this bits to do a tornado move and you never ever read that 
then yeah, that's a complexity that you're absolutely overlooking. Oh no, yeah, I think tornado moves in the game for I, God, they have, I like, one, fucking straight fighter input. Listen, like, I I one million percent agree. Okay, like so for example, um, if I can kill a frog with a rock, right, and it gets the job done. Okay, well then the frog's easy to kill. It doesn't matter if I can use a rocket launcher to kill the fucking frog. I don't yeah. need no, to. No, Tectone, but the rocket launcher's cool. I know, it is yeah, cool, yeah. but like if it's I can so beat cool, all though. content just slamming my head on the fucking keyboard, doesn't matter if the complex doesn't exist. Like, sure, sure, I mean, I guess they're there. Right. But it's yeah. just like, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like... Like a Souls the... game is nothing without computing the memory of the monsters. It's like that, that yeah. kind of game needs monsters with good patterns where you really have to practice at it to memorize the patterns. Because yeah. that makes the combat more engaging. And without that, that game's dead. But go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Tech, when you say it was fun, it, like, what what's your definition of fun? Because for me, when I looked at the combat in that game, when I compare it to, say, Punishing Grey Raven, if you guys have played that, yeah. when uh, I jumped into that game, that combat was so engaging and dynamic and fun. And it was like, I, I didn't get that feeling in Zenless Zone. Zenless Zone, it looked really cool, which was fun. The animations were really good. But yeah. it didn't have that, that gameplay satisfation for me to yeah. what pun something like punishing gray right so i'll respond and then i'll let m dash go um so for me the game takes a lot of inspirations from two of my favorite games one is persona and another one is a lesser known game called jet set radio future uh yes. where the soundtrack of that is like fucking one-to-one -one. um yeah, just being in the environment i enjoy quite a lot and also you know listen i'm 30 now okay i, I don't need overly complicated shit it hits my dopamine receptors because it looks very pretty and when i'm fighting i'm like okay this looks really nice and that's pretty much all i need it's i press some buttons i get to talk to my chat it's low maintenance and then pretty things happen every now and then it's cool uh that's how it's fun for me it's just aesthetically pleasing and also i enjoy the environment quite a bit i i can definitely tell i'm, I'm becoming a lot more of a casual player so the uh, the casual player the older i get which is very surprising to me uh yeah, but yeah but tech you uh, love souls games love right them. love them okay so the souls game and I, this is just me trying to get a better understanding on you the yeah. souls game the moves aren't complex at, at all, all. And that's, I think that's probably what we're getting at here with you yeah. is like, you'd rather a complex boss fight than a complex move set. Absolutely. One million percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'm just trying to understand it. Yeah. I think that's I, I would say, God, There was something I was going to say about fucking Christ. I forgot. Uh, patent pending. Continue. Because it's like, it's yeah. like whenever you fight, like, sorry, go ahead, I'm Tash. Well, just the thing about uh, that I found is like with Genshin, it feels like I've got a rotation where I'm like, I'm going to debuff him and then I'm going to buff my guy and then i'm gonna hit you and i i kind of like feeling like that feeling of like hit him with a the water then i vape him mm -hmm. with zemba yep. zone zero it kind of just felt like everyone do damage go <laughs> you know? yeah yeah and, it's and, exactly and, that yeah and, and and so it's fun it's like fast and stuff and like if there's a if there's like a cool boss that i have to dodge a bunch i think that changes it for me if yeah. there isn't dodges like huge slams and it's like if you stand in that you're dead pretty much yeah then then i i won't like the game because i don't enjoy the combat but almost like that that dark souls vibe is like using my little claymore 15 times in a row and dodge rolling for some reason is fun because i have to learn the the patterns of the bosses so yeah, i i think zen the zone zero needs that or else i'm i'm out absolutely Punishing is a crucial variable for it go ahead yeah. yeah like for me i'm one of my favorite franchises besides dark souls is monster hunter and it's the exact same deal okay no you just, way no way yeah i love monster, hunter. Love monster hunter? Oh, yeah it's one of my favorite games. i've been Dude, playing like, since like fifth grade I, holy shit I game yeah. like with nobody. Like literally every fucking day, I open up like my home, like my Discord home, because the UI update, and it's always like at the top of the list. Tech Tones either playing fucking League of Legends or Monster Hunter. Yeah, always one of the other. Super good. And uh, I you... think it's... yo, my name came from Monster Hunter, like Mr. Pokey from Pokey Village in Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's sick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I thought it was Pokemon, 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 Pokemon to be honest, or Pokemon. No, 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 it's Pokey, like Pokey Village. Oh, and the Pokey Village team song and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite yeah. weapons in Monster Hunter? Oh, I play everything, bro. But for me, probably hammer. My charge blade all day. Yeah, charge, charge blade. Charge blade is a man's class. I just want to monkey. Charge blade is too complex for me. Am, am I a bitch for playing Insect Glaive, or is that not? No, that's uh, what I, I think you're a bitch if you play Insect Glaive in World, but like you're Giga Chat if you play it in Rise. Okay, well, okay, and, and Iceborne the Insect Glaive gets transformed with that Wyvern Dive, but in World, it's just, why the fuck am I playing a class that's meant to fly on the ground the whole time? That's so cool. Yeah. Everybody here's Facebook Monster Hunter. That's so cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Hammer's just, it's the fucking best. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, is there anything else we need to talk about for Zone Zone Zero? I feel like it's pretty over shot, right? Because it just make make the fight. Yeah, thing. Go ahead, box real quick. Oh yeah, uh, I kind of yeah. phased out for a while. Uh, have y'all talked about the titty changes? Like, the titty changes? <laughs> no, uh, I, I no, we can't. It as a joke, but if you think it's a big deal, go ahead, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah go ahead. No, I was, I was about to ask you, Tectone, because you made a whole fucking video about it, right? Do you actually that's care? That's called that dude. That's free content, man. Uh, do I care about Nicole's titties being nerfed? Uh, unironically, yes. I really don't yeah, like right, when really? companies step in I, I, and change who, who are you things. To? <laughs> like, like I remember, I remember, like, like okay, I was annoying as fuck when I played Genshin, and when you used to put in the beta, you could climb the mountains and you could stare at the ass. Okay, now I'll be real; doesn't matter. Okay, I'm 30. I can't jerk off to in-game models anymore. The porn's gonna look the same regardless. The only thing that bothers me is I know at a point that is what the artist wanted her to look like. I don't like censoring yeah. artistic freedom. If they want her to have big tits, let her have big tits. It really doesn't fucking matter. What's annoying is saying, "Cause I'll, I'll, I'll be real." Okay, I know. Okay, I'll, I know a lot of chicks with huge fucking tits. Okay, and then they're saying, oh, these people don't exist. It's too over-sexualized. Girls with huge titties, oh, they look so stupid. It's just big boobs, bro. It's an artistic decision. I don't see the problem. Yeah, I, I really don't see the issue. I, I find it annoying that I know the artist at one point wanted her to look like that, and they said, no, we can't because big boob girls don't exist. I say, like, I, I know it's one well, thing. Like, it's, it's, like, the problem is, like, people see, like, big tits, and they go, oh, hell yeah. That's, that's my Saturday night plans right there. But, I mean, like, you know, most people, functioning members of society, not that there's many of those, what like, I we heard. see it, we just go, oh, okay, it's a girl, whatever. Yeah. Like, there's nothing what, inherently wrong about it. That's the what I thing. heard, and uh, this is, yeah. I don't fucking live in China, but I hear in China yeah, there's not China a lot of big kitty women. Oh, uh, shit, maybe. I got no idea. <laughs> yeah, what they, but, that's, yeah. what they, that's what they base this off of. They base it off of China's... I don't know, like women and how they're designed, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah, when I went to China, I didn't see any I'm fucking blue them. demon girls either. But uh, yeah, they still have, they still have those in the game, so I don't yeah, see the problem. I, I never agreed with that. I mean, it's the same thing with why ain't, ain't more black people in the damn game. Oh, you got <laughs> black people in China, well, bitch. It's a whole world out there, though. It don't make no sense to me. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, it's a dumb argument if you ask me. Yeah, there actually is very little black people in these games. It's actually mm -hmm. insane. They have like what? The fact that Dea has like the darkest skin tone is crazy to me. Yeah, Dea and then uh, what's the name? Jing Yang's the... And, and they made her hurdy hurdy hey look at me yeah yeah that was like fucking that was like fucking yokai watch three like levels oh, of man. dumb shit Whoa. yeah dude, i like oh uh, i know nobody probably knows what yokai watch three was but like dude they they made that game it was like a japanese game it's basically like pokemon over in japan i love yokai watch dude it was fucking funny as shit because like they were like okay well we need to capitalize overseas right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mo make the most casually racist game on the face of the planet. Like all of the, the third yokai were like based on America. Mm. It was so funny. Like everybody said howdy. It was amazing. It was the greatest thing ever. Box, like, you... I love I love that dumbass localization shit. It's amazing. Box, were you going somewhere with Nicole's big tits, or why were you trying to pick my brain on that? Oh yeah, I was just trying to say like uh like gameplay. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna like stop you from playing the game, right? Cause... Oh no, absolutely not. It's not okay. Uh, okay, okay. You just. <laughs> Yeah, no, I love bitching, but, uh, uh yeah. Again, I, I, take times being honest when he does care, because I DM'd him after I saw his video. I'm like, dude, are you fucking serious? Do you actually uh, care, or is this just content? He goes, no, I'm fucking dead serious. No, <laughs> I, I'm serious. I think it's bullshit, but I'm still going to play. Like, He's it's so fine. It's so hard to tell with you, Tech Tone. Oh, like, I sometimes know. Sometimes you, you do shit for content, and other times you're dead serious. Like, you oh. put out a tweet, and like, yeah, I need to get my life together, and I thought you were fucking joking for the longest time, dude. I'll be honest. Oh, no, so I've, been, I've been hitting the gym every day for the past two months now, so. Yeah, I'm get proud in of there, you, big dog. Get in there. Yeah. It's yeah, a, it's a lot fuck of fun. Fuck them up, dude. I go Love in there, I play here. TFT, and then I grind. I was working out with Canute the other day. It was a lot of fun. Um, all right, so I'm glad you all know. Once again, thank you all for being here. Uh, we're going to the controversial topic. I'm asking a question, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer, Okay. There's I'll a little just bit sit on the fence again, mate. It's all right. Yeah. Um, so I was in a bit of controversy the other day. Um, there was a Genshin Impact content creator. Oh, I was part of this too, by the way. Yep. Uh, yeah. There was a Genshin Impact content creator uh, that made a breedable tier list and did characters like Klee and Chi Chi and Nahida and put them in S tier. Okay. I'm a 30 year old man. I don't get this. Okay, I, I for 24 hours I was trending on Twitter because I said lolly porn is bad. Um, I'm genuinely wondering. I don't get it. So I'm wondering. I was told this in mass, not by a little, by a lot. Trending on Twitter, that's a lot of people. 
I was told that Hoyoverse panders to lollicons. And I'm curious if you guys would agree or disagree with that statement. No. I have a couple things on that. Yeah, go ahead, the first one is when you say you don't get it, it's just the way I don't get the way people like look at like the tits as an issue. Like that's like the next level down. So I feel like you're on this mid level. I'm on like this other level where I don't yeah. even get like the attracted to gaming character. Like it's just weird yeah. to me. Like yeah, like, like, like okay. So I'm, I, I'm I gonna go really off get that. it from the first level, and this is just like a complete different level of degeneracy. Yeah. And I think it's all kind of just weird. But that level is really weird to me, and I think it's fucked up. But I also think that when they design games, they are catering to those type of people because if they if they exist, it sells. They uh. So like it's, it's funny like, to me because I don't time. find no what you're like saying. how people can jerk off to that. Like it, like okay. it literally doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's like a cartoon so, anime character, but some people love it. Like Tecto over there, he loves that shit. Yeah, I don't get it. I, don't, so <laughs> but it's like, I can't, like I cannot <laughs> even fathom that. Yeah. So what what was crazy was as uh, I'm a I'm a coomer. I followed over 900 hentai artists on Twitter. Full disclosure. Fucking base. Yeah. Uh, there was a little thing. I was going to start a channel with another content creator. I'll keep them nameless. Where I was going to do hentai reviews. Um, and to be honest, I'm probably still going to do that, but I'm just going to put that on my main channel now. Yeah, you should get Nux as like a co-star for that shit. He eat it up. Uh, yeah, me and Nux, we used to talk a lot. Uh, I want to hear something here. Take you actually time have. Here real quick. Yeah, so, Imtash and uh, Vulcan, you're telling me that you don't find any attraction to these anime girls that are literally shaped like real life women, with, but yeah. except perfectly. Yeah, I call cat. Like when, when you don't find any attraction. I, I, I literally disagree with this. Now, if you want to like say, oh, I'm married, I'm not about to go in and say that. I respect it, but I refuse <laughs> to believe. Yeah, I refuse no, to believe like, that there's not here's here's attraction is, there. there. Mm. I, I I understand the attractiveness of characters and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, but it's like I I don't get like the I'm in love with this character. Like I oh, I just yeah. don't get that. It's like yeah, you know, yeah. this character is good. That's why I like them. They have this skill. Like I I'm not there because like I, I'm in love. Like, like I'm more the other side where if a character's cool, like Sam, like that demon guy, like yeah. that's thing. Those are the things that excite me in a game. Not having a chick with big tits. Like it just doesn't like. I know Registers. I get it. Yeah, you see, my, as a kid, I had a crush on Bulma when I was like twelve. But today, I'm not gonna say I have a crush on fucking Kafka. I'm just gonna say she's fine as shit and move on with it. I get what you mean, and <laughs> yeah, I, I, I the, think you're like me. The design. I yeah, there are the people. I get it. There are people who, to this very day, you know, back when Ting Yoon, uh, I saw Ting Yoon the game launch. I was like, yeah, I like this character because I thought she was a fucking Kitsune. She's not. I got clickbaited so hard. Yeah. But um, people to this day think that the reason i i don't like ting yoon is because like she's because she died and because i like she was my fucking wife and like i beat off to her every day kind of shit. in actuality i don't fucking care um i don't really see digital characters and go yep that's my wife i just go okay i mean they're kind of attractive but like to this day there are people who think i'm like emotionally distraught that the the pair of fuckable looking pixels died like man i don't give a fuck so like I mean, I, it's kind of like a level of like there's a certain point where it's like okay, well I find them attractive, like oh yeah that character looks hot as shit, and there's like the one below is like I would fuck this character. It's like a I want to get to the root of this though, yeah. Vulcan. I think on a fundamental level, it's coming from people who and and they, they thought I was disrespecting them, but I I think it's coming from people who get no play or never talked with the others opposite sex, and so obviously that that's the whole purpose of the concept of Hoyoverse. They wanted to uh, give that person a vicarious lifestyle through the protagonists and the women in the game. And it, it sounds fucked up, but it's the truth. Like that's I that's Mark this guy. It. He speaks whereas, back. God damn. Whereas with me, Vulcan and you, I, as as kids, boys growing up, we always wanted to be the superhero. And that's why I love the male characters. Like I know Tech doesn't give a fuck about them, but me, I I can't be a superhero in real life, at least not in the aspect these fuckers are in the game. So I live through them because they look cool, they can power up, they do all this badass shit that I cannot do. And that's why I enjoy playing with those characters. So again, I think it all comes down to the psycho psychological aspect of it. Go ahead, M M Tash. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with it. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Just just let just let me let me cook first. Yeah, take all the time you. All right. So just don't burn it, bro. Mm. I don't I don't I don't jerk off the hentai. Okay. But when okay. Kafka puts her boot up on the wall and the guy in the trailer, it's like, damn, right? And it's like, it's like, that all right, me. All right, yeah, I know. that's hot. It's like, yeah, like I, if my wife did that to me, all right. Mm -hmm. I can recognize Samus Aran is hot, but it's like, I want to get my wife a zero suit Samus cosplay. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, 
I'm at that stage. I've never had. But at the same time, just hold on here. So, um, so right, yeah. my understanding of of like the the pixels in the anime is to the extent of I can understand why people find it hot, but I just don't personally find it hot. Just like my brother is gay, I understand why he loves his boyfriend, mm -hmm. but I'm not attracted to men. And like, but I can understand why he is, and that's how he works. All right. Yeah. So keep, let me let me cook. All right. Yeah. Now, when I understand my interest in the the anime characters and i understand my brother's interest in in men i understand there's different fetishes and they're different things now if someone likes children mm -hmm. anime yeah. characters yeah <laughs> there mm -hmm. has to be some sort of layer and i don't know where it is where if they saw a cute child they they may be like like that as well i don't understand hard. I don't nah, understand bro. how someone can be like that fucking child anime character is breedable and not like I wouldn't question them and I would not put my fucking kids around. Like yeah, okay, if, cool, if, thank if, you. If you're if you're watching lolly porn or or whatever you want to call it, or you watch an animes, and you find if you find Klee attractive, you are an issue. Like in my opinion, like you're you're mm. fucked. Like you're you. absolutely fucked. I've got nope. children. I would never ever let my kids around you. If I found that on your computer, and you were near my kid, it would be like uh, like bear mode would act. I did that. Like, oh baby, like that so, is how, that is like what it is a scary. clear wrong. What I'm it's about to post inside of the inside of this uh, little group chat we have is an actual comment I got in my video. Um, where I said, hey guys, maybe we shouldn't be condoning the guy creating his brand identity around wanting to fuck kids in Genshin, right? Mm -hmm. And this was an actual comment I got in defense of him. Now, there was multiple like this. Um, and, like, I'm kind of looking at this and be like, what fucking porn are you at in your life where this is a genuine defense? This shit, like... And I had another comment, and it was basically a guy saying, maybe instead of being jealous, this guy has, like, similar subs to you. You should learn from him and make good content like him. Oh, that's some or, deep shit or there, Or maybe, bro. like, the guy is literally making that content because that's the only way they can get yeah. views. No, I, I, yeah. would, I would like it. to say this, okay? If you have the opposite opinion, no one here is going to attack you, okay? I'm asking for a genuine, open discussion. If you have the opposite opinion where you think it's fine, I would love to hear your opinion why. Okay, the the LollyCon community is very big on the internet. I am not a part of it, but I was shocked how I got on trending for saying that I think it's bad. Vox, what do you want to say? I, oh, oh, no, yeah. no, let me, yeah. I, I was shocked that I was not only in my in the comments where I made the video, it's like, hey guys, maybe we shouldn't condone this. I was fucking surprised that I was not only in the minor I, I was not only it was not only a controversial take. But I was somehow in the minority and being fucking ratioed by everybody in the comments. True. That's what I don't understand. True. Box, what do you want to say? Oh yeah. Uh, have y'all? How many of y'all have actually seen the video that um like the videos that that guy makes, friend? Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, you, you. I've seen bro, a few. That, sh I that, seen that shit is disgusting, bro. Yo, the, the way he talks about like like ho ho and like just he like he makes it. He only talks about the lolly characters too, which is like it's so weird. like he's talking about like their their armpits and shit, talking about breed up with bro. I could not watch the entire thing. He, yeah, and I don't not, know, like people in the comments, I was like, oh, it's satire. You like you know, this for starters, there's truth in jest. But even even then, if it was satire, he wouldn't be doing it for like months straight. Yeah. And what's that guy? What's that guy that does like this character shit? Like you always watch him. Ingo, uh, yeah, he Ingo oh, pulled yeah. like, like that is satire. Like that's trolling. This guy is just like he's just weird he's just wait mtash didn't you fall for one of Viango's videos i just didn't do the math i, oh, I just okay. do the math I was, I was like oh like e6 serval is better than uh jing yuan it's like all right fine i'll right. just use my e6 serval and that's the, yeah. that's why i really wanted yango to be here because i know he put out a tweet the other day uh that said maybe the people who are looking for pedophiles and everything are the real pedophiles themselves and i yeah, really he sent me uh, i really actually, wanted to talk about that uh, but he real quick, well, let, let Rex aside. go quick. Rex, what do you want to say? So, yeah, I was just going to answer, because your initial mm. question was like, um, it, it was, it's like, do you think Genshin panders to that or like caters to that audience? Yeah. Mm. Right? And I, I personally don't understand how their portrayal of kids in the game can pander to that audience. Because it's not like, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel like Genshin is sexualizing the kids. They're very much like just kids. Yeah. Right? It, and... Like, debatably, like, I could see the argument for someone going, oh, well, Nahida, Nahida has her fucking feet out. 
right? Like I could see why people would think they're pandering to that audience. I don't understand how you can even connect the two though. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense think? to me. They, they fucking run like kids. They fucking act like kids. They're clearly fucking children. They do crayon drawings if, like kids. If you if you act if you asked an AI to draw, what would a goddess of like of like earth and grass look like? How many pictures do you think they'd be like barefoot? I bet I bet you it's a fucking lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like even, fucking yoke you yourself. Like wise, human interpretation like of yoke yourself is like fucking vines on a body. So yeah, they're usually barefoot. Uh, I, now, I, I would guarantee if you ask AI, it would it's like that's what it would put out. No, so it's like I just look at it like motif wise. It's like she's like a grass goddess that like is like a child. Yeah. Like it's like you know. So maybe so maybe I, I'm off base here when I when I hear people say and I, I mean this I heard this from a lot of people. A lot of people they say they pander to people who like lollies. I would understand that if Klee walked up to the Traveler and said, I'm going to fuck you so hard. Sure, yeah, they're pandering very hard, but they're just kids being kids, and I just I can't rationalize it. Uh, I Question mean, on that. Klee ain't acting that, like Lisa. Yeah, go ahead, Volker. If, if they're pandering to people who... I don't even want to fucking talk about this because it's just disgusting. Yeah, yeah. But if yeah. they're pandering to people who like kids, then they... That then just being kids is what that they're pandering to. Do you know what it, I mean? It, exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, I think of women. I'm in Tash, I'll let you go in a bit. I think of just like the women who are like, "Oh my god, she's so cute." I'm like, "Oh, that's probably the audience that they're marketing." But the reality is a lot more cruel mm -hmm. than that. You, we know who also they're pandering to. The fucking pedophiles, yeah. like this dipshit y'all keep mentioning that's making YouTube channels commenting on these children. Yeah, Dude, it, Go is, ahead it is cash. insane uh, how much he's backed up to, man. Because I've read some of the comments and like, well, there's, there's a, yeah, if you, if you go down world out there, I, well, because it's all those people that are into that. Yeah. I, I would say on stream the other day, I went to his fucking second most recent video. I sorted by new, and I said, yeah, watch this chat. And I started scrolling down. I was like, now watch as your faith in humanity withers away before your very eyes. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. what were we saying, Tash? I would say that the only way it would be pandering is like, have you seen um, what's her name? In Lisa? My Hero Academia, yeah, Yorozu, or, or no? Yeah, she's Momo, like, she's got, Momo, like, the, huge test. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's like it's yeah. like she's like a high school student, and it's like that is fan service. That is like pandering because it's like for me that's illegal. Like that's a sixteen year old. Like that's oh, is daughter. that the chick with like the she pulls like she items creates, out of her kit? Yeah, she yep. creates. Yeah. No, but, yep. but Mtash, she needs that so she can create stuff. Oh. Otherwise, it will rip her clothes. Oh, oh you fucking fuck you what with her? <laughs> Right, like you know what I'm saying is like it's like they're not doing anything like that, um, and I feel like that would be like the level of like this is like really, they're like catering to it. But I think it's just like a lot of of, of weirdos. Unfortunately. Yeah, I I think with Momo, she's uh, I think she's supposed to be chat. What is it, sixteen, seventeen? And then in Japan, the age of consent is like sixteen. So I think that's why they draw her is that, that way. Is that what it is? Because every Which anime and stuff argument. characters are sixteen years old. I'm gonna yeah, be honest. Like the I, general thing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Japan is 13 years old. Sorry. I'll tell you the I, issue with that. I'll tell you the issue with that 13. is like whether whether it's the age of consent or not or whatever it is is like is like maybe if you do like the Romeo and Juliet laws where it's like you were both 16 when it happened, yada yada yada. Oh, sorry. They opted. Different. They opted to 16. Sorry, I want to correct misinformation. Sorry, go ahead. That yeah. one guy from fucking Transformers with like the right? laminated so Romeo like, and Juliet maybe cover. 16 year olds that are falling in love in high school. That is not the same thing as you being a 34 year old man watching an anime of a 16 year old or you being in love with a 6 year old kid. It's not the same thing. And I'm very passionate about this because like I am like a father and stuff. But even even you know like in the hockey community, like coaches taking advantage of young men and stuff like, like, like kids get fucking preyed on and taken advantage of. And anyone who's out there who's attracted to kids and want that, it, like I fucking can't there's, stand there's it. Yeah. Problem, yeah. So, so the thing is there, the people who are listening and who are interested in this topic are going to be upset if I don't represent their side. I'm going to now play devil's advocate. Uh, <laughs> even though I strongly disagree on this side, still fine. Okay. I can still be objective. So they are saying in their minds, that it's a video game, they're pixels, why does it matter? Same thing for if somebody plays Call of Duty and kills people in a video game, why is it wrong that they're attracted to children? Well, in a so video you're game? not beating your dick to the high score in Call of Duty. That's what also what I say. Okay, and here's another argument I got from some fucking dipshit. He said, he said to me, and this is an actual comment, Dylan, where he's like some guy, again, another one of my audience members, fucking love that guy, he's gonna be a mod as soon as I sort some shit yeah, out. But, like, come on, come on. This motherfucker... 
He said, he went in my comments to a genuine question. What can you do when you are born a pedophile? Because you cannot do anything about, for example, That's being crazy. Homosexual. That and is I have the fucking, fucking receipt. crazy. I'm in the chat. Here it, here it comes. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, thank you, Disc Dylan on Discord. I, yeah, this that's that's an actual fucking thing you sent me. I've like, I've never heard anybody say that ever. That's insane. I've that never heard insane. anybody argue it, and like I was fucking like it was live when it happened. Obviously, I was fucking dumbfounded. Like I didn't even have a fucking argument. I was like, uh, well, I mean, I, I I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like I'm be honest. Like so, I, I don't I mean, fucking know. If you're if you're born if you're born heterosexual and that's what you're attracted to, it's like yeah. that's what you're. And like if you are homosexual, like that's what you're attracted to. So like arguably, there are people that were born that. Are attracted to kids for whatever reason, like that's their thing. I, I but, think they've had but, some weird upbringings. Dude, yeah, like, and probably, and probably, it. and probably it's did, like a nature versus there. nurture thing. So, but here is the the final thing on it is regardless of what you find attractive, the law right says if it's illegal. It's fucking illegal. You have to have like the the compassion and the heart to not follow through with it. It's like even if you were born there. It, or, or feeling that way, then you have to be like, but it's wrong because I will ruin their life. But it's wrong because I'm hurting them. But it's wrong because it's illegal. Right? But it's just so pixels, it's dude. It, it has it's to. It has pixels, to no, now, I will also say. I don't know. One illegal is a bad that. example, it, by it, the way. It isn't that's illegal. illegal. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not that. Uh, so anime lollies, that's not illegal. It's a gray area in the law. So, I say. Just I just want to put that out there. Yeah, I say because of that, you know, whatever. Be, I, I, I'm not, because I there's not enough hours in the day for me to fucking witch hunt all these people who beat their dick to fucking Klee Hentai. I don't care. Just don't make it fucking public. Keep your shit in the closet and shut the fuck up. What do you think, like, Rex? I think legality has fucking nothing to do with it. I yep. Like, truthfully, I, I think that if, if the reason you're not jerking off to children is because it's fucking illegal, that's, that's a, a problem. Like, that's like... I mean, okay, like, you know, props to you for respecting the law, but Jesus fucking Christ, why is that even a thought that occurs to you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, like there's, yeah, at that point you're skipping a few steps. Yeah, it's, it's fucked. I, I feel like legality, it, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's definitely some kind of disconnect, right? If, if that's something that, that you're even considering, if that's something that gets brought up to your, like, into your head, that's a different problem and you should address it. I, I'm very passionate about this kind of thing because I've seen it like in schools. I, so I got an ed degree. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but um, I, I was going to be a teacher before I decided to make DJ YouTube videos. Oh, I was going to be a teacher. Too. Um, and so I had to basically do student teaching and stuff. And I learned so much about the teaching world. Like so many fucked up things happen that you never hear about. Um, and it, it's fucking terrifying and it's sickening. You see the worst come out of people when they're put into a position of power. And when you're a grown ass man or woman in a position of power around children, it's incredibly fucked to even put yourself into it or like to even allow yourself to be in that position, like where, where you can affect people, like you can affect people in a negative way like that, especially fucking children. They, they don't know what they're doing. It, it's. It's awful. And I feel like if you have that attraction to characters in an anime or a video game, it is fundamentally the same fucking thing. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm I'm once again, you know, I'm going to say some shit that people will probably be uncomfortable saying. Uh, feel free to disagree with me if you like, 100%. Um, so I'm going to give an example of where I think I get what people are talking about. There's a character called... Android 21 and Dragon Ball Z. Oh, is that Vami, the pink skin? Yeah, the pink skin girl. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna post. Yeah, she's like fucking four, bro. Yeah, so I'm gonna, she looks I'm like gonna, an adult. yeah, I'm gonna post an image, right, of Android 21. This character is three years old. Okay. Yeah, but come on. Bro. No, I, I know. Trust me, trust, stuff, trust me. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting there. So there's the image of her. Just in case you don't know, she, she's about, uh, yeah, she's three years old. Mm. I understand one million percent if somebody is attracted to that because she looks like an adult, she acts like an adult, and in my opinion, that makes you an adult. Okay. My problem is, is that when you're attracted to, let's say, Kana, who's a character from Dragon Maid, I'm gonna link you a character of what she looks like real quick, Kana Dragon Maid. Uh, this character, yeah, this character is three thousand years old. 
Okay, so I'm gonna okay, go. Okay, but if it, bark, if, if it barks, it's a dog, and if it's fucking short and stubby, it's a goddamn child. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't. Yeah. So that is a three thousand year old character no. is the comic. No. Right. But if you're in okay. in, in the anime, they're in, they go to kindergarten, they draw with crayons, but people morally justify it by saying. Oh well, this character's three thousand, so it's fine. I really no, don't like no. that trope. There's a there's a character that came out in Genshin Impact. If uh, they're called 3, 000, how come they don't act like yeah, hundred percent. No, there's a character that comes out called Farazan. She came out and immediately they were like, this character's a thousand years old. Nikita Nahida came out and they made she's a child and they're like, oh yeah, she's three thousand years old. I just really don't like when 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 companies do that. I, that is one thing where I say I do think Hoyoverse would be pandering to that side of the community because, bro, if it looks like a child, just say they're fucking three in the game. Don't yeah, say they're like, three thousand because that's gonna let people what, justify it. It's so fucking crazy to me because like, you know, brain and body develop or like the same rate. If it looks like a kid, it's a fucking kid. Like you know. 3,000 years in Dragon Years doesn't mean shit. Like, I literally made a video. Like, I was I was working on this before this shit happened, where mm. it was just a bunch of things I found in Star Wars. Like, yes, let's talk about this, you know, stuff you may have missed. And one of the things I wanted to do was about Huofo's age. I was even telling Tectone, I almost cut it out of the video, but I said, no, fuck it, I'm not removing this. Huofo, from what we know in game, is, like, somewhere between the ages of, like, 12 and 16 in human years. But she's, like, 60 in Foxian. And then there were people in the comments telling me, oh, well, she's... She's legal. I, I, I deleted their comments because they were pissing me off. But, like, dude, if it acts like a fucking child, it's a goddamn child. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, then, then you get into the gray area of 16, 17, 18, 19, and people will always argue different things. And, like, what's your take on that? Like, if you. I, I want to comment on that, but go ahead. Yeah, you, you, because I, that, that's mm. like, so, like, I'm playing Black Clover and they released Summon OL. She's fucking OP, so the character's good. Yep. But it's like, she's 16 like it, it you shouldn't be sexualizing 16 year olds yeah it's someone's daughter just just it's someone's daughter exactly it's, it's, no it's, it's, listen, it's, it's, it's easy as that and respect the mtas i fucking wholeheartedly disagree here's the issue and i argue with somebody about this in the stream mm. every every character that's designed in the game came from real life if the character model is designed like a mature adult then I don't give a fuck what the age says in the game because if they got that model from a mature adult in real life. Yeah. If, a, if a character's 3,000 years old in a video game, it doesn't fucking matter because they got that model from a child in real life. That's why it's not okay. Yeah. It's fundamentally dumb to say, she's 16 in the game, how dare you be attracted to her? Bitch, that's a grown-ass woman in real life. That's why I'm attracted to her. Yeah, I think a good example, yeah. another Fair good example. Like, wow, wow. Mm. This, 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 I'm very passionate about it. I'm very yeah. passionate about it. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, mean, I mean, I get just as passionate okay, about okay, it. Fair, fair. Mm. There, there's grade seven girls that are fully developed girls. And if the fucking gym teacher uh, sexually fucking takes, takes advantage of them like they did at my school, do you think that, that you know, you know what I'm saying? No. Is like, is yeah, like, yeah. I don't go fuck hey, with box, their boxes. No, no, hear me out, hear me out. Right? Hear me out. Yeah. In real life, though, you can I actually think look at a girl say in Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fuck that. Let me finish this. It, it, there's a girl you can look at a girl in real life, Mtash, and you can make a way better judgment call in real life and say, "Eh, she might be under age." You know what I mean? But you can't make that call in anime because anime girls yeah. that are 16 and 3,000 can can literally look like the same exact model. Fucking yeah, yeah, Amber Roku, is bro. your like, yeah, is right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so the other like, thing in is, in real life, of, though, you're gonna see it. Go ahead. A lot of these characters in the anime who are like 16 years old or 17, 18 years old who have the body of, like, you know, somebody who's six foot fucking five, who's also served in the military as a war veteran. Like, it's just, it's insane. The body types are clearly based off of adult body types uh, yes, in the real world. And that's why it's it's more so body type. You, there is not, and correct me if I'm wrong, besides Hasbula, there is not a 40-year-old woman in real life who looks like Klee. There's just, there's no one. It doesn't exist. It's no. it's not a thing. No. No. Right. There's, and like, even if you want to get out of like age of consent bullshit and have a character who's like, was aged up to, was, it was very clearly aged down for a child audience. Um, there's the Pokemon protagonist. They're 10, but they look like they're like 18. They like, they look like they're somewhere in the range of like 14 and 18, like, like at least height wise. It's so yeah. like, you have like, you have these instances where sometimes it's like, okay, well, I mean, whatever suspension disbelief but even then like it still becomes a problem like i, I don't also box what do you want to say dude you were raising your hand 
in I the corner of the. I lost my train of thought, bro. I'll be honest with you, man. Sorry, I got. Uh, I got. Yeah, someone doesn't go. Someone doesn't go. Yeah. yeah well, anyway, my point with that is sometimes, thing. sometimes it's not even about pandering, but like, goddamn, Jesus Christ Almighty, like it's people give them an inch, they take a mile. Talking about heights in Pokemon, I was so shocked at how short Charizard was when I first figured out how tall he actually was. Five seven, bro. I'm taller than that thing. Uh, I just want to like sum that up one more time though. Yeah. You can make judgment calls in real life. You can't make the judgment call in anime unless yeah. it's off the character model. That's what I mean. It, yeah. The character yeah. model you can reference to real life. You can't reference uh their age to real life. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought like I thought Jodoro Okuda was like fucking I, I probably said the name wrong. I thought he was like fucking 30. Bro, 16. Dude. Yeah. Uh Fuck. yo, Mr. Pokey, you look incredibly uncomfortable. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> um, God damn, I mean, dude, getting cozy. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, because okay, 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 the topic was whether Mihoyo was pandering to to like pedophiles, right? Um, yeah. I, I mean, this is a it's a pretty sensitive topic. Then you know what? Like you don't got to say shit. Then you're all good. <laughs> no, but right? like, okay, me personally, I I I I I do think that if somebody has like sexual attraction to us, like things to do like kids, um, something is probably not 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 that right. No matter what the age is in game, I do agree with like I just mean everybody. If they look like an adult, they're an adult, and if they look like a kid, they're a kid. It doesn't matter what the age is. So, um, the whole getting cancelled from the whole Lodicon community, um, it's well, they can't mess, cancel yeah. me because any sensible human will look at them and be like, these guys are fucking stupid. Like they they can't do it. They have no power. They have no people respect. need to realize that there is real evil out there in the world. There's real right and wrong out there in the world. But some of these people are trying to enable that shit through these video games, and that is not okay at all. I basically so, had a guy tell me that liking kids would be okay in 50 years because liking uh, being gay was not okay 50 years ago. Like I'm unironically, like I got a comment like that. Like you, you, I I said you are the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met, and then deleted his comment. Just fuck him. I, so I think we're all in agreement, uh, and yeah. but it's still yeah. okay for Tecton to get cancelled. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe you said you like kids, Tecton. What the fuck? First man? of all, I didn't say that. <laughs> oh my god, hold on, hold on, dude. dude. I did not say that. It is such bullshit. Like unironically though, Tecton called a guy out for something, and then that, and then the other guy was praised. And I'm like, and this is, should be a fucking clear cut. You know, it shouldn't be a discussion. It should be pretty obvious. Tecton called somebody out for for promoting it actively got praised then then fucking tech tone the person who called attention to it gets canceled the fuck well okay like, so first of all I like, tech I... tone listen man mm -hmm. you know i you know a lot of people hate you is what it is being canceled is basically yeah. identity at this point but like that that should not have been like up for debate what the fuck like, now, now i will say i'm uncancelable um I, I don't care what these people say online i don't care you know, yeah. Look uh, up Tectone drama. There's three results. In the yeah, first page. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, people are going to say whatever the fuck they want to say. It doesn't matter. I'm not going anywhere. They're not going to remove the ability to, you know, make me go live again. It really doesn't matter, uh, because these people hold no power over me. It doesn't matter. Uh, can I can I also say one thing on that whole canceling everyone? Like, I, I also think with all this drama bullshit, because you guys know I, I don't do drama stuff. Yep. I just. It, it's all just bullshit to me because it none of it makes sense. It's all stupid. Like yeah. it's all fucking stupid. And when we say like, oh, Tech Tone got cancelled, everyone's it. It's a very very small group of people. Like I don't think it's everyone is hating Tech Tone because he said he should very prey small on minority. kids. Like holy fuck, it's just a few people online that make some posts and then like the whole thing gets blown out of proportion. And it's some people it who don't is. even know. Am I wrong on that take? No. no, I mean, I 1 million percent agree. I mean, that being said, uh, I did follow 900 hentai artists, and out of those 1 900, one of them, uh, okay, you ever see, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Yep. Yeah, or have you ever no, seen it? You ever seen it? You ever see a character called Yoko Littner from Gurren Lagan? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. no. my God. Yeah, what, what's up, Pokey? Yeah, you think she's hot, no, right? No, no, she's. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was like my my childhood. Yeah, <laughs> like crush. like a year ago, there was a pose of her sucking a big old dick, and I'm like, okay, follow. It's post time skip. Press follow. A uh, year later, now they're posing some real sus ass shit, and then all of a sudden, I'm held accountable for what they're posting. So then I just unfollowed, including all of y'all. I unfollowed everybody on that goddamn platform because making the take that I'm responsible for what every single person I'm following is is fucking insane. It was and a like, big reach. As well as really saying, funny. as well as saying, Venti is supposed to be a child. 
I don't get that take at all. How What's the really fuck is he supposed to be a kid? That is like by virtue even if you were following if if it was just one person what's really funny is by like the way twitter works uh because the following system is so weird you could if you were following nine thousand accounts you could literally be scrolling down your feed for fucking hours and probably would never see that guy's post because of how the, the feed works no, that's the thing about it. It, okay would we consider venti a lolly would we consider that no no no, no. Any anybody? No. I mean, literally I mean, anybody. He's a, he's a fucking drunk. I mean, of course not. Oh, but uh, but actually, so's Diona. So I mean, if anything, <laughs> obviously, he seems like a teenage boy. Like, if if I found out someone was doing like videos of him, I'd be like instantly questioning. Like, yeah, that that, that kind of looks like a kid to me. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. just the way the way they carry it's themselves fancy. is very like teenage. And there's some characters that are in that little weird spot, like Silver Wolf, for instance. Tech's not a fan of her because yeah. he thinks she looks like a child, and he's right to believe so because it is a hard call in anime design. Oh, yeah, it's hard to tell if she's fucking short. Like, because it's hard to tell if she's fucking short or just like an adult. Because Kafka refers to her as an adult, but she looks like a kid. What do you think, Box? Okay, respectfully, I don't think so. Because the way she dressed is like it's, it's way too revealing to be a child, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't no think I don't think yeah. Silver Wolf is a child, but I'm not though. gonna take that guess. She's literally like wearing like booty shorts. We didn't the first five seconds of a trailer like, Silver Wolf yeah. Kid. Is a show. yeah she acts she acts <laughs> like a kid she's short like a kid as far as i know that's that's two for three but here's the is. trick there are women out there built like silver wolf grown-ass adults though that's the thing so yeah. that, that's yeah, that's why i said so that's why i put her specifically because she's actually a tricky character in a game yeah what about you box yeah, what boss, do you think you want to go over dude i see you raising oh, yeah. your hand uh, so I think it's very, it's, yeah, again, it's like a very gray area with like uh, characters like Silver Wolf. Like you can yeah. never l really tell, right? But then for, it's very apparent when they're literally drawn like a fucking kid, right? Like those, yeah, yeah like that is when I would say it's kind of like self-reporting because it's so Cooley. obvious at that point. Yeah. So, so, like, yeah. so I don't, that's why I don't think the, the, the dude like uh, Tectone called out, that is so apparent. That is so fucking creepy. So that guy should not be defended, man. But, um. Oh. I would still say the gray area is like, um, I, I guess like so. Yeah, like, the gray uh, area is tricky, one hundred percent. That one's very yeah, tricky. But like this, this guy, is. like, and even then, like his whole fucking channel, like it's, it's not even just a matter of like what he's doing. It's his fucking brand, his identity, and like what pisses me off the most. He has a fucking Discord server, like he's making a community for, it. and like it, it only takes one bad actor, and shit's gonna go awry really fast, and nobody seems to understand that. Even, even if you're one of the people who agree with the gray area, I don't fucking care. But then you have this guy making a community around it. All these people attracted to it. And what happens if one person in that community formed on basically liking kids, one of them decides, I'm going to act on it. Then what? That you right. just, you, you were the catalyst for that happening. And Sorry. you don't, and you're probably not even getting any flack for it because people mm. support you. That's, that fucking pisses me off more than anything. Community but, of degeneracy. Yeah. Yes. Now, while... Uh, we've talked about this for quite a while. I think we've got an idea. Was there any more juicy drama? Uh, you, you seemed like you had multiple topics. Uh, yeah, there was more. Um, I, uh, you know, there was the gotcha smack Mr. Pokey, which honestly broke my heart to see two of my friends Wait, state well, each other like that. What's a tale from that? What is Wait, gotcha smack? I missed it. <coughs> yeah, did gotcha smack? Here, we'll let smack. Smack, take it away. What happened, Explain man. what happened with Ron Man Brunia. Pokey said I overhyped her, and then he ended up like, backpedaling a little bit. He ended up backpedaling a little bit, and he said he only says she does not replace Bronya. Uh To which, you know, I can respect that. That's notion. fair. But that's yeah, pretty yeah, much the yeah. brunt of it. But I took it, I took it as him just saying I was overhyping Bronya. and I, was, I mean, uh, Ron May. And I was like, how the fuck am I overhyping a unit that literally could be usable on every team and perform the best on every single team? But that did you my, settle it like a ghost? Of course we did, brother. I'm an there adult. There you go. Fucking respect. I'm man. the king of settling that? shit like adults. <laughs> hey, who won the debate? Yeah, who won? <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> I know he gave like me COVID, won. so uh, I think he won that shit. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> he sent me to the Shadow Realm with his argument. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. I need to watch that later, man. That's a dude. dude. Yo, yeah, all I'm saying is, though. All I'm saying is, though. Like, if you, if you manage to do like a like a crazy Arlen, like a triple DPS with Arlen. Oh, you, I'm gonna do that shit too. Yeah, oh, if you do I just that, gotta yo, build him up. I'll, I'll I just gotta build him up. Damn. Guys, who wants to who wants to start some drama? I need oh, I'm actually, I'm actually yeah, I'll fight with you. Why not? You know? Okay, Wait, okay. Right. You it. made a fucking Twitter post. Hey, I saw that fucking Twitter post, bro. I'll start drama with you right now, man. Wait, which one? Which one did I make? The the Jing Lu dissing one, bro. Oh, yeah, I'll, oh I'll, hell I'll no. Yeah, no day, yeah. You did not diss my hyper carry, motherfucker. What'd you say? <laughs> Dude, bro, I, uh, I didn't say she was bad. All I, all I said is this. I didn't even watch the video. I'm going to oh, watch okay. the video today on stream. Yeah. Right. So I just saw the thumbnail. I was like, ah, Jing Lu, worst fan base. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's tussle.
it's, it's not <laughs> no, I, it's not that she's not uh she's not good it's just that she's too good that like you literally you click e two times and you just space bar and that's oh. her entire gameplay so, yeah. i know she's and i fucking like, love it uh, i'm dog shit this game bro i need it trust me like, she reminds me of like hotel and Genshin. everyone's just like pull hotel Right, like obviously, like there's the whole like if you really follow like Wait, theory, crafting, everyone's just good? jungling, right? But like I feel like the Hu Tao fan base is a lot like the Jinglu fan base. They're like, oh, this is the best character. You, you can't fucking you can't argue with me. Even though like Hu Tao hasn't like is barely played in comparison to like a lot of other like Genshin characters now, and like everyone just plays Hyper Bloom. Like everyone is still like, yeah, Hu Tao's the best fucking character in the game. Like you can't take my hyper carry away from me. She's too good. Dude. I was in such a weird position because like okay. I just started playing two months ago. I have like no standard of like what the best DPS were for because Jingli was my first DPS. I wasn't Trailblazer, so like now, pretty much to me, she is like, oh, that's the DPS. And I started learning like about Blade. And I was like, oh, but Jingli is better now. So what am I supposed to do? Because I just bought the character. Now what? Like, yeah, uh, I think Hu Tao fucking sucks. Her playstyle fucking blows. Yeah, I love fucking. No, yeah. dude, you're wrong. I love having to fucking. Yeah, the jump cancel so cringe. Cancel. Yeah, no, so fuck great. that. Uh, yeah, love also, it. I don't it's think amazing. Jing Liu is really that good. I think Bronya is what makes her good. I feel like playing Bro uh, Jing Liu without Bronya is a fucking miserable experience. Uh, well, let me put it like this. I don't have doable, Bronya. It's doable. It's doable. No, sure, sure, sure. It's Bronya. doable, but it feels yeah, yeah, yeah. so much worse. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, have yeah. Bronya, and I'm getting my ass beat, yeah. so I can get this. issue, man. Skill issue. You're, it's A, you're oh, right. It is. <laughs> I'm very open about sucking bad dick at these games. Well, dude, it's well, not well, a secret. Well, take it, you have, a, you have an E2 Bronya. Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. No, oh, fuck you, Tekton. You want to share? You want to share? That's crazy. Wanna share? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I oh. hope, mm -hmm. I hope we get, uh, like, the, the, the five-star selector, dude, because, like, it's going to take me, like, six months before I get, like, the free five. And, like, I have Bronya's Wait, Has anyone done. hit the 300 yet as free to play? Dude, people are I finally need, starting. I need, I need, there, I there need 16. I need three more singles. I, I just had a guy send me a video. Somebody just hit it. Like, people are finally starting to get to that point. It, it's it's fucking over for me, boys. I got Bronya's light cone. It's on my Ting Yun right now. That shit's basically collecting dust. Like, I, I need I need a Bronya. Yeah, so I need uh, 16 more. But the last bit of drama I want to talk about, and I want you guys just to be completely honest with me. Uh, this one's big. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys saw the other day, uh, and after this, y'all can all dip if you want. Uh, and that's what y'all saw the other day. Uh, M Tashed has quit being free to play and okay. you know, no that's way, a big no deal. Way. No okay? way. Now the problem and is, is that we're trying to decide if I'm free to play because I've been told that some people know that I've spent gems illegally on my account. Now I have proved that I haven't. Now I would like to know. Do you guys think I'm free to play, or do you think that it's one big ruse? No, I, I think you're care. sleeping. I think you're sleeping with Orange Jesus and Lady Luck. That's what I think's happening. Wait, because you, you're Vulcan? really fucking lucky. What about you, Vulcan? Yeah, I I, I just don't care. Like, like no. it doesn't <laughs> really, like, is it really something that matters? Like, I oh. like I like I've, mm -hmm. I've got this whole thing because I'm free to play in every game I play because like that's just me. I've mentioned this before. Like, as soon as I spend, I drop the account. It's just some weird thing where I don't enjoy the game as much. I don't yep. give a fuck if someone's free to play if they've spent ten dollars if they spent ten thousand dollars. It makes no difference. It's just it's such a nothing game. flex. Like spending yep. money. Spending money is like what casual people do because it's easier to just drop like, you know, I'm going to drop $30 instead of spending a thousand hours. Like it's kind of like what it is. It's not really a, it's not really a flex. Like, oh, I'm free to play. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed wasting thousand hours of your life. Well, like, it doesn't matter. Uh, old, it's just old, a convenience. A, a one man once said that casual players don't spend money, but that's, that's I don't neither agree here. with that, man. Yeah. That's neither here nor there. Uh, but what I am wondering is, okay. I have had gems put on my account, okay? I have 6,840 of the blue gems on my account, and then I have 13,600 stellar jades on my account from the Daily Pass. I have spent zero of them, okay? I've spent zero. They're staying on my account. I never will use them. But is the matter of me having a gems put on my account that I don't spend, does that make me not free to play? No. no. If I, you don't I spend that, it, no. The only, I mean, the only problem... What would you do even if you were to spend it? Like, what are you going to spend I would say, it on? Unless, you pretty much have, like, everything, right? Yeah, unless you, you have, like, sense, almost all the good units already at this point. Yep, Yeah, I there's agree. no way of turning off gifting either. So, like, you can't even prevent it. So, who cares? 
What about yeah, you? I, I I absolutely believe you're free to play only because you've actually had the willpower and discipline to skip banners. You don't own Blade. You don't own Jinyuan. You don't own a number of the characters. Do you that know have how hard that is? So fast. No, no that's it's what I'm not saying. hard for me. <laughs> that's only something <laughs> that a free to play person can do. Thing. Dude, I I once went 40 days without pulling. Just sell so Huofuo. I can get Huofuo like 143. I was so fucking mad. What were you saying? Like, same shit with Ron May. And like I see these people in my Discord chat, they're like, I I, I saw this one chick. Her name was Kenny's. She was pulling yeah, to get pity yeah. on Silver Wolf, so she could get Argentine. I was like, mm. that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever that's seen. Insane. It's actually crazy well, how much restraint people need to have to not pull. True. Yo, Vulcan, what were you saying? I was just saying having restraint has nothing to do with being free to play. Like how? Oh, I'm afraid to play. J Jing Yuan came out. I'm like, nah, I'm skipping him. I, I did the trial and where you play with the god. I'm like, yeah, I'm putting some summons in. Then, then it's like every character, I do the same thing. I'm like, J just a few, you know, just a few. And then like I was summoning for QQ, got Luocha, wasn't going to summon for Luocha. Then I got him and I'm like, oh, well, may as well put a couple summons into Blade. Got Blade. And it's just a snowball. It's just the, it's just the luck of the draw. Yeah, wait. So, but okay. So, so the consensus is, and anybody's free to object. So the consensus is I am free to play then, yes? No, no, I think you should. Uh, I mean, I feel like I feel like if I say no, you're gonna pull up a Google Doc and. No, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just, I'm just wanting. No, yeah, what, I, what? I don't think you spent money. No. What's up, Rax? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, this is an uh, emergency, man. Uh, yeah. Rogue is raising his hand in. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead, Rogue. What up, baby? It's, it's Rogue. I have a question. So yeah. like, there's gonna be a time where you run out of jades. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, right? Yeah. What are you gonna <laughs> do when you get to the part where, 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 where the part of your jades where it's like pay to win? Oh, what's gonna happen? Yeah. And there's a character I want. Yeah. I'm going to get him. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get him, right? But as oh, as the reality is right now because I've won every 50-50, I I'm free to play. But when if listen, listen, if my Black Swan pulls go bad, I'm breaking the streak. Okay? I don't care. I'm just Man, going free. I'm doing the same thing. Change my name from free to play God to Tech Tone. But until then, hey man, we're chilling. I mean, and I, and I expect you to make an over. EXE out of that eventually. Oh, yeah, for surely, for surely. I think Pentacon is going to be the time where I spend lots of money because those are some great characters. Yeah. yeah, if you want to make an EXE of somebody fucking suffering during their pulls, I'm your guy. I swear to God. Hey, it's, everybody it's a nightmare, in the community, dude. man. Look, yeah. It's a nightmare. Uh, last question, and then we're all done. Uh, is there any content creator for the Honkai Star Rail, Genshin community, or Gosh community that y'all think uh, I should talk to eventually or anybody who y'all's content you've been really enjoying just like a quick shout there to is any i do i got somebody oh, i got two people actually okay, go ahead. who so uh using the influence you gave me i've been going to a lot of smaller ones there's a guy his name is Knowles gotcha i fucking love him he's amazing okay um and there's another person he's a she's a vtuber angry alcat yep. both really nice people have collaborated both of them fucking love them no, what They're about amazing. you Vulcan? i'm just trying to think uh basically all I like the people I, get through EO, EO's one, yeah, yeah, EO's good, uh, Moon as well. Mm. Uh, who Who's else? Moon? Uh, God, Dog God Doggos, uh, who else have we got? Uh, oh, dude, I've, I've had a mind blank on his name. He does all the, uh, he does like really good gameplay videos. Fuck. Is it, that Tumbo? It, Tumbo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I raid a lot well. of, I raid a lot of smaller creators um, oh. into my streams. Yeah, I don't, and, fuck like, them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I found I found a lot of like really <laughs> nice ones. I think I've rated a few. Uh, there was one time I rated somebody. They like immediately in the stream was crazy. But like I, I found a few nice people. Yeah. Uh, Noel's Gotcha is probably like the one I've ranked high up there. He's amazing. You guys should you guys should look into him. He's a great guy. What about you, bro? Uh, Angry Alcat as well, though. I sometimes mm -hmm. rate Tectone to help out smaller creators, bro. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, I, rate, I, rated, no I used to rate Tectone. I was like, why the fuck am I rating? Like, my audience is basically his. I need to rate somebody else. Hold on. Basically, Omega Wall. Uh, what about you, Rex? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know if you've... Have you talked to Sevi before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. She's great. Um, another another creator would be uh, Mina Aoyama. So she's been streaming a lot of Star Wars. She's a VTuber? Yeah. Yeah. She's a VTuber. yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a VTuber I'm actually working on. By I, uh, I DM'd her DM'd her the other day. She seems nice. What about you, Gatch? Any, any Gacha creator that you think has just been fucking killing lately? I was just saying, I like Ayo. I think he uh, carries himself well. He has good conversation. Uh, he hits some good topics. I think he would be able to chime in some good uh, different perspectives at the very least. Yeah, I feel like he's about gemless. He, he, he had a. Is a, his name spelled I Y O? Yeah. Yeah. 
The problem, I, I, I know that guy. He seems awesome. The problem with yeah, EO is really that videos, uh, he he copes mad hard about uh, yeah. Uh, watch beta. one of his videos. Like he seems like what? a good guy. How he copes hard about yeah. The beta. He, he copes so hard about beta. He's like, oh yeah, they'll change it from the beta. No, they fucking won't. <laughs> my, but my that's why it's impression. even better to get him in here, though. That's very true. <laughs> My yeah. very first impression of him was like I watched the video and like the title and thumbnail didn't like match up with the content of the video. Hmm. So when I first saw him, I didn't like him that much. But you know, Damn, YouTube started like adjusting me stuff. He seems like a really nice guy. So what about you, M Tash? Any kind of cares you wanted to? Uh... Let me see here. That's the only that IO guy's the only one I've really come across. I don't yeah. watch a lot of other. Yeah, same. So I, yeah, I don't either. The only most of the people I know from Twitch. Yeah, there's a there's a God's Great Rare that you guys should check what out. What happened to Netgrid, man? Oh, well, I mean, he's getting views doing league, so fuck it, yeah, right? Oh he, went, oh, he went back to his league, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean let's be real, okay? 90% of the content creators in this game don't like it anyways. They just do it because they get views, right? Necros get views, <laughs> so that's what it is. Uh, great gotcha content creator you guys should check out. Uh, Zach Rar. Fucking awesome. Like, really oh, good oh, shit. How, you're helping out the smaller creators. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's just, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, put him on the it was, map, it was sick when you, uh, when you helped him out his run, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Two seconds oh, to hell, just old old. Old. oh, wait, yeah. fuck, that's Asmund. I just realized that. I'm slow. Yeah. Uh, anyways, gentlemen, it was fucking dope having y'all here. Hope y'all had fun. Uh, feel free to hit me up anytime. Y'all chill with me for three mm -hmm. hours. If you need me for something, let me know. Uh, no, appreciate the fuck out all y'all, and I hope you had fun. I'll see y'all soon. Yeah, man. Okay. Take care. Right. Been a pleasure. Later. Yeah, yeah man. Well. Take it easy, guys. Peace, boys. All right, gentlemen. Uh, go follow everybody who was there. That was great. Uh, what'd y'all think? Uh, I thought that was great. Uh, <laughs> the great yappening of 2024 was so <laughs> funny to me. That shit was so funny. The chat was killing me the whole time, bro. That shit was so funny. That shit, dude, dude, chat, chat killed me the whole time. How was it? Did y'all have fun? Uh, regardless, I had a great time. Uh, if you're still here on the YouTube video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know who you want to see. Let me know who you don't want to see ever again. And uh, hope you enjoyed for Gotcha Cast number five, four, who knows? And uh, yeah, feel free to chime in with how you felt about it. Is what it is. Hope you guys had a blast. And uh, thanks for watching, boys.